We're also going to see the Strive Top 8 later. That should be interesting and a little crazy. There's a lot of top tier. All right. Arc World Tour Finals. Granbu versus Rising. Top 8. So here's who we got. We got oh everybody starts in winners. I thought some people were supposed to start and lose. No wait, I, that's the other tournament. Strive starts. Some people start and losers. So Taco Dot versus Zeram, Sonic San versus Fukunaga, Fitizen versus Zippy, and then Koji Koko versus this is Gobo, uh, who also played Strive, and I think he's out. But he was known he was known for playing before Gold Lewis. Now he plays Asuka, so he's an Asuka monster now. That's just how it is. That's what he likes to do. Anyway, in this game, I, I kind of forget who everybody plays, but I've, I've seen some of these players. Zeron usually plays Charlotta. That's the only one that I know right away. This guy's going to play Charlotta. Gobo, who, who played? One person played. This person plays Nier, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, who did Gobo play? Ladiva? Right? He was the super hyper diva player. So we have at least one the diva. So if I have to pick a favorite to win, then here I'm gonna pick my two favorites. Alright. Hopefully you'll allow me to. My first favorite is gonna be Gobo because he played so even though it's LCQ winner, he played so sick. So that's hold on, let's let's mark that a little better. But he's my first pick that I want to win. And then my second pick that I want to win just because I know them and they always support a T Spooky forever is Zeram. That's my two picks. We'll see what happens in the end. Oh, we have a Lance player? That's cool. And no surprise that we have lots of Nier, of course. Siegfried's also, I've talked about how they're one of the strongest characters. They have a mechanic. I guess we don't need this today. But by the way, Factor's still sponsoring, so I'll talk about their promos and stuff at some point. Support if you want to. I still haven't ordered the meal, but I think I'm going to do that today after the stream is over. I'm going to order it, and then whenever it comes in, I'm going to do a stream about it. I'm like, look, this is what the meal is like. What's going on, Raph? How you doing? By the way, so this is what Raph had to say. But yeah, those are my two picks, of course. Lodiva and Zeram, just because I, I, I know them. Not like know them, know them, but you know. They answered, I think, every single NOPC that we did for Granbu. At the beginning, they, I can tell this story now because they're so good. Now, at the beginning, they were trash. It was funny. They would get destroyed. But they kept entering, and then every week, they got a little bit better, and they learned what they were doing wrong. And then by the end, it was like, oh, shit, Zeram is just, like, shitting on people now. <laughs> That's kind of how it happened. After a while, I was like, yeah, Zeram's top four again. Oh, Zeram's top three now. Oh, oh Zeram won that one. Won this one, too. <laughs> so that's how we got good that's how it is i mean that's how you get good though if you enter enough tournaments after a while if you if you know not everybody has that right it's part like it's part will and then part like the right like you have to have the right weird combination of, of brain skills right to kind of put it all together and hand skills but then if you kind of have all that then you go enter enough tournaments after a while just just because you get pissed off of losing you start getting better like well no i'm tired of them jumping at me here get anti it Tie them to a wake up super. I'm gonna block and kill them this time. After a while, without really meaning to, you get kind of good. Oh, so Kali Hatsu said, I'm not too big on Granbu. So, this is the right type of time to check out this type of game where you're like, okay, normally I don't check out this game too much. But, you know, if you're going to make an exception, I mean, now's the time. They're playing for $50,000. So you're going to see at the least, even if you at the end you're like, ah, this game is not my style, you're going to be able to say, I watched some of the best players in the world play against each other. And I got to see what the game was like. And then based on that, oh, I really like this character. Actually, I might try this game. Oh, actually, I didn't like that game very much. But it was cool to see how they play. I feel like that about Blaze Blue. When I watch Blaze Blue, certain version, I watch them play, I'm like, yeah, I probably would never play this game. But then it's really cool to watch. Sometimes, well, especially when it's like one of the, the robot characters, like a new or a move, and they just for real full screen harass you the whole match. You're just like, God damn, this is actually cheap. Two days, we've seen the best of action in Grand Blue and Guilty Gear. And now it's all come down to this. Today, finally, we get to crown our champions of Guilty Gear and Grand Blue. Strap on in because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Get ready because it's time. 
for the 2023 Art World Finals! Ooh, there you go. That was hype. <laughs> oh, I'm loud. I'm sorry. My bad. Was that really loud? Me laughing just now? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, they got the little all mini right. pop. Welcome These are the five second pop balls from before. That's what, that's what they saved it for. Like, and as you heard him, this is day three. It is time to crowd our guilty <laughs> gear strive at Grand Blue Fantasy versus Champions. Thank you so We've much. Had two days of hellacious matches, fun times, good vibes in the crowds, salty moments, heartbreaks, and career runs. We are here. <laughs> At the finals, of course, 122. They said, Take my money. Chen, my Ooh, that jacket's well sick. Ebonic plague. I am Ring, your best host for today. It's just going to be an incredible day. That jacket is awesome. Grand Blue. I can't wait to get it popping, my friends. Absolutely. I mean, this is just going to be the most amazing day. We're going to have so much amazing action. Thank you here. so much, Down Numbers, for the big 122, my friend. Woo! Thank you, man. Look at this god over here. Rising and Guilty That's Gear how he spends every day. Today, yes, and for both of those games, we don't even know what region they could be coming from because we have so much regional regional representation yes. throughout this entire thing. Oh yes, and before we get to those games, we oh I like the uh, the uh the 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 Nahobino. He's got Minoko. the Nahobino. Damn, that's tight. How come he's allowed to wear that? That's not that's not Arxis. Not that I care, but <laughs> that shit's like Sony slash Atlas. Hi. Good morning. He everyone. got the cookies mixed up. No, uh, hello. Nice to meet you. This is Minoru Kidoka, Axis Max CEO from Japan. Woo! Hey. 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 Let's go! Now, this is the, that, the boss. All right, let's kick off our World Tour Finals 2023. You guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, thank you for a year of amazing battles on Grand Blue versus and Guilty Gear. Alright, thank you for all the staff for the cooperation and all the viewers around the world. Uh, who are watching and supporting the show. Woo! And congratulations to all the players who's made it to the finals. Uh, Okay, so this event is an esports event that we are hosting from Arc System Works. But this is not just esports. We have so many different attractions, events, or for here to, for you to enjoy here. So, you guys, please have fun. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a good day. I mean, he's the CEO, man. You don't get to be the CEO by not being a professional in all, as in all aspects, man. You know how it is. Beautiful stuff. It has been fun to Unless you're a scumbag CEO it's or, or it's today, just, course, uh, it is the day. you know, what do they call it when your dad just got you in there or something like that? <laughs> you know, if you got to be the CEO, especially of a big company like this, you know, in the books, of professionalism through the roof, especially in Japan, man. They Red value Blue professionalism sometimes too much. Ebonic, take me through some of the things we should expect today. Yes, yes. Well, all right. I'm just going to put the outlier out right now. If y'all... Are the guy that's the most professional is getting the contract, even if they charge right? five times the price they should. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. There's going to be a lot of beer. But you're also going to see a lot of Siegfried. You're going to be seeing Charlotta. You're going to be seeing a ton of these regional rivalries. You're going to be seeing the people Siegfried. who qualified not have to play each other round one either yeah. is the sickest part. So we are going to get to see who truly is the best of the best. Well, let's take a closer look at those regional rivalries and the regional clashes we're going to see by looking at the bracket. Obviously, this top eight, everybody's starting in winners, right? So it's going to yes. be a little bit lengthier 
easier than your usual top because there was no playing around like Strive High. But as you mentioned, man, we got Taco Dot at the top. Zero on Sonic, Nepotism. Sonic, there you Pokemon, go. That's what I was thinking of. Nepotism. Fitizen, Zippy, all the way down to Koji Koko and Gobu, who of course qualified yesterday. That's right, Koji Koko and Gobu are our last chance qualifier winners. That is <laughs> I'm just adjusting the volume a little bit because right. I want to get the volume level the like Tampa, just right. Check, check, today. check. Oh, sorry if that's loud. I'm just trying to see how far it's going. In all of the first rounds over here, different countries for every player. They're all going to come down to it. We're going to find right out about which of there. our players is the most intensest player here. <laughs> intensest, in, yes, in, that, in that is now the that, word. That is now the word. It's a very cromulent word, okay? So. Ooh, <laughs> the diction on my man James. I think that's pretty good. Oh. There we go, but it is going to be a great What's going on, Fate Dragon? How you doing? So much, and not only that, all right. I'm going to have to turn myself up later if it gets... Not hype, today and I'm just like, ah, oh, but Pokey's hype. Celebrating all of it's a little chilly today. So What's the weather outside? And, get ready, man. Yeah. and cut my vocabulary some slack, James. I had a long <laughs> night last night. Right? I'm going to get a, but, a jacket or something. Uh, I'll be right back. Let's get into it, of course, and introduce you to our players. Let's see production. Oh, the stare off into the sunset pose? Yeah, that's a classic. He's he's thinking of his long lost best friend. Japan winning the side games cup in 2024, and I mean you already laid it out there, right? Ebonic, we're gonna see the near for sure. Oh yes, all right. The man who hates octopus. Is that a near shirt? Is that what that is? He is getting ready to come in. Yes, that is one of East Japan's absolute finest coming in, and they did take side games cup special 2024. Imagine explaining yourself to someone that you play this character. They look at the game like, yeah, this game's cute. It almost looks like a Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy Tactics fighting game. You're like, yeah. What character do you play? I play the character who controls death. Like, what? Yeah, she controls death. Well, if Zarm's going to win the tournament, he's going to have to beat like near like five times. If only I was joking, so... I don't even know how we got a visa that way. I hope he didn't explain that part. When they were like, what's your Twitter? He was he should just be like, yeah, I don't have a Twitter. Just leave it at that. Yeah, I don't have a Twitter. Once again, out of the USA, Whoa, <laughs> that shirt is crazy. Things you love to see it. And Zerum, that's how you properly pronounce the tag. Zerum, yeah, Zerum, yeah, yeah, yeah. So straight up in here. Rocking the Charlotta. You Bradford that. Severance. A that's a crazy name. Really that's his game. name. Bradford sure Severance. Honestly, I think Bradford. I don't know why. You know how some names just sound yeah, cool to you? Bradford. What a Bradford. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's a cool name. He's only been playing for like four years, really? If you're not Damn. Does that mean he really started like, playing with like NLBC <laughs> online and stuff? That's funny. <laughs> yes, yeah. okay. So I do want to talk about this. Taco Dot. What's up, Alice? How you doing? Also, that's a soul caliber ass name. Yeah, for real. Bradford. So he really wants Bacala in this game. Oh, we got to do bets. Hold on. Let me get ready for that. <laughs> that's this amazing. Is the, this is the, that's the best strategy ever, right? Yes. Win the tournament and make sure you. I mean, I'm sure. I, he probably Taco Dot versus Zeron. Tell me who's going to win, everybody. So, GB so versus winners. Semis won. You got Taco or you got Zeron. You know the rules. You only get two minutes. But you get to watch the first game. Rising here at the Arc Wars I think do two out of three or three out of five. There is one really special thing about this, guys. Most of you probably don't know this, but this is also the tenth anniversary of Grand Blue Fantasy in general, and I'm yeah. super excited about that. Ooh. That's amazing. And all right, we're gonna kick it's off a, the is final that, you not, the James Did you expect them to look like Charlotte in real life or something? Tour finals. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte on the screen right now, getting ready for the action here. <laughs> of course, one of the things about Grand Blue Fantasy arising here is that uh, the shortcuts don't have as much of a of a 
of a uh, like a, a, a downside as it did early on. So you know, for characters like Charlotte who have charge moves and stuff like that, you just do them. Crazy Yandere girl that controls Duff. It is definitely uh, a lot easier to use the charge characters in this game. There it is, the near two and to start everything off right now, and so he's going to have to deal with the walls, and yeah, tries to use the uh, the brave counter, and that's one of the most common situations in that setup, right? You try to brave counter out, but most near players are looking for it. Yeah, but you know what? The side switch right here, back into the corner, so now you got to deal with this pressure. So, not just recapping it for anybody that's only right joining it today, the, uh, the player one character near is a puppet character, very similar to Carl yeah, in Blaze Blue. Right, yeah. Uh, that type oh of goodness, thing, that or even Zato a little bit, but uh, this character has been by design from the ground up made to be the easiest to play ever puppet character, no joke, like for real, even if you think it to yourself, I can never play a puppet character, try this character and I swear to god in 10 minutes you're playing a puppet character, it, like it's that easy, that's by design, she also has a safe wake up, it got nerfed a little bit, it used to be air unblockable, wow, like I needed that, uh, and she has a lot of other good tools too, she's got like a cross up overhead style thing that she can do and uh, lots of the good tools basically she's perfect at everything she has no no weaknesses we're gonna start to see what charlotta does with the sword of lumiel pressure yeah just go there taking an extra turn but look the player two character has a she's blanca being able to choose what side she used to be basically one of the best characters in the whole game i'm not so sure in this version this version if i had to guesstimate she's probably like upper mid or something to be able to get the full conversion on this one. But she's so, she's always been a menace since day zero. Just think of all the reasons why you hate Blanca, and then that's why you hate this character. She basically has 100 hands or electricity. She has a, a Blanca up ball style move. She's got a Blanca roll that has almost no recovery. The recovery is so amazing. Death being a little bit deactivated for a period of time right there. And now, back to this neutral game. Oh, there we go. what a reaction wow. right there from Tucker not to use the parry. He uses Raging Strike, Raging Chain, but the problem is it has no skills, right? Can't yeah. finish it off. It's still close enough. The Come on, Zero. Yeah, use those hands. Ooh. One really important thing about movement in this game is when you're running forward, you can't instantly block. You do have the Ash Moments, but there is a recovery. Yeah, you know... If, you, if you're thinking to yourself, our job's not actually cheating, verified. Our job really was cheating all along. Our job actually is better. Yeah, Misfortune is just such a strong reversal option for Nier. Yeah, we saw uh, Zeram right there with the instant uh, grave counter when locked down. Takodot did not have anything ready. That's how Zeram has to win, though. That, that's what Zeram should Oh, my goodness. They had low brave. That's why that happened. Damage. And so game number one to Takodot. 20% extra because they had only one brave point left. Death turn is so, so fast, so, so strong. 50% extra if you have zero brave points. down for Takodot to be able to do anything on that. But there it is. So Zeram actually baited. baited it. Yeah, that was... Specifically when is Strive? Strive is going to be way like, okay, later, uh, Sarva. Yeah, I'll try to give you an idea how many right hours there, from now, okay? Let me see. Oh, there we go, the Brave Counter against the Brave Counter to keep the corner position. According to their schedule, 5 p.m. Pacific time, so that's, whoa, there. six hours from now or something like that? A long time. They have a really big break in between for some reason. Yes, because there's two Brave Points down, so you get that extra damage, right? Zero um, getting back in there. That was a strong game to start. Yeah, especially with the way that you know he faded out that parry over there, and now just go right, going right in with the running low. Yeah, yeah, the six M. The, the running attacks have been a, a interesting change to Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Here we go. Locked down again. What's the mix up? Oh, right too far! Oh, wow, tried to throw from pretty far away. Maybe you meant to dash up first. Right, that's how you, yeah. Too. But you, you'll notice that one of the strongest points for Zeron so far has just been constantly making sure Death is hit when it, she is like active, right? Oh. So that there is no chance for Taco Dot be able, to be able to use those incredibly strong skills that Death presents. And yeah, and you know that last one right there, we opened up. I feel like Taco Dot was expecting him to attack Death again, but instead Zeron ran forward and caught Taco Dot off guard. Yep. But they tried to get it with the ultimate skull uppercut instead. It's gonna be real close Mad to the damage. It's if it doesn't, it's real close. <laughs> is this gonna kill? It does. Oh, my oh my god. I was oh. like, I'm pretty sure it's death, but... Zeram, no! <laughs> not like this. This is not what I want to see. Please at least tell me it's 3 out of 5 or something. <laughs> Alright, so Zeram, though. The smile and the frown. Here, trying to tie it up one-to-one -one here to start. 
course, it's always I need that homie with the fire the I, Hayabusa avatar. So I could ask him if he remembers Demon Sword. That was the next one that liked the Joker Watch. Shout out, she has the Demon Sword. Only someone that's played that game knows what I'm talking about. Wow, the smile and the frown. On the parry, great reaction there. Was looking for it this time. Big damage on this. Trying to catch more of these parries on Wake Up. But no, just more throws. But a back throw. There it is again. Good lord. The smile and the frown, baby. Let's go. It was the, the, even before the concert, they have two hours of nothing. So we're going to spend two hours setting up a concert for no reason when they could just be finishing the tournament. That's that dumb overproduced stuff that we hate. I just want to see a good tournament. That's all right. Spend some time playing second. I need time to practice anyway. There we go. Capitalizing beautifully with a strong reaction. And wait a minute. We went from Zeron being completely down to being on set point. Yeah, Come on, exactly. Zeron. We were talking about how we saw how Taco Dot actually had the anti air ready to go, so Zeron actually taking advantage of it at the end of that round. Here we go. And okay, this is the kind of start that Taco Dot had in that Good previous break. first game where there was just so much strong Still in trouble. Oh, but yes. there it is. Yeah, that is not a move you get to see too often, but that was in the exact perfect range. There's the Ooh, raging strike. Okay. It's going to force yeah. the brave counter. And there you go, but you see Taco Dot down now. Oh, only one brave point, and Zeron was still with the two. Right, and there we go. And now here's the lockdown again. And this time goes for oh. the throw. Taco Dot has not gone for that option yet. And uh, yeah, just as a reminder, top eight. We Come on, Jerome. Take my energy. I don't need it today. It's fucking Saturday. I got nothing to do. Take all of my energy. Come on. <laughs> For real, like on some Goku shit, just win somehow. Even more grand blue action here. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Zeram is has been using it. Yes. Fullest right now, especially on that one's gonna get the knockdown push towards the corner, and now you're just chill. Fuck. What they try to do? Maybe starting to need to switch that up just enough because Zeram's been scouting. Right. Uh oh. There it is. Yeah. In the corner, and that's gonna give Takodai a chance for a little more offense there. You see, Death just. I mean, death is looming, right? Oh, now. no. Oh, yeah. They might be dead. Yeah, just yeah. Fuck. as long as humanly possible. Good stuff right there from Taco Dot to be able to recognize that. Is it two out of, is it three out of five? Or oh, it's three out of five. Yes. Jumping out of the corner can be very tricky to stop her from doing. So. Thank God. It's three out of five. Oh, I want to cry. I want to cry. Before somebody said match point, so I thought it was two out of three. It's not winners quarterfinals, winners semifinals. Oh no, it's winners quarterfinals. They are right. I wrote winners semis. I'm dumb. I just realized everybody starts a winners bracket. Come on, Zeram. I'll mark the next one correctly for y'all. No worries. So, so what the thing, what Taco Dot has been changing is now using the parry in the middle of their own block strings to try and catch the Jesus. And then she gets all that damage because she needs that. Counter brave counter, but it was a little too late. Yeah, you have the light feed, right Zeron. Just chill. You have the light feed. Right oh, oh, you gotta stick buttons out, man. You can't just let her dash light you at you like that, man. You gotta press something. You gotta stick out your dumb spins and your dumb buttons and just do something. Thank you so much. They might be just worried about getting into can't see it coming. It's Little Kool Aid. Uh, they said one yeah, year was spooky. Hell yeah. Macro, which is, uh, you know, one of the reasons I'm sure Technically, it's 12 it. Aeons. Oh, the oh, That's the rules in the here. Every, here. Every, every, every sub is an Aeon. You've been all around the galaxy, all around the universe. Basically, you've seen like 12 galaxies. That's a lot. Thank you. Now you're going to get to watch them gone like Gravu. Come on, Zeron. Yes. Chop away all of their life bars. Thank you. This pleases me. Come on, the smile and the frown. On the demon sword. You can tell Zeron has played this character since Grand Blue Fantasy Versus because, well, he has. It's just straight up. Yeah, the round counts are underneath the characters. They're really small and hard to see, especially because the encoding is not that good. Here we go now again. 
I wish I could do something about it, but for real, that's that's what we get. Welcome to Bitrate. Come on, Zerob. Yes, crack that skull. And we're going back to that grappler nature in the corner, right? But there it is. Yeah, fuck duff. Starting to use misfortune in block string. You can defeat it. Right You're an anime there, character. Anime are, characters can defeat duff. Ooh, there it is. Super sky bound art. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is death again, but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! oh come on, Zeron. Dot had not used 66H the entire time yeah. and finally bring it out. Yes, there no, the and then he styled with the, the stupid yeah. anime ears. No, <laughs> all right, all right, Mr. Octopus. So, you do got to be utilizing that block button whenever I do like me some octopus, but. There you go, but don't worry, Zeram still is going to be in the loser side of the bracket. Still has a chance to make it <laughs> out from over there. But Taco Dot right now moving on to the winner's final. You have crossover overhead. The winner's semi. Because winner's yeah, she needed that on top of all the other stuff she got. Yes. That's what I feel like right now. I just want to guy rage and just, just end everything. Two chances, and that means you all have to worry about whoever's in any side of the bracket. Absolutely. What's the name of the laser? So, again, Why can't I think of it right now? Hold on. Just, I mean, we just, that was just the first match here. We've got a long way to go here, yes. but a lot of great uh, matches coming up. I'm really excited to see uh, which matches are, are basically coming up next if we have a chance to take a look at the bracket here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, we just have like, some strong rage. Just saying that he might be an SMT Vengeance, that would be bracket. awesome. So, as we saw a moment ago, Taco Dot versus... Oh, Fry Kugel. Kugel. Hell yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Fry Kugel. Close, though. Yeah, so uh, Fry Kugel. 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 People so just get torched. One is going to be Siegfried versus Lancelot. We're going to be the Dragon Knights <laughs> together. <laughs> Yeah, the, and, uh, the the move he's doing in that animation though is chaotic will. That's what he's doing, chaotic will. That move's also dumb. It, like instant kills, and then if you don't get instant killed by it, then it just does like bad status to you and other stuff. And damage too, I think. Yeah, France and Germany. So speaking of Fitizen, gonna be going against Zippy, um, and Koji Koko versus Gobu. Let me see. Zeram is going to be waiting. I gotta click on it over here. Has the pleasure of being his possible victim. Now, I'm not sure if the brackets are set up so that the loser between Sonic Sand and Fukudaga is going to... Oh, so the, I'll pay out those skulls in a minute. The You're right. I think you are right. Uh, on the, on the, the winner was Taco. But shout yeah. out to everybody so that was that was winner's quarters one, the by the way. Oh, they might show the bracket right again there, yeah. in a moment. <laughs> is that my boy Dom? I think that's my boy Dom. Oh, man. They're, dude, he's even got the mask so on. That, so that is, that is the director of Psy Games, Fukuhara. Has yeah, the he has the yes, Fukuhara right. mask so, on. So a little lore on that one. So uh, during during um, Psy Games special event they hold every year, Psy Game Fest, they have a mask, right? Most of them are Fukuhara's face, but some of them are actually a different person's face and they just mix them in a little bit because the two look almost identical. <laughs> different person. Different uh, person okay. though. They're different okay, people. Okay, yep. okay, okay. Oh man, but again, shout outs to everybody here coming in here nice and early just to watch some Grand Blue f Fantasy versus Action. And yep. again, like I said, so this is the stream, this is this, and then this is the chat. Even before right? we get to strive, and I don't have the YouTube chat yet. That's what I have to So let's take this. Well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, there's a lot to go on here at the Arc World Tour. Man, it has two thumbs up already. People actually, sure to thank you, YouTube. There's someone out there that likes the YouTube stream. Especially these matches we have coming up, you know. We, we get to see Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising in a international sense offline right. for some of the first times ever. But we got Ramlethal. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, because that's one of the things, too. Remember, uh, this is a very relatively new game, right? Only yeah. a, a few months old at this point in time. And we haven't really had any of that international, in, you know, cr you know, players going up against each other. We do not have a lot of regional data. And so this is going to be really, really cool to Ra see how the players Ra against <laughs> each other from all the different regions. Yeah, you know, we have to go by legacy, That sounds like right? some Ramlethal the fusion. Fantasy, that, right. That's not what I want. I don't want Ramlethal fusing with, case with case anyone. They're already enough of a problem. Oh, there's Blue. Hold up now. Big shout outs to my man's Blue right there. We love Blue. <laughs> That's my man's right there. He has been one of the hardest working anime FGC people in the business. Or and thank there it you, is. Soul Those Stone. are stickers that you can use in the actual Grand Blue Gacha game. You can also use them in Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. And you can also use them in Grand Blue Relay. I've been cutting. I'm going to try cutting some of these later on Soul Stone into VODs. I know yeah, people watch them. Cool. If they don't watch so them, I don't know. I'm just trying different things to see what people will watch on YouTube. Top eights. Right now we're in a spot where people uh, love watching me when I do majors, but they don't necessarily watch here. the other stuff love right now. Everybody 
here. Whenever right it's a major, early, woo, right they go crazy. More games coming up. That so dude had the s- that dude had the twenty inch brim hat with the with the with all the, the Genesis jacks. toppy I, I has so many views. Thing, <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> no, I missed that. I saw that. it. I saw <laughs> it. <laughs> You're like, I got it. I got. I caught that. So <laughs> it was for uh, a split. That's like a thick of now. Look at that shirt. Guys, we get this next match coming up for you guys. As we said, it was a Sonic Sam going up against Fukunaga. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, Sonic Sam Fukunaga. So we'll be getting that match up for you guys. Just shortly, we're getting the players ready. You can see in the back of the. Uh, actually, I'll give. No, I'll try to give you a bet now. if so I can. Be Sonic Song versus Fukunaga. What they are known for here in just this is winners quarters two. They be pumping the music for the intros. Goddamn. <laughs> it looked like he started he started with the one to go back and then he just, he just finished it and then <laughs> and so that is Sonic San who is going to be our first up that qualified by getting second place in Kyonic Cup with Siegfried out of France has been one of EU's best players even since before rising during Gamble Fantasy versus but James we need to take a look at his opponent No, it's not Sonic Fox. Not everything in the world is about Sonic Fox. <laughs> Learn some more fighting game players, Kali. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yes, he's Sonic said he needs to come on. From Japan, you see qualifying. <laughs> now you really reaching. Cup special 2024. <laughs> I just have to do a little side thing here. Shout out to that production crew. Those shots are awesome. Yeah, dude. some of those shots are crazy. <laughs> oh. I should have made it five minutes. I'm sorry, but there you go. You see their characters. Pick whoever you want. Next time I make it five minutes when I do this, bye bye. Obviously. I wish I could add three more minutes to it. Yeah, yeah. Fukunaga specifically knowing about a lot of that stuff. But like, I mean, we, we are ready. Our players are ready. So, I mean, we may as well get Yeah, that's crazy. He's only been playing fighting games for a year, and he's about to compete for $15,000. That's pretty good. If you don't Better know than my punk Fukunaga, ass is doing. Is, I, I want to call him an Arxis legend. Because I sit in a chair and stream all day and talk shit about other players. That's what I do. He's doing pretty well compared to me. Okay. Okay. Yes, another Arxis player. Yes. Okay. So, this is one of the... The, the people to take a look at, yes. So Sonic Sand, we have Fukunaga, and Sonic Sand has. All right, guys, thank you very much for helping me reach the goal of 500 subs game. yesterday. It's I think today variable, our new goal is going to be 525. Like Help me reach it if you can. We got all 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 this so weekend, all by the way. I'll be doing lots of stuff. So they make it super difficult to win over there. Let me tell you. And that's one of the things that I love. Next week's going to be pretty slow, so I'm going to spend a lot of time just playing Tekken and entering random Tekken tournaments, getting my butt whipped. And, and a lot of that is enjoying like, you know, again, one on the score bets you guys gave it a close to two to one odds for a sick free opponents you know in different countries and such yes know. yes well we got our game one here between sonic sign and fukunaga the dragon knights the cannon match let's get it and there's the air air unblockable situation. so unfortunately when you block the fireball in the air a normal will be air unblockable and thank so, you, you. Know, sonic Sam is putting themselves in there Nice throw check to start off right Thanks for using here. your prime, my friend. Archipelagian. Makes me think of Archipelago for His some reason. So much better. Yeah, jumping out, the word Archipelago. Out very, that word just scary, sounds cool. Right now, the Whenever you hear that in RPG, here, we're going to the so-and-so Ar- Archipelago. I get hyped right away. Oh, this must be a crazy yeah, play. Let's go. From, uh, from uh, Sonic Sand, just to be able to keep the pressure going here in the corner. I'm sorry, from Fukunaga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in a check situation right now, the Super Sky, if this hits, it might actually, okay, never mind. Watch this. Look but at the amount of damage close. it does. <laughs> mm. Yeah, oh see, see my damage goodness. Damage yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh my and that's the no power-ups so or nothing. Imagine with him powered up. 
try and evade the fireball yes. is because not only does it recover quickly, but he What's has up, an Preserve? from just about anywhere on the screen to make it happen. Exactly. Welcome back. Recovery frames like that, so we just started. Uh, this is the second match of Grand Blue. Like, yeah, it's the top eight, I, I, I but everyone starts at winners. Like, so first, there's a play-in round or a winner's quarterfinal round, and that's going to lead it to end up being how a standard top eight bracket is with four people in winners and four people in losers. First match, USA already took an L because Zara wants to lose his bracket. But Mm -hmm. We have to hold that. Wants to make sure you get that brave point back. That, that, that is one of the biggest reasons why you do not care about expending a brave point. Yeah, Siegfried is, is kind of a light bar. I love the Siegfried outfit, but Siegfried is kind oh, of a light bar us. demolisher. Okay. That's kind of what he does. See, regular old combo. Spent a lot of EX on it, but still, regular old combo, a corner, a corner, like 30%. No super, no nothing like that. No dragon meter. Just that's what he does. Pressure, but again, that brave counter. So they're both down to one brave point. Ooh, zero. Oh, zero. Oh, actually, this is dangerous for Fukunaga. If he gets touched, he oh! can... No, no, no. Okay, okay. So, so this is what happened. So Fukunaga wanted Super Skybound Art in the gap, right? But because it was ultimate skill ice uh, fireball, what happens is, is your frame data slows down while right. you're connected with it. They, it puts a debuff on you. So when when Sonic yeah. Sand got the incorrect move, it was just at the mercy of Fukunaga, basically. Oh, there we go. And now Fukunaga continuing this pressure. Trying to, oh, but just jumps right out of the corner here. So that's really good for Sonic Sand, but as you can see right now... That's Fukunaga crazy that they gave him basically his, his, like, his, his yeah, ice yeah, paralyzed yeah, skill yeah, from so Grand Blue now in this game. Because the was on and there was no attack forcing him to block, Sonic Sand was at the mercy again. Fukunaga is using that debuff to great effectiveness right now. Alright, there's that 6XL, and you know what? Fukunaga wants none of that brave counter, and these two are just brave countering everywhere. But now Fukunaga forth. can basically again. just... Or sorry, Sonic Sonic could just like kill him for real. Oh, or he can get killed. Never mind. Not quite. Oh my goodness, like he should have done ultimate uh, slashes instead of regular slashes. But I mean Fukunaga also having zero brave points and you know oh doesn't matter. Right there. He knows what he's doing. My heart, man, my heart. Yeah, something like that. Kovro, he's like a bully. He's got a good fireball. He's got a good uppercut. And then he's just scary when he's in close. He got some kind of slowish overheads, but then you get hit by one. You're like, man, I got hit by the overhead like an idiot. Now I'm dead. Like, stuff like that. He's that kind of character. You, just, you can't really mess up against him. But so far, player two lands. He's doing the right stuff. He's staying all over the place. He's not being predictable, and he's keeping him deep off the lot too, so that it's harder for him to reverse and get out. That's the one thing about him. His frame data is really slow. He's not like a grand, you know, fast style, high damage character. He's more like the slow style, take your time. He's closer to like how Vasarago will play. The recovery becomes even more, so he got a straight punish. Not quite that slow, but. Almost got the jump into Sonic Sand. Oh no, he's oh. getting clipped out of the air by the fireball. Oh, this might be death. This might be death. As long as there's no drop. Yeah, there we go. Has the sky okay. not are ready to go. Fukunaga. This guy's just ready for this matchup. Over Sonic Sand. Yeah. Oh, he's just gonna be at match game. His best friend plays like a top sick freed and they play each other every day or something like that. You can kind of tell in how he's approaching the matchup. He's 100% ready. Um, you, you're gonna have that. Uh, you can have that debuff on you, but if you don't play against Lancelot a lot, you don't know what you're supposed to do around that debuff, and you can tell Sonic Sand is, is preemptively just attempting to go to Brave Counter. And then Fukunaga is just, you know, baiting it, basically. Huge bait. Well, bait Watch the damage. Yeah, there's going to be some big damage here in the corner. Still going. Get that BP back. Yeah, I'm going to go for it right here. Still going. This got buffed, didn't it? It does more damage now. Super smart from Fukunaga. Sonic Sand yep. is really on the back foot right now. Okay, so that's a yak. So there's no yak. No debuff, and I think Sonic Sand recognized nice. it. All that's the way to the right. corner. Yep. Mm. My Here turn. And now you have to deal with this mix up. Nice throw take. And you actually could just use the brave Good chase. He knows what to do. See, he's just that's so ham. He's going in. It can be, you know, easier to deal with with most characters. I'm assuming he also has trouble dealing with because he's always going for after he knocks him down. He's always going for the turbulence, and he's coming at him that way. So I'm assuming that. 
that means so that Siegfried has down trouble down dealing with that particular yeah, angle. We are characters like probably just to slow down Fugunaga's right. momentum, honestly. Yeah, and one of the things I want to talk about, because we've been talking about, you know, evading the, the projectile. Uh -huh. If you actually look at what Fukunaga's doing, he's actually trying to evade it as early as possible so he recovers right when it passes through him mm -hmm. to give Sonic Stan as little time as possible to be able to try to catch the recovery of that. It can be it can be incredibly scary to evade uh, Siegfried Fireball because it is incredibly active and mm -hmm. it moves very slowly. So if you do not know the timing, you will get counter hit by the Fireball itself. Right. Not, uh -huh. even, not even just Siegfried, yep. right? The Fireball <laughs> will catch you trying to evade. Yeah, and that's what, I mean, showing obviously Fukunaga very This guy is just too fierce. Yep, and I mean, yeah. Down, he is off. down yeah, right fierce. Use, yeah, well, I guess now the input is Dragon Punch instead of 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> but I mean, that makes sense, right? Yep, there we go. Ooh, Ouch. That frame trap right there into the age. Good damage, but again, Lancelot, not huge damage mid screen, so that may be a godsend oh, for Sonic. Yeah. This guy is so here. cheap, he, all, he almost makes me want to play there. Lancelot. That's how cheap this guy's been. Yeah, it takes away a brave point here. It just makes me think of when Tega was playing Lancelot. Oh, no, you thought it was your turn, but it wasn't. It wasn't your turn. And Fukunaga called that out with a check, and Fukunaga is now at match He tried to be sneaky. I appreciate it, because he's behind. When you're behind, you got to be sneaky, but that wasn't sneaky enough. He should have ran up and did an overhead or something. That would have been sick, and just tried to go over his button. right? Been like, oh shit, I have to block. It's an overhead. There you go. He started from mix up going and whatever he does. Uh defense has been just really strong. Oh no. Defense, offense. Fukunaga just seems to have it all in this set right now as the pressure continues in the corner with the fireball on top of you. You're just worried now the deep of a putt. No, he's getting he's getting destroyed right now. Fukunaga is just in the head of Sonic Sand. They're battling for who's the real Dragon Knight. And Lancelot is winning. Touch might be it right here. Good throw tech, but still. Oh, no. oh my god, he's, he's cooked. He's, he's cooked. He's going to be able to get the conversion here. That should go into the finish right here. God there damn, sick combo. This guy's a maniac. Three to zero over Sonic Sand. And I mean, Fukunaga had the offense structured in such a way that Sonic Sand was just afraid to 2 H. Ha ha. Is that, yeah, he got, ex he got explored in places that he didn't think were getting explored today. But the thing is, is what if he, uses the he was having coach? a good day. I don't know. And so that was the problem. Until <laughs> so that right happened. There, you, know, you couldn't just so easily stop Fukunaga's offense. Right. Exactly. He got up, you know, so nice refreshed. He had a coffee and breakfast. He stretched having, out. Uh, he trained in motor for a little bit. He said, all right, I'm going to go I'm gonna go play. And I'm going to go do my best. And then he got fucked up. So let's take a look at that over there. At least he's still in the tournament. He's in the loser bracket. It's not over. Yeah, everybody everybody in this tournament and in this casting booth has beautiful hair. Almost everybody. There's a high percentage of beautiful hair around. You could tell Plague's hair is getting hit with the frizz a little bit compared to the first day, though. The first day is hair looked perfect. So the third day getting beat up. The Cali Frizz is getting to him. Winners finals. We cannot have a winner's finals yes. repeat from Psygame Special oh, Cup. Right. But we still could possibly have Japan versus Japan in winner's finals yes. because later Gobu. down the line, <laughs> Gobu. But now we do have Zeram's determined opponent, and that will be Sonic. Okay, okay. So, so they did go to the same side. Yes, yes. There. So that okay. means the loser between Fittis and Zippy. Wait, they go to the same Gobu side? Will be what the fuck? Side bracket, so take a look at that. But. We will be having Fittizen versus Zippy. Who does that? <laughs> I do believe. So that means we're going to have our very own German Siegfried right. versus our very own American Mir. All right. Well, come on, Zerob. You don't. You, you see what you got to be. You see. You see firsthand what you got to be. What's going on, Lasso kid? Berserk said it's near time, but not not the near you're thinking of. It's not the near with the fat ass. It's the near with Duff as her friend. As we said, haven't had a too much uh, international crossover yes. uh, matches here since the game came out. In I think it was December that this game dropped, right? Yeah, around the time. Yeah, yeah, around the time. Yeah, so there you go. So uh, again, uh, have not had a chance to see all the different regions clash, and so of course, uh, Japan trying to assert themselves here. But let's take a look at the players coming up in this uh, next match. He's been working on the hair thing for a minute. Woo! Look at him. Oh, my hair's so good. Yeah, he looks kind of like. Oh, fuck! It's stuck in my head. 
What, what was Marcy's first husband in Married with Children? Steve? <laughs> yes, this is Finnezen, our first up of this match. Coming out of Germany, our other Siegfried, and this qualified for winning Kayane Cup. Now, we do have. I, I love this photo. Dude. Yeah, this photo is he's so calling good. out his opponent. He's yeah. like, I'm going to win, and I'm going to go through all of you right there. He looks like he's doing the Phoenix Wright objection yeah, to me. Objection! Yeah, actually, actually, also qualifying from Kayane Cup yes. as well. Uh, so, this is our Take second that. of the e players come here but uh let's take a look at his opponent uh that he is going to be facing next i don't understand the point of using the same song and just making it louder why not just let it transition smoothly with what's going on all right zippy Psst, the lightning bolt Take a look at what I've got in my pants. Psst, that's what I would do. <laughs> Why does everything look so cool in slow mo? Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> the production did a great job. But I mean, look at look at Blitz Zippy on this picture right now. Yes, that's right. Let's Zippy, go, Zippy. Out of the USA here, representing near, qualified by winning Frosty Costings. <laughs> And, oh, they got uh, they got at least one fan in here. Completed in Guilty Gear's tribe as well, so you know just 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 remember that this is not. Oh, he got his own headphones. Oh yeah, is, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, again, it's one of the great things you see. Those are are those the, the the Sony's the noise cancelers or those something else? I can't tell what those are. Yeah, today, yeah. Right? <laughs> For example, uh, just missed out in the group stages. Those might be some quiet comforts or something like that. Finals. We see here Vita Zen on the screen here and uh Oh yeah, the winner of the last nice one was Fukunaga. Oh, yeah. Let me play that out. Fukunaga got the win. Sonic Song. Uh, oh, was that a sweep? Did Sonic Song so get 3 0 I just realized. Hold on. Where's the? Give me the bracket. Starting the event or during practice had ended up breaking. I need a copy for myself. So, oh, that was indeed a 3 0 You know the, the rules the here, guys. There's a rule when that happens. All right, real quick before they start. There's a rule, and that's that we have to add one to the factor sweep counter. Right, goddamn now. So, you know, That's the there we go. So if he wins, it's all right. It's now we're going in. I'll give you a bet for this next time. That's right. So this is <laughs> winners quarters game, three. You got Fidizen and Zippy. Three out of five. Oh, Nier can do, and we've seen a lot of what Sigfried can do. And so Fidizen here gonna start off very strong here. Gets one level of the power up. Oh, yeah, already got the hit. And so remember, so uh, Zippy on Nier. This guy immediately is doing better combos than the other guy. The other guy was a sick freak that qualified and didn't even know how to do, like, he, he never did a combo like this the whole set. In a three out of five. There it is right there. You see, that's what Siegfried does right there. He hit one combo in the first game. That was just him spending two EX. And there's the brave counter here. He has such a life lead here, not yeah. worried about spending that. Just wants to keep the offense going. But here comes Zippy now. It is time to get put in the blender from near. Yeah, you could see that Fittizen was mostly going for chip damage there to try and get out of chip guts. But here's the super skybound art. Get some of that BB back because you really need to be able to not only put your opponent in check through the life, but oh, it's not going out of the 2L coming out in emphatic faction. Zippy was looking for the shimmy and did not find it. Yeah, I might, I might that's what looks cool. Right there, potentially, Could have right? been, so, I can't even yeah, tell what that is. He got that from some some rainbow dragon or something. Some my man killed five celestials, combined all the parts right together, and then bam! Take a look at my new sword. The overhead gets blocked, and then an she was like, "Damn, what's that?" Oh, six, six, seven, that's my favorite yeah. button in the game right there. That's that's the move. Oh, and then they make the count. Oh, no. Nice. It's just like me, I swear it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the beautiful thing about that 6 6 M is the spacing on that. If you space it just right, basically unpunishable. Mm -hmm. And it's just a surprise low attack from nowhere, so you always have to be ready for it. Yes, okay, there's going to do strike Raging Tain, though. It's going to be able to put away Zippy oh, really. Oh, the Shimmy got him, oh. got him reaching. So you got to remember, Zippy had no death meter at this point, was on the recovery and just fought clean. Did not have access to the cheapest tool in Mirrors. Meanwhile, she's just wearing a, what, what the hell is the hat she's got on? I like this one, it's always funny. She's got like an electric eel on her head. 
is controlling her like that one sketch with the rat controlling the shelves or whatever, making the shelves cook. And we know what I'm talking about. She's being controlled by an electric eel. It's just sending impulses to her brain. Snow, call death now. Now run, bitch, run. Zippy very, very uh, likes to splurge that, that that gauge here already just down to one. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw it earlier how the gauge actually just completely was gone earlier. So, oh, got caught out of the attempt at the parry just before. Skybound Art is most assuredly getting used here to see a 1v back right yeah. now. Oh, wow. Yeah, no action. I don't know what it is. It's some type of fish thing that's just, just sending electric pulses and controlling her brain. It's, it's a really funny outfit. I love that weapon. Damn. Damn. And there we go, Vita Zen with game number one. Holy shit, Siegfried. Right I had to kill Angra Mainu 50 times for this sword. And, you still have, you have another and many you kind of dragons. Of right. That's the, the damage he's doing right now. It's like, why are you doing so much damage? Do you understand how many Pearl Bahamas I had to fight? Oh, okay, that's why you do so much damage. Yeah. See again, early dodge on there so you have a better frame situation. And there it is. Yeah, always looking for ominous turn is Fittizen. Now, the strike throw is upon us. We, is it going to be strike? Is it going to be throw? Uh -huh. Those stealing are the only mix-ups. Yeah, stealing a few extra turns with that uh, EX fireball. Oh! Got the oh. reached in there. That 6 6 L boosting is so good. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, that was the only confirm that Fittizen could have gone to. Oh, you like seeing the player sweat? The That's one of my favorite things to do is see the player sweat. Sometimes when the turn is really high, I tell the cameraman, all right, here's what I want you to do. When I cut to, the cut to them, I want you to start zooming in real slow so you can see at the tenseness. I want you to see how salty they look. And then they do a zoom, the slow zoom. Round two, fight. That's just too funny. I've always been a little upset about people complaining about certain things in this game, to be quite fair. It's extra funny when someone's in loser semis. They lose their first game, and to me, they're just looking like they're older. The trees were crushed. The back throw as well. Strike throw time. Oh, Ow. Goodbye, life bar. Watch this. No dragon power. They still have brave. Why Why even give the character a power up? Why even bother? He doesn't ever need it. Yeah, I mean, it is Vita Zen right now trying to make sure that, uh, you know. You know how many mana garmers I killed for the sword? <laughs> you want a Zippy victory as yeah, How many exactly. Griffins? So, but you know, let's see if Zippy could actually start getting something going over here. How many yeah, fucking dragons? Very, very hard to play around you can just tell what Fittizen knows about Siegfried and how much <laughs> this character can bring to the table. You know, I mean, consider to be. You look at the Siegfried's account. This guy has five thousand hours. There he goes. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, found his way out here. So now. Zippy. When do you sleep? One of the first I times don't. Really had this opportunity to get something going. Playing it pretty safe right now. Oh yeah, okay. Brave counter, and then just jumps right out of the corner. Smart decision right there from Pika Zen. Yeah, I mean, you know, jump out of the corner hadn't exactly been presented by Pika but the wake up sweep, the Callisto special on deck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. Dragon punch to be able to get out. Yep, then you gotta level it up. You don't just get the weapon and then you're done. You gotta level it up and you gotta get all the pieces to unlock it and all that shit. That sword is an investment. That's why it does so much damage. My man invested my man invested years of his life into this sword. But I believe this shit does half your life every time it touches you. That's basically Granbu, the gotcha game in a nutshell. Finding that gap as well, so here comes Zippy now with an opportunity to get something going here. Gotta start, I mean, back as far against the wall as possible. Lands the cross up, Ooh. and now Vita Zen has the quarter position. This is so dangerous for Zippy now. Yeah, just keep going for throws. I mean, you're, you're, you're making the opponent take a lot of damage, but finally, right there, is gonna hit the misfortune. Gonna go for Skybound Art. Okay, and because there was only one um, stock left here for Zippy, this could be very dangerous for them. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I mean, with this much damage. That's why when somebody when somebody asks how come they do so much damage, yeah, that's why. When you explain to them, they're like, oh, okay, I get it. They do that much damage because they sold their soul to the devil. I understand. Oh no, that's getting blocked. That's getting blocked. Okay, it doesn't even even better. Just grab it. I'm not 100% sure if that was intentional, but if it was, it got scouted. I mean, it, it might have been. Just, I think know, it was intentional. Right. She's French with death. Yeah, Isn't that creepy? It did a lot of damage Come on, Fittizen. Right so. True. S send right, the near to the losers. We have enough of them. 
Ooh, yes, just uppercut her uppercut. Ooh, let's go. It's powering up, baby. After getting two levels of that charge. He's going to be doing a little bit of extra damage here, but he can't do damage while you're getting juggled in a combo. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Unfortunately, Zippy was doing something else and just got caught by. There's oh, the Skybound on, on reaction. Of course that's going to reach. That is sick for the Skybound. <laughs> that might be the best one that should. you ever see. Clenched! Clenched! Just one little pity tap and he wins, but he's getting... Oh, he got it! He got it! Let's go! Come on, where's the cameraman for the pop-off? Just so many times he just found that EXDP. Where were you on that cameraman? Barely sideswiping there, but Beat the is going to take it. Where were you on that? But again... Everybody starting in the winner side. So yes. this is our third match of the day. Uh, Zippy is still going to the losers bracket. Oh. Well, we will see Zippy a, bit, a little bit later. Too but Citizen has knocked down one of many mirrors that we have seen so far. And uh, well, I mean, we are going to see another one. Very <laughs> I, I'm just going to be real with you guys. So, uh, but yeah, you have seen that the Berserk. <laughs> you have seen the hey, at least you got to be happy, all right? That was even even the odds were not in their favor. Though. It was like two to one odds that Nier was gonna win or something like that. All right, here you go, everybody. Fitters and guess the win. That means you guys get paid on that one. That was a fun one. Complete. Uh, we had our last chance qualifiers yesterday. Uh, a bunch of players going up against each other, and it just so happened. Shout out to Ringe and Sejam that when they draw the drew Damn. the matches, yep. that the two LCQ players ended up in the first round facing against each other. So yesterday we didn't even bother playing the uh, grand finals. I'm gonna mark on the bottom two by twenty-five. It's been a while since I had to update the this fan. The conclusion of the last chance so cool. qualifier. <laughs> we're going to see between the two who truly is the strongest right and i mean a lot of people they don't know how to fight the diva but they right. know how to fight me they don't have they the, the characters that they play I mean, but know, if you just watch enough you'll figure it out by watching i can tell you more or less so he definitely has the game plan because we already seen some of them uh, let's see, uh, near uh, right? This is right near. Uh, was this also near? Is it two nears? Who did Fukunaga play? I forgot. I know this was sick for It's near Charlotta. Oh yeah, Lance. Thank God. Near Charlotta, Siegfried, Lance, uh, Siegfried, near, near. The diva. So it's just super hard to stay away from that. That's the character. Outside the range might be a, a futile effort, right? Two there. sick freaks, three uh, nears. It kind of is, honestly. I mean, near is one of the characters uh, uniquely equipped to be able to do it because she has death. But if you don't have any stocks, it doesn't matter. Right. You know, it does matter. Yeah, exactly. Like Berserk says, near X right diva next match. We need to determine who is the strongest Grand Blue Fantasy versus a rising player, and we are slowly making our way as we see that Fitizen has moved on. Taco Dot and Fukunaga are going to be waiting a little Ooh. bit. Zerom and Sonic San waiting in the losers bracket. And Zippy, we are going to find out who your opponent will be. Is it Kochi Coco or is it Gobu? Because that will be coming up next. Uh, exactly. And so, yeah, as you mentioned, Gobu, uh, the. Uh, the, the one Ladiva here, the one player here, not using one of the, 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 the stronger tiered characters mm -hmm. here, as you can call it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Charlotta too, I guess. Yeah, right? that's true, that's true, that's true. But, uh, These guys might all die to Ladiva just because they don't know how to fight her. This ain't this ain't your regular Ladiva that just knows her bread and butters and blocks sometimes, and that's how they get away. This is a Ladiva that will try to outthink the hell out of you. They fought Nears before. Okay. Yeah, and technically this ain't their first time. That's on me, though. That's not on you. They don't just give it up for free no more. <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, yeah, G Gobu went through a lot. And so we will see what each of these players represents here in our packages. Damn. Oh, he won the LCQ, right? LCQ winners. So that's why they have a different intro. He's just staring at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Now do the same thing from a different angle. Yeah. I'm going to stare down the camera. <laughs> that picture's way better. RIP Toriyama. 
Koji Koko. He almost has Vegeta hair. USA All he has to do is get a little more mad. Ah! Beautiful things about that is that you're coming into this tournament hot, right? You just won the last chance qualifiers. You feel good about yourself. He did it as well on the winner side. Gobo was the one that had to essentially qualify on the loser side. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I mean we will be seeing. Yeah, there's still potential for a near mirror down the line, though. He said, that's live action sword right there. That's live action sword. <laughs> All right, here goes Gobo. He was the other guy. He came from the loser side of the LCQ. Oh, this is, isn't this the same? They, they, did they use the same thing for him twice? <laughs> we saw this already. <laughs> The funniest is the, it, it, the chair, him doing the, the chair pose. That's just too funny. Don't worry, I got some <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and that was Gobu right there with the heart main character. We got the strive information up there for Asuka, but Gobu will Is it Gobu or Gobu? It's hard to tell, even by how he spells it. On this one, yes. Gobu if you go Gobu, you would say Go, G-O-B-U. You wouldn't even bother with those. You don't need to know for that. Gobu. Outside of the game. I mean, dude. <laughs> The one thing about Gobo that I love so yeah, much. Yeah, I think right? I think I think James is right. I think it's Gobo. Right? Gobo. Like Gobo. I, mean, I, I could hear the, the the theme song going. Well, he's know, playing the, the diva. Show, you know, the diva uh, loves you. That's why she wants. There, to, she just wants to give you a hug. These players are all ready to go. They're ready to go up against each other again. This is uh, grand fight. This is scientifically LCQ. proven. The longer you <laughs> hug someone, the more effective it is. Ready. We are gonna find out who of the LCQ I'm serious, try yourself with your loved one. Koji if there's a loved one, then you hug them for a long time and see if you can tell the difference oh, compared man. to a short hug. You can. Find somebody proof. Yes. But again, good long hugs are more effective. Ladiva, she really wants to give you a hug. Said, uh, a couple of times already. Yeah, so we saw this earlier from Gobu having all of those chances to fight near in Japan, uh, having the ability to fight Taco Dot on the way here, if not already during their Japanese times, right? Right. So it's just, the, the character has to be scouted. You have to know what you're doing to fight this character because she's just going to show up, especially here. Yeah, let's go, La Diva. And you got to imagine, too, that probably uh, even during. Even all right, so Koji versus Gobo. You know, oh, yeah. the hope there's going to be hype. Uh, Let me give you guys you a scope out. So, Koji's going to be on. Uh, yeah, yeah, this I mean, is the winner's quarters number four. It's the last one. Koji, Koko is going to be player one, and Gobo is going to be player two. We already know the matchup that we're going to see. You already know what to expect. But yes, we are going to see it. We are finally underway. Koji Koko, Gobu, who is the strongest last chance qualifier? Is it the warrior of love, Ladiva? Or is it the she doesn't love anything? She's emo. For a heart to open up to them in near. And again, letting the intros rock over here in the grand, in the finals here. And here we go. Believe in victory. Let's go. Yeah, first game. Kobu already started with Ooh, the media with punish sweep plus frames. Yeah, so if you haven't seen Gobo's character because you weren't here for the first day, their character is a grappler, pretty much a straight up SPDs and lariats, body splash, that type of play style. They have a pretty good sweet move that's good for going under stuff sometimes. Matchup wise, as you could probably expect because you've already seen how dumb this near character is, as you could probably expect this matchup is legit terrible. He just has to outplay them to win, that's the only way, there's no other way. But it won't be the first time, he's done it before. Except for once. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he got caught in the pre-jump frame. Yep. Uh, but, you know. Coach I would. I might check it out. I mean, I think that's what Gobo the PAX, did, right? it's a like, qualifier for 10,000, or it's the PAX tournament So Is PAX yeah, happening right I'll now? Go for a second one. But Koji Koko shows you how little I pay attention. I pay attention only to fighting. So Gobo might have to Even that, I barely pay attention. Thank you, Jab Work. I'll keep an eye out. That might be good for after this ends, because we still need something for downtime. It's still going on. Here we go. Plus frames. 
is looking for misfortune and well, I just remember to look at the check in the category after this is over. Oh, whoa, they were ready. talked about this during the LCQ. Yeah. Raging Strike is technically reactable, right? But Gobu wants to make sure you can actually react because who cares if it's reactable if you never actually react to it, right? Right. I'll take my free damage. So Koji Koko remembered that from LCQ, yet scouted it and reacted accordingly. Yeah, he had that in mind for sure. Gobu, we've seen that the two jabs into the Raging Strike. Oh, that was sick. The fact that they were trying to jump oh, oh. Damn, even the body and splash so the gets beat by that, huh? Yep, and that, therein lies the mind games here. 6 6 L's coming in there. Gonna use the brave counter. No, that was the ultimate skill headbutt on this one. And yeah, gets nice. The right there. Full conversion on this. Got her. Oh, she wasn't you ready. You just got grabbed by the 40 frame command grab, my friend. <laughs> oh, that. The head they mix us really good. See, that's what I mean about having to outthink them. They just had to mix you and chest everything and see the one thing you don't know about and then just attack that. You don't know about the, the five you, then go for the five. You're not ready for the SPD to jump out, get grabbed. You always jump, you know, get frame trial. And now has a better you like to mash, get headbutted. Oh. And now he's got him with the command grab. Yeah, command grab, special butt. Luckily, Koji Koko not phased by it, right? Sometimes you're going to get command grab, so you just have to stay alive. You have to keep fighting. Get off. Plus. Ooh, wow, Gobo. caught here on the startup right there. That's great for Gobu. That's because they backed and then they just did it. But they were pretty minus. They couldn't just do that. Koji Koko is recognizing when to use defensive options. Oh, this is actually kind of going good for Lediva right now. Come on, dude. That move is stupid. I do love that they call Nier's Dragon Punch Misfortune because it really does feel like a misfortune when you run into it. <laughs> that shit's so dumb. All right, let's take this tonight here. And, oh, wow, just starting off right away. Yeah, Ominous Turn is such a fast maneuver. It's really hard to stop at round start. Goes for the empty jump low, and wow, Gobu has blocked almost every single one. The very first one is the one that hit, and it hasn't happened since. Well, unfortunately for Gobo, trapped oh, in the corner. No punish attack. There we go. Oh, Come on. Well. So now you got to deal with the Now they're waiting for here. an uppercut because of what happened That's last time. But they don't have one. Just go in. They have no hearts. No what are you scared of? You scared of her regular ass trash folks? Yeah, go ham. Pretty much. It's open season right They're going to match reversal ASAP as soon as it comes back. Get ready. So we got to see the... Oh, another Oh! Were they doing the reversal? Is that where they got caught? It didn't kill, fuck. Kill just yet. Six, 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 put the oh. parry. So the skybound. Okay, super skybound arc for near. Look at Gobo's face. He's already like, what the fuck? Oh, but he's still oh. <laughs> the delayed button right there from Koji Koko. Gonna find its mark. And so Koji Koko takes the game. <laughs> yeah, go this guy's like, like, what the fuck is wrong with this character? Look at his face. What's wrong with their character? Give me your, give me your love. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me help. <laughs> Koji Koko's like, wait, aren't, aren't I in home? Aren't home I court? the American? Why? <laughs> you playing near? Nobody wants to cheer for you. You're another oh, near player. Koji Koko's up two zero, looking very strong. I don't know if they need the energy. <laughs> they're, they're they're doing well without it. Oh yes, right there, misfortune into He needs help. He's dying. Okay, and now gonna set the mix up and look you see right here. All the way to the corner, and there we go. Lockdown. Ultimate waltz. Very, yeah, just just uh, going for some light buttons right there. Light pressure after. Oh, Larry! Nice. Just busting out out of nowhere, but there it is. Yeah, two M straight into the right. options leg. So, yeah, using all that raging strike, but doesn't have enough meter to continue it, unfortunately. So, couldn't actually get the kill. Oh, oh. got just outside of range of the command. Oh. The grapple is getting shimmy. That's not good. The command grab has a pretty big range, so I'm really surprised Koji Koko made it out with a backwalk. <laughs> She for real casually just right, walked so out of range. Gobo match point against Gobo now. And here we go. Not a great start for Gobo here. Okay. Oh, wow. It's looking for Brave Counter and just not to be able There it is finally at the yeah. late jump. Koji Koko looking incredible on this one. Showing why they were the winner. Oh, sorry, Grappler sure. lovers, myself included. But this is a USA oh, moment. Wow. USA. Oh, Remember to pick a top yeah. tier. The dodge. And you get the slow Just do the whole dodge, thing. The raging strike. Yeah. Finish the job over here. Damn, Coach man, it was a sweet. Brutalize this poor man. He's like, yeah, I brutalize. <laughs> that is just going to put him into winner semis for now. And Gobo will be moving. Gobo was like, you're so cheap. You see, Gobo, you're so cheap, man. He won't give a shit. Yeah, that's a so good job, bro. That's the near gauntlet. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and if Taco wins their match. 
then it's truly the near gauntlet for Finn. <laughs> is he going to be playing nothing but nears the entire way? It depends so. on if he wins. You know, you know, Finn has to win for that for that reality to become true. We, we do exist in many realities here in the the great blue skies and great blue fantasies. So it's it's possible. It is possible. Right. Yes, congratulations to Koji Koko for moving on. We will still see more. Goku here has to get <laughs> so that is our semifinals locked in Takoda Fukunaga, Fittizen Koji Koko. Koji. All right. So Koji gets the dub. That, is now locked in as well. that was pretty free. Hey, let's go USA, <laughs> I guess. I feel I feel kind of torn. You know, usually I'm usually I'm all in about voting for USA. This time I'm like, oh. Damn, all right, we were the bad guys. Let's go USA, I guess. This time we were the bad guys. We picked the top tier. I gotta give a shout out to Ringe and Sage. Yeah, Max Sama. But it's okay. It's okay. It's actually the the best thing that could have happened to you just now was that you just missed that match. In fact, I recommend you don't go back and watch that and just cheer them on in the losers bracket. That's my recommendation to you. I believe we're going to continue on the winner side. I mean, that's how normal top eights start with with four players on the winners and the losers. We yeah, well, the, the thing is, is we, we are we are in the top eight for everybody on the winner right. side. I don't know. What do you think, Shot? Do you think Max Sama yeah, we'll should, should 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 we watch that later? Or do you think Max Sama should skip? Hope everybody here has on a scale of one to ten, how bad was that? Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. I give I give it like a seven. <laughs> it's pretty as well. Yes, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Yeah, mid those noise makers. It's like a six or seven. It's pretty up there. Vikala herself. If a, if a, t if a 10 is perfect legend versus Sonic Fox, this is, this is approaching that level last week. He's still alive. It's okay. He still could come World back Tour and 2020. lose his bracket. We That's why I was like, instead, we should cheer him on and lose his. But not only that. We have something in between those two finals that is a very special and Arxis is very excited about. On top of that, if you, you know, want to stretch your legs a little bit, there's vendors halls over there. You guys can get your merch. You guys can play in the shooting gallery and other such yeah. things. So make sure you check out the whole experience that Arc World Finals has <laughs> to offer. Exactly, like some of our sponsors over there. We've got 86 here. I've got my bike in 86. I've got my M Rage here. My bike in uh, jacket or my my coat over here. Oh yeah, Vegeta uh, tried to power himself have, up by getting uh, really mad, and that worked for about three seconds, and then he understood that Frieza was just more powerful than he was. That was support Vegeta a lot. All right, Taco, back again. He's doing the classic, the fix your glasses. He's overdoing it though. He's like extra fixing the glasses. Like, no, you're supposed to just, you know, and then be done. Look, guys, I'm fixing my glasses. I'm charging my laser. I'm talking shit, but he might win the whole tournament. And that is Takodot. Once again, we saw Takodot just a little bit earlier on the winner's side, and I mentioned that he's named after Octopus. He got this name because his brother said he looked like an octopus. What? Yeah. His brother was bullying him. And he was like, I actually... <laughs> his brother was just an hey, asshole. My, my that sounds like me and my cousins. You know what? I guess he's not what he Let me tell you the stupid right? stuff that my, me and my cousins would do, all right? But one time my cousin was like, hey, Vic, you know, you know Rice Krispies talk to you. Like the commercial, you ever heard the commercial when you're a kid, Rice Krispies talk to you? Rice Krispies talk to you. I was like, yeah, really? He was like, yeah, really? You got to listen. So he pours some milk in a bowl of Rice Krispies, and you know, it starts making the crackle. So he's like, no, you got to really put your head close to that so that you can hear how that is talking. So I put my head real close, and then like an asshole, he just dunked me in, in the, the, <laughs> the goddamn Rice Krispies and milk. Stupid things that we used to do to each other. And you gotta listen real close. Yeah, wrecked. I got wrecked, exactly. <laughs> Once again, uh, from Japan, and as you saw, both players qualifying from <laughs> Side Games Cup Special, so likely. This Lance is beast. This might be a really good match. Tournament. So they will be facing each other. Here Let me try to give you the proper amount of time. I need a copy of the bracket for myself. Tour. That'll help. Me. Yes, yeah. Give Fukunaga and uh, Takodot are both in very similar areas of Japan, actually. So Takodot is from Shiba, and Fukunaga is from uh, another area close to Tokyo. When there's semis one, right? I'm unfortunately forgetting. Takodot versus Fukunaga. They look. They're about to start. 
Um, so, you know, I, I got to imagine they run into each other. Right. Only when right. he wants. Absolutely. They're too uncomfortable to wear all the time. Obviously, going to try to find out which of these two players from Japan He's out is going to get into that winner's final. Mm -hmm. So, let's get this match underway. Yes, yes. This here is determined who of these two competitors is going to get into our winner's finals. Is it going to be Vakala's Biggest fan. Octopus Hanada, or Fukunaga? Or is it going to be HNK's strongest soldier, Fukunaga? <laughs> You know, it's, it's really interesting, too, because, I mean, obviously, a lot of times the history of, you know, the players in this, you know, they, they have fighting game backgrounds and such. I wonder how many of these players are, were just, near. Like, just grand blue fans. Well, Thomas, no, I think near. Games, you know? <laughs> well, uh, for both of these players have played multiple fighting right. games, but here is our winner's semifinals, Takadot, Fukunaga, and we have already started with the offensive pressure. The skies and uh, the skies the corner, not looking out for any in the, the sky room were all peaceful, the grand Cypher was chilling, flying around everywhere, peaceful trade, and then along came Nier together with Duck. Rising my ass, the ship is sinking. The real animation slows down. Yeah, every portion of your character slows down while you have the ice debuff on you, even when you're blocking it. And you can see it by the little shimmers and sparkles, but it's really hard to notice while, you know, Lancelot is doing other stuff at the same time. Yeah, but here we go. Gonna side swap and get that corner position. Just waiting for that, uh, that brave counter. Yeah. Wow, look at all these throw attempts of Fukunaga. Yeah, the thing is, he's button attacking. He's right picking away with the throws. I would, I would be that every time. Oh, oh man. Setup, unfortunately. So Taco Dot stayed outside of brave counter range while keeping in the, uh, keeping t uh, Fukunaga in block stun with the ultimate uh, uh, reverse. And so because of that, you can get out of brave counter or you can just force the unblockable on them. Gotcha. Now here we go. Corner. Ooh, oh, oh my yeah, goodness! Call out on the teleport. Yeah, anti-air misfortune. You don't see that super often, but I mean, it's a very good ability to have. My sure. goodness! Are out. You remember all those texts earlier? Well, where are they now? <laughs> Again, maybe talk about thinking to himself. He's not. He's not oh. going to go for more throws. But here we go. There's that deep up again. And now to the corner here. Not going to have enough meter for the skybound art. So it just tries to apply some pressure. But that brave counter. Again, plus on block on the brave counters. She's got nothing. He could pity tap her and win right now. Figures, you know what? Next hit, I'll probably die anyway, so might as well spend the rest of my brave points. Oh, now he dies. Now he dies. He actually dies. actually used the deep plus twenty percent. Oh, plus fifty percent. Oh, he lived. What the fuck? Oh, my God. That was so good. So Fukunaga tried to cross over to be able to get away, but the thing is, is she still had death meter available, right. so she was able to cancel the EX Ominous turn into another move. Yeah, just barely reached, got stabbed from behind by death. And so Taco Dot taking game number one. Why does character one. exist? Will take us all. <laughs> oh, man. If I could erase one mistake yeah, from fighting games, it would be this uh, character existing. This turn, but here comes Fukunaga. Oh yeah, misfortune again, right there. And I mean, that's that's one of the most common places to go for misfortune because a lot of as soon as they got on the board meeting, and someone was like, "Hey, so we're gonna put Nier in the game, and we're gonna make her the easiest puppet character ever." As soon as someone just no, just smack them in the back of the head, and just like shut up, keep your dumb ideas to yourself. Oh, how about Vane? Can we have Vane? That sounds more fun. Make him like Reason Multi Blood or something. You know, just attack you with the shield. Got the punish with the 6 xl and the kill. Sounds way more reasonable. Now trying to tie it up one to one. Yeah, and there's there's finally some damage from Lancelot, right? We talked about how mid screen is just not gonna happen, but once you finally get that, that corner, buys a debuff, does whatever he wants to you. Ooh, missing the dashing H. That's actually really good for Fukunaga, yeah, because that means the best knockdown that Nier had available was not actually available. Oh, finds a 6 XL. Sometimes beautiful things don't last. I am into SWR. Oh no, gonna go into the skybound art. Yeah, I mean, it puts them in blitz comp right? into whatever that he weird anime blitz comp and barely little life, they made. But hold on, this is gonna be full corner carry. Now, Grombu fans need to Grombu Rising. Finish it off here, Southern Cross. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just I'm exaggerating, all right. The game's not terrible because of Nier, but Yes, come on Fukunaga. Take their soul. There it is. Fukunaga. 
I'm always scared to put that on the table as long as he doesn't drop it. I don't want a commentator's curse. I'm sure it's a fine game on its own if you didn't know about the previous game at all. The previous game, the problem is that the previous game was sick. The previous game was basically Guambu versus, but instead of roll, they had parry. And then they were even smart enough to make the parry not like third strike parry. They made it anime parry so that it has recovery. And it's not like whack ass, uh, you know, multi blood where like it barely has you. Can know this shit has recovery. You better guess right when you power. It's so good. He even has a dope ass soundtrack. Use the jump you it's got a character that's basically the main character of Equilibrium. She jumps around and just starts shooting bullets full screen while she's upside down. Oh, tried EX misfortune, ultimate misfortune on that one. There it is, Breaker. That was guaranteed. That was 100% guaranteed. Fukunaga, incredible. Yeah, so there was a How about we delete Mir and just put Beatrix in her spot? Is that allowed? Can we do that? And of course, once you land that raging strike in the corner, don't even need the follow up. When the near players all complain, we could just like play fairy. It's fine. Okay, then again, I feel like that's the second or third time we've seen Fukunaga, you know, play fairy. You got uppercut, you got pets, you got traps, overhead. Yeah, it's really hard, you know, because like a lot of people use Brave Counter as a means to hit death. So you, you take right. away one stock from there and you take away death entirely, right? Brave Counter is just all around one of the best mechanics in the game. If you're playing this game, you do need to learn. I mean, she probably would be pretty good if Nier didn't exist right now. She probably would be pretty good right now if there wasn't a such thing as Nier. Unfortunately for Takodot, did not convert the combo completely here. Yeah, there's the Brave Counter. Brave Counter right back. But again, Takodot has no Brave I bet this is her natural predator. This is dumbass character. This character in six. Or even just, you know, a couple, uh, just a short combo is going to be able to take it. Doesn't even need any sort Ooh, of Oh, you want to talk about right short there. combos. House four hits as <laughs> Fukunaga takes game number two. Interesting. Come on, Interesting. Fukunaga. Here we go. Taco Dot here with his back against the wall. We need a miracle. Something out here, but nicely done uh, movement, of course, from Lancelot here. Very fast, able to get in. Oh, Blade Impulse right there. So did this lower fireball. Blade Impulse late on the whip recovery. But instead, Taco Dot still keeping composure. Has the pressure now. An immediate break counter. Not letting Nier get pressure for a Come on, Fukunaga. Wake well, up, but Yes. Abare. Go full ham. We don't have to call Just it mash. We don't have to call it You're not American. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, Let's uh, go. Go full yeah, ham. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glorious okay. Nippon or something. Yes, right. the throw now. Goes for the setup here. Wow. Buff apply. Anyway, the concept of, of like a barre, right, is that it is mashing, but it's like control mashing. And the different ways you control it, the idea is that, you know, you're, you've played so much and you've experienced being knocked down, you know, hundreds of times, thousands of times, maybe even tens of thousands of times you've been knocked down. So you know what it feels like to get me versus when you don't get me. So a bar rate is kind of like you wake up and then you feel that a meeting didn't happen. So mentally, like, you know, you press a button because they messed up, maybe or something didn't come out. And it's not a thing that you should do all the time, but actually, you know, if you do it right, it's kind of good. Sometimes they really do mess up, and a bar works. They drop their meat, bam, job, get them. Differently, or at least try to pick up some more of the patterns and the pacing. Every player, no matter how good you are, has tendencies and, and patterns that you can explore. I mean, I'm sure Lance is, is good against this character. If you show me a matchup chart, it, it's probably pretty close to even. And 6-2, I bet 6 versus near is, is pretty close to even. But still, she's she's so good even against them, and then she's oppressive against several other characters. There's a lot of characters that don't exist right now because of you. Here we go, big damage. Yeah, right in the sky down again. Get that brave point back. Take away. Oh no, it dropped! It dropped! What? Oh my goodness, Hakuna! I don't even know what just happened, but you deserve it for being a near player. You deserve it. I, you know, I didn't see if it was combo limit or You not. deserve so this. On the BP, but there it is. Okay. Is actually able to block. He's so mashing. So it does not count as a guard crush. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, the okay, game tries okay, to, okay. To, to make it so that you don't die to too cheap of stuff. Right, right, right. <laughs> Two block strings into the, the exact strike, yeah. right? But oh, yeah. Blade Impulse is gonna catch. Yes! And there it is, the 5L. Fukunaga has taken down Taco. Let's go, Fukunaga. Take it down the person that stopped them from Take down the beast. Save the, the stream. You can do it. Yeah, you can 
see how ecstatic is he's uh, face bump with that get paid boys and girls definitely something that you know time for us a skull a influx Woo, like baby said, after he lost him in side game cups he's probably just like no no the I skull tax return happen once we get to the uh, once we get to america <laughs> There you go. Oh, now the ch crowd here chatting. Fukunaga's name out here. Yeah, no, I mean, I had, look, look, the story a lot for a lot of people was honestly Taco Dot. And uh -huh, so uh -huh. for, for Taco Dot to go down. I think Dalanomis, right my take, I think what's happening is they're not doing what we would normally do and using like an OPS setup or something about, like that. Uh, I think they're using a hardware encoder. We and those hardware encoders, they're all right for like cameras. See, like this looks great in a camera. They're not too good for like 60 FPS gameplay. And so yeah, going down to the loser side, which use a hardware you know, encoder for camera shots. You can use that the whole show, and it looks fucking amazing. You could do a whole fucking news broadcast with that for, for 20 hours or something. But then use it for this gameplay feed, and that's when it starts showing this weakness. It's gonna be either Zippy or Gobo just immediately right there. And well, I mean, they look, do look very stylish, Afro. The Senpai Spider, and no, Senpai Spider didn't qualify. You can see here at the top, this is all the guys that qualified for the tournament. Fukunaga are first up in winners finals. The only ones that you might know are like Zeram, of course, because Zeram used to enter everything, and maybe Zippy. Zippy's already in losers, and Zeram. Damn, they're both in losers. That sucks. At least they don't have to fight each other. Yeah, Gobo's about to die. Red Warrior needs food battle. Let's go, boy. That dude needs food battle. Got into this Feed that man, otherwise he's about to die. I'm feeling good. And so, you know, I, I re I've always considered the LCQ as one of the most dangerous opponents to go up against. Yeah, yeah, I mean, one of the other things that a lot of people don't talk about is the LCQ winner has the least amount of information available up until the did they give? Did they have a break right? yet Those just LCQ to start? People, That's one thing that they do. They, they have no mercy. Right? They're like, no I breaks, motherfucker. Keep going. You That's good, because otherwise they'll the be... The but then they have the huge break in the middle. That's probably why they made them just go through. I mean, literally, that's where the term, you know... This is the one tournament where they could have scheduled it better with the esports breaks. They have had the esports breaks and then it would have gone smooth. The I mean, I, we, I've seen screenshots of someone studying a matchup of a player and that player is behind them watching them. Watch the two hour or three hour crazy, gap in the middle, that, 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 all the viewership's going to go away. Who's going to sit there and wait for match. that? Uh, no Cagliostro today. Guac. It's three nears, two Siegfried, one Charlotta, uh, one La Diva, and then what's the last one I'm forgetting about? That is right. Fittison is back in action. Trying to make it to the Let me see. I'll look at it for you. That way we can break it down the characters one more time. So let's see. Near. That's where I'm going. To the top. Lance. Oh, Lance is the last one. Near Lance. This is a uh, near. Who did Fittison play? I forgot. Who that is. Sig? Is it Sig? I start getting confused about who plays what, but basically a lot of near, a lot of Siegfried, and then La Diva because La Diva. Is Koji Coco bringing in that near again? The other side of this last chance qualifiers, uh, of course, Gobo being the other one here. But again, like I said, coming in here hot, coming in here, coming with in hot, really good after winning yesterday. So uh, Koji Coco, I feel like it's going to be a real danger here. Yeah, I mean, Koji Coco breaking the curse of what we saw in the group stages for Guilty Gear Strive earlier, where the LCQ winner is still continuing on through the bracket, right? So yep, but, this, is, uh, uh, this, this is this is real good for Koji Coco, I want to say. But Fitizen is probably one of the hardest walls you're going to have to run <laughs> up against in Grand Blue Fantasy from versus even to Rising. Right, and uh, as we mentioned, uh, the, the, the next match here in the near gauntlet here for him, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so if Fittison does win this one, the near gauntlet is over. But Winner semis to two, all right? Fittison, player one. The way Koji Koko has been playing, Koji Koji's Koko player two. Anybody to win anything. <laughs> yes, yes, uh-huh. Screw games. We're talking about no <laughs> rounds. No rounds, son. <laughs> but here it is to determine who is going to winner's finals. This was a real sick free throw. This Koji wasn't Koko. like that other sick free. That other sick free was too passive.
this sick free yeah, will take your life. This will be moving on to go up against Fukunaga, who just uh, took out Taco Dot. And so, you know, uh, obviously he knows how to fight near very well. So, Koji Koko might be thinking, you know, like, I'm going to take this, I'm going to show him how to fight that match, you know. But of course, Fita Zen in his way here, ready to continue forward and represent the EU. Here we go. And there it is. Round <laughs> okay, so this is what we saw Fit as an early. Chicken out puppet. To be able to <laughs> press buttons onto death and kill death was just the game plan. Then after that, you're good to go to fight near. She's a normal person after that. Oof. Got caught this time here, and now we go. Jesus. Well, I see is a, a blur of purple slashing at you. And was even, I mean, looking for break counter, and Fittison didn't bite on it. You can tell the defense is structured for Fittison, looking for very Oh, my God. Stuff. Try blocking this. Right there, yeah, exactly. And you see again those Ooh, early dots. Jesus Christ. Against the projectile making it so that they recover right when it passes through them. So you do not give Sig This This is the guy that dreams about. You know how some people, they, they just dream yeah, that, I mean, that a a top tier character is just right for them? That's this guy. This guy woke up in the morning one day and he, he tried here and he was like, yes, it's my time. He immediately knew. Finding 6XL and now finding the throw here in the corner. Trying to get Look some extra this. frames right there, but again, you know, we have players calling out people dashing forward after those plus frames. This dude is, yeah, is doing it as cheap as possible. This dude is playing the easy mode puppet character, like how someone will really play Zotto. Doing everything right. Always confirming to dumbass damage, reversing at the right times, using the long range pokes. Oh, Therefore, we're not no, letting the other person right play the game. It isn't. You notice the 2L connected, but no Braves. Uh, Braves. They're here to collect the money and go home. Go on the chip damage. The death cage, but doesn't matter. Gonna get that chip damage. And there we go. First round to Koji Koko. Yeah, definitely a different game right there for Vitizen. And I mean, you know, that's the thing is, is no matter if you're playing the same character, you're playing a different opponent. Oh, yeah. They are going to oh, play yeah. differently, right? He got tired of... 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 Okay, I see. Okay. Berserk said he used to play Zoe. I I that's idea. funny. He yeah, said he got I mean, tired of another character. Right? I better set play than him. He's like, okay, well, I'm going to try their character. This set plays better than mine. But no matter what, what you're doing is assessing your opponent and finding out their tendencies. That's funny. By the way, the character... The character that, that he gave up for, this character, basically has a dragon that follows you around and does mouth beams, full screen at you and shit like that. That wasn't good enough. Alright, Fittison. Is ready with one of the best Skybound arts in the game. Okay. It's just so good. It freezes frame. It reaches really far. It's incredibly easy to do with a uh, quick input. It just, for real, just the character that he gave up for this character had a dragon frame. That wasn't good enough. Get caught in the near trap over here. No, actually, okay. Tried to ch chase down on the landing. Whoa! Fita Zen ready with the OD, uh, with the EXPP. Yeah. Oh, wow. tried to go for the brave counter, but I mean, it was ready for it for a second. Didn't matter though. Koji Koko just capitalizing off of it now. Oh, ultimate Baby. dragon punch out of here, son. Kill him. I kind of want him to win now. He's so cheap that he's 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 won me over at this point. Yeah, so it was it was a lot of HTP in the yeah, yeah. gaps uh -huh, of the uh -huh. guard strings, right? Yeah, but there, yeah, yeah. that was not a gap in the guard strings. Right, so right, you could tell that right. this has become desperation for Fizzy. Something we did not see whatsoever in the previous set. All right, well, he does get the corner position here. Button tech right there from Koji Koko, so he's going to lose a little bit of health. Yeah, unfortunately, just always having to watch out for misfortune. So when you normally have a lot of pressure on the opponent, you just kind of try to watch out instead. Because you think you're on offense on near until she hits misfortune, and then you're like, oh, I lost half my life. What happened? Great. Oh, again. Yeah, it always works. Fire Ominous turn has a gap, and Fittizen is ready. He has one of the best reversal sweepers on top of all the damage that he can do. No death cage. Death is gone. Oh, it moves forward really far. It goes over stuff randomly. I mean, at this point in time, we can clearly say it's like a really weird, strange no super. It's hard to beat. Oh, love and redemption. Got oh, the throw, and that's going to okay. finish it off. We are one apiece. One, one. I mean, that is what Siegfried presents to you always, is strike throw. It may seem like it's super easy because there's really only two options or whatever in your head, but no, there's a lot going on there. Strike throw is one of the scariest mix-ups in fighting games. Oh, there's the anti-anti-air. But of course, also... He's you know, an anti-anti-air. Uh, Entire the damage that Siegfried can pump out with the right guess makes that strike throw make them so much scarier. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught the light. Yeah, that was a counter hit confirmed. Okay, right there. Raging Strike really wants to build this skybound art. Just barely got the meter at the end there. It's weird that the stage has like cheering now. It's not a thing that the stage used to have. People just cheering for no reason. 
It's not like that you see a crowd in the background or anything. Why are people cheering? Okay, sweep. Yeah, I mean, Sigrid has one of the best sweeps in the game, so I understand just using that. Okay, full conversion here. Overhead? Oh, I see, I blocked overhead. I'm, I'm full. Oh. oh, we got caught. Jesus Christ! What kind of loop was that? Hit his ass with the loop the loops. Wow! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obnoxious amount of damage. On top of that, one stock with Renier. So more and more damage. Okay. So again, no brave, no life. An important round here is going to determine who goes up two to one. Oh, sweep right there, and yeah, it doesn't have any. Uh, any yeah, I guess it's just really bright. I miss when they used to use the staged with the. Uh, it was like the giant. It was that supposed to be Yggdrasil or something? It was like the the giant girl in the background. I miss that stage. That stage is cool. They also had a space stage before Tekken 8 had a space stage. They just had a stage where randomly fighting in space for no reason. That stage is also dope. Instead, we get to see the same ass stage since the first version. Oh, it's Rosetta. Is that what it is? That's Rosetta stage. It's the giant mommy. That stage is cool. Two to one. <laughs> so much damage. I mean, if I could choose, I would I would fight on that that stage or uh or the uh the in space stage like every time. Pretty much those two stages. Very specifically, attempting to use as many gauges as possible before the super skybound art to get that extra damage. And here comes Fita Z and gets the corner position, gets the combo going, tries the bait, Coach Kobo into a <sighs> throw, a little bit Yeah, it's yeah. funny because everybody got hyped for the space stage in Tekken 8 when it oh, came out. And I was like, that whatever, was and Steve time. was like, you not hyped, Spooky? You I was like, well, they the had basically the same damn stage in Guan Blue already. He was like, for real, and then I showed him the Guan Blue stage, he was like, you're right, it is basically the same stage. And it is, it's basically the same stage. Yeah, right. the recovery. The right? up, yeah. So, but the thing is, is you know what that means, right? Um, it's oh. OG Coco has started to scout that ominous turn is is something that uh, Fitizen is looking for. So he's like, no, 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 no. I'll use evade here, and it'll trick you. So now Koji Coco. Yeah, I don't know if Rising is Rising on PS4, but regular Grand was on PS4. I think the loading time was trash. You know, faded out wake up, at, uh, back to back wake up, I think it was. Oh, that's, that's been damaged. Oh my god, that's damaged. <laughs> oh, where did the health go? So, if there was EXs on the side of Fitizen, oh. that would have killed. But there was no EXs. I'm sure the loading time is ass, but you know, if you only have a PS4 and that's the only, only way you like can play fighting damage. games, then. It was only 60% instead of 100 you know? Get the free version at least. <laughs> There's nothing better than free, especially when it's a game that this well designed. When you say you could play it for free and try some characters, that's pretty cool. You play the free one until the real one is on sale. It might be on sale right now. I know there's an Arxis, like a publisher sale. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dragon Punch, take it out. So we're seeing it more as a defensive tool in actual guard streams rather than looking for Omnis' turn now because of the call out earlier. And yeah, still looking for that brave counter. And Fitizen is not oh. budging as the Callisto special comes out. Well, I guess that one wasn't wake up, so maybe it doesn't count. And yeah, now it has rollback. Oh, the orchid yeah. could kill. Sweet. Man, yeah, it just think if we had rollback so with the original Guan Blue versus how crazy that shit would have been. He's trying to walk out of range a lot of the time. That yeah, shit would have so, been complete so hand. I haven't gotten to talk about that all weekend, actually. That is a very common thing from Glamboo Fantasy previously in Versus. And now in Rising, it's showing up a lot. Normally, we have the Grand I can't remember if Strive is good or bad. Is all I remember with Strive is the R code thing. You um, press start, and, and then you wait like a minute before you finally get into the game or whatever. So you go for the sweep to stop him from doing it. Yeah, and also, I, mean, I have I haven't loaded my PS4 in a long time it's since I got a PS5. I kind of yeah, used the PS5 the more if I do use a, like, a oh, console for anything. Be okay. And then you get caught by the second, you're like, oh, that's right, dig it. Yeah, two hits, and he can cancel either one. He feels like it. All right, there it is. Full conversion here from Koji Koga. And staying outside of Dragon Punch and Sweep Range. You saw that, right? Yeah. That was the bait for the sweep. You can see adaptations on adaptations here in the semifinals. They are duking it out with literally everything they have, leaving nothing on the table here. Koji Koko back on set point for winners finals. Oh boy. And just checks the dash right there. Probably a six. Come on, now, USA. I don't even care that you're the cheapest man I've ever seen. Just USA. Go. go for it. Get that money. Fifteen grand. Get that money, Koji Coco. Make sure to 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 give some subs to Tees Pookie when you win. Oh 
boy. And again, Skybound. Skybound. All right, she's going to be very close to death now. She's <laughs> one nice good hit. Wake up buttons again. Oh, oh, no. oh wait a second. Okay, this He's is got no life. He, 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 he could throw a sneeze on him right now and he'll die. Yeah, you are just trying to chip at this point in time. Just hit him with the hot oh, shoot. Oh! He's dead, right? He no? Have for the sky art just yet. No jump. There's the jump. You with the, that's negative. I can't believe Koji Koko can press something. Orkin comes out. And Bro. still Koji Koko pressing nothing because there's no... Oh, the right time. my God. You thought a throw was coming or something. Only chance because there was Holy shit, that was close. That right. Despite the fact that Koji Koko had him on ship, it didn't matter to Fittison because he knew that the special uh, attacks were... That was insanely close. All right, Koji. Right, but again... A, a lot of the, a lot of the USA. That's the, how, how I have to, to make myself happy about the series. USA. Otherwise, we have to discuss that another near has, has progressed. New opportunity to get a six XL so it's near and, uh, versus done by Koji Koko had who's Fuku Naga again? Lance. It's Lance so near versus Lance win. again. How many Lances did this poor guy have to fight? No, he he got lucky. He had to fight. Finals because just because near is uh, gone does not mean you cannot fight, and that right. is very very important if you're playing. Six three near. first. Definitely take notes <laughs> on the near players here, and you want to take notes on this bracket. Lance versus near. Do have an updated one. This is bracket. Finals, we'll see what happens. We have solidified it. It is Fukunaga versus Koji here Koko. We have Japan versus America, but now. We know that Zerum and Sonic Sen are going to be fighting Fittizen, whichever one is going to be able to win. So, Zerum, Sonic Sen, Zippy, Gobu, Fittizen, Taco Dot, they all have to duke it out to make it back through this bracket. Right, of course, we started with everybody on the winner's side, so nobody has been eliminated yet, but that is what is starting here right now. We are finally getting to the point where players are going to be knocked out of the tournament, and the first two players that will be taken out will be finishing in seventh place. But again, we will be starting that loser's bracket round, but that will be taking place right <laughs> after this break. Do not go Man, anywhere. Shit. More Grand Blue Fantasy oh, break time. All right. coming up after this. All right, guys, break time. We've been sitting here for a little bit, so it's a good time for you guys to take a break. Don't forget to support the channel if you're able to. Of course, I appreciate all your subs and your goodies. I'm streaming the Ark World Tour this weekend for your fun and your enjoyment. Uh, we're also going to figure out what to do in between, whether I choose to play some Tekken or we just take a break until later or whatever. In the evening time, make sure to come back where we're going to have the Strive Finals. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do in between. I might take a break just to my birthday weekend. All I did, all I did this week was clean up my place and stream and work and make YouTube videos. I barely did anything birthday -y for myself. I don't really know what I feel like doing. That's part of it. I don't got nothing I want to really want to gift myself or anything like that. Toys, like a little kid. Ooh. God, 2P looks crazy. Happy Saturday, Zaladin. High five, Billy B. Don't worry, so did I earlier this week. Two and two at Tampa never sleeps. Good, Zaladin. I'm chilling. I was just thinking about we're right now on break. We just watched like oh, almost two hours of Grand Blue matches so far. So I was thinking about grabbing a quick smoke and coming right back to talk to y'all and check out more of the matches. I'm just waiting to see if they're going to drop a timer so I can idea how long the break is. Okay, cool. I am going to smoke. I'll be right back in like three minutes to five minutes, guys. And I'll see you on the flip side for the next match. I can use some water too. Oh, I have water right here. My whole time my stomach's growling for water is right here. All right.
of these to the Grand Blue Fantasy Rising versus Rising finals here at Arc World Tour. That's right. We have just completed the first round of the, uh, again, everybody starting on the winner's side. Yep. And then we completed the next round of winner's side. Now, unfortunately, this is where players start to go home. And so we are going to the loser side of the bracket, and we are going into our elimination matches. Let's see if we can take a look at that bracket and see what's coming up here. That's right. So we are now having most of the bracket solidified up on the winner's side. You know, we got the Fukunaga Koji Koko winner's finals, but it is time, just like James was talking about, to see who has to walk on home. They're not allowed to pray night. They have to walk. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's particularly <laughs> harsh for Sonic Sam. And, and, and Gobo, I'll, I'll be yeah. honest with you. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so there is our losers round one, though. I believe the match that we're going to be seeing. What characters did you lose to, Billy B? going to be Zippy and Gobu. And then after that, we'll be seeing Serum and Sonic Sam. So My last tournament, I lost to... Winner of those matches will be playing either Taco Dot okay. or Fittizen. Victor Mirror. But yes, and that is it. We are now in relegation, elimination, or whatever you want to call it. I forgot who got me exactly. in. Exactly. So, and again, interesting. Oh, Jin got me in winners. This first match over here, you know, Good I've been Jin talking player. a little bit about the, you know, the Japanese players over here. Gobo, of course, is on that loser side, but the first one is going to be, uh, we're going to be eliminating one of the EU players or one of the US players coming up. As you can see, uh, Zippy going up against Go. Oh, okay, actually, we're actually doing this match first, yeah, 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 actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's going to be Zippy versus Gobo. All right, so here we go. Oh, shit. Gonna be that near I don't even have FF16. I don't have uh, FF16 yet, and I don't have like FF7 said, uh, remake part two yet. Knows the matchup, Koji Koko, of course, uh, taking it, but still. Let's uh, go, baby. Losers bracket, Gobo. all right? Let's see so now this shit is for real. Zippy versus well. Gobo. Yeah, better players always going to end up mattering, and I mean, we kind of saw Losers that top eight. Very, very well Zippy. And then couldn't defeat Koji Koko. Gobo. Right? So it's, uh, it just depends. Like, there's, these are different players despite the same character. So here it is, our American Deer Zip versus well. Gobu right now, Ladiva. But of course, you know a lot of the, the fan here are all out rooting for Gobo. I just had a, a banana, it was delicious. Ladiva, I mean, now I'm about to see a good match, well. let's go. Okay, there it is, the dash L coming up. Oh, with the Lariat directly yeah, after Optimus turns the ultimate waltz comes out. And then nice, well, a regular throw, just in case they jump. To the oh. and ready They're for waiting the for reversal, counter, but, but instead, Zippy match buttons. Zippy finds the time where Gobu can get frame trapped. Yep. And now banish near. He can. Gobu right now can banish a near. Oh, he does get shimmied here. But they gotta win. Really strong right there from they came all the way from LCQ Zippy to get to this point. Oh, oh snatched. Yes, yes, snatched. This does mad damage. Watch this. Watch how much damage this One. Two, look at the last part. Oh my god. No, don't cut away, idiot. Come on. Cameraman, please. What are you doing? I know. Even the matchup just like that. But still, Zippy managed to get that hit right at the end. Fantastic. I can't believe We wanted to see that, god damn it. Super Sky Van Dart was almost back into that. It's not even the camera guy's fault. It's, it's with the director. Getting too fancy. Let the game speak for itself. And now, just, uh, yeah, getting pushed toward the corner here. Got opened up. And now, Gobo. Has to deal with the mix-up again. Mm -hmm. yeah, using see. all these stocks right now. Was looking for Brave yeah. Counter again and just staying outside. Ultimate Waltz is up and just still doing the same thing, right? But you got to remember, if you're staying outside of Brave Counter range for Ladiva, you're inside of 2U range, which is the sweep. And that mm -hmm. can lead to some bad stuff. I didn't want to deal with the Lariat at all right there. Just immediately with the Brave Whoa. Counter. Okay, made it Whoa. over death. One down. Yeah, They're I'm trying to grab the grappler. We've seen this from Zippy. That's he rude. Definitely is not bashful. About <laughs> yeah, I go with mashing in frustration. You could you could smell the frustration in the way they're playing. You could smell it. Oh, wow. With oh, punish, very good. Oh, but didn't, yeah. didn't yeah. Break, why, why didn't you break, break uh, or raging strike? I, I feel like right. raging strike would have connected there, but I, maybe I'm wrong. Zippy's been way better than I am. Oh, oh, there it is. The five wow. L just far enough. Was, Away from the command grabs, if you're gonna be taking team. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, this goddamn character, that you know he's thinking to himself. He's like, I will win this entire goddamn tournament if it wasn't for this stupid character. In some form or another. I mean, clearly he is, but still, you know, it's just, there's something more evil about it. <laughs> you gotta remember what the Japanese players He's about, about to go it. sit in the crowd man. and watch the, the rest of the Guilty man. Gear players Never play. Oh, so go home with some money. Yeah, you said yesterday you that you asked the players, does he have a secondary? And they like, said no. Nope. It ain't it ain't no, it ain't no, it all it ain't all down. In this world, but damn, two B's and six it and sucks to get this far and, and then just lose to two years. That's tough. Gonna stick with the Ladiva here, but 
I mean, uh, you can see like one of the downsides of this character really, you know, having trouble fighting against Nier, and this is one of those characters oh, that you no, are going to run no, into. Sorry. Seven, a call out from Zippy you wish. Right there, ready yeah. for the Super Skybound are basically setting up the exact same Yes, their friend is deaf, but they were not and feeling going, suicidal okay, today. Probably go for it again. They didn't yeah. feel like just and jumping again, into your like hands, said, bro. I, Obviously not exactly the greatest matchup here for the Diva, but and that's what makes it tough is that you're gonna run into You just gotta be better. Uh, so Gobo, you gotta do something. Be better, man. Get in there. Why are you so scared? For real, the puppet is just down and then they're just chilling. Get in there. Do a headbutt. Do a lariat. Do anything. Oh my god. Don't do it when they can fucking summon. It's like his timing is just all off. There you go. Okay. No jump, no body splash, no not. It's because they've been waiting too. They've been waiting in anti ring. They've been doing everything right. So that's that makes him just instead of opening up more options, he's doing less stuff, which is bad. That makes it him even more predictable. You see how death is just looming right there, right? Yeah. Oh, see. It's like Zippy can tell what they're gonna do because they don't do more stuff. They do less stuff because they're scared. They gotta just be wild. The first hit puts you in guard crush, and then the second hit actually connects on you if you block it. Right. So, and again, oh, there's the crowd. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the diva's mobility not as strong as a lot of other characters. <laughs> He's out like, there. thank you guys, so you thank you guys, but I'm about to die. He's saying, thank you guys. <laughs> That's what I'd be like. Thanks for cheering for me. Cause I'm about to lose horribly. This is like me versus Anakin and Tekken or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit, Spooky made the top eight. Then the first match I have to fight Anakin. Good luck, Spooky. And I just I'm walking up the stage looking like Duff the Red. Why Spooky look like that? Alright, gonna use one of those brave counters. Wow. The only song I can hear in my head is the, the song from Friday when when uh, Tiny Lister's character, he's like riding the bike. It was like, Debo's coming. I mean, we talk about that off just like uh, for those players at home that aren't familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah, can you describe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, how yeah so works? basically, you, you press the Abari button that you're looking for, whether it be uh, the crouch light, crouch medium, or maybe even the sweep, right? Right. And you blink. Uh, the funniest is when everybody was hiding their stuff one time, and the one guy was like, "I'm just gonna hide it under my shirt." Right. But if not, you're you're doing the motion so fast that it won't come out. Right. That guy learned a hard lesson. Hit. If you block something, you'll come out with a brave counter. As brave well. counter, yeah, yeah, because you want to do gotta hide your stuff better, man. Right. So you're, you're really, you're really trying to layer your defense there. Yep. Try, yep. Death going away <gasps> there. Oh wow, he just Wait ate the jump in a minute. He was doing uh, to you and me. Oh, okay. So if he was already answer, pressing yeah. the button uh, at that point. So here's ultimate waltz though, but I now no more no death. Yeah, death is gone. Yep. Death and taxes. Oh, got hit. Oh man. Raging chain. Didn't yeah. have the raging chain, but Gobo didn't know that movie that. has a lot of funny scenes. But I had to pick a stock. Come on, Gobo. Yes, and then it's the, the part where Big Worm, he's he's in the ice cream truck. Oh my God, that's so sad. That's terrible. That's terrible. And then I have to count that as a sweep. Can I just not count that one? And that is it right there. And clearly, Gobo, one of the fan favorites over here. The ru rules are rules. Is that only number three? I'm gonna go look at the bracket. Have we really only had three sweeps the whole time? One, two, three, four. I missed one. We saw just a little bit ago that uh, we are now in relegation, so that means I'm sorry, everyone at home, but that does <laughs> truly mean. Go Bam! Here's the, the one I missed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, did qualify into Strive as well, but then didn't make it out of the the, the, the group stage. Yes. So yeah. There's only one song I can play in this situation, chat. You know which one it is. Uh, come to a conclusion, but obviously, clearly one of the fan favorites. I mean, the first moment he showed up, I think <laughs> it was a, a Red Bull uh, Kumite event yes, that he correct. showed up here. It's and like losing your court in Street Fighter 2. You gotta see your character's beat up face. Well, and then the other character gets to see their line. Up, so Zippy get lost. You can't compare with so my powers. You know what that means, everybody? We are getting our near mirror. That's not something a near would say. Get match. lost. You can't it compare with my powers. A near match, right? How did, how did we not get a nearer match earlier, actually? I'm, I'm really surprised. Hey, Wait. look, you, you know how? It's, 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 it's Say Jam and Rage. Here for near mirrors. Let's go! This clown. This is that guy. 
you had to wait this long. I know you came all the way. This is the guy that knows the near mirrors coming, and he's trying to figure out which is the right near to bet on. Before we get to near mirrors. Uh, so there's Anila and May. <laughs> uh, that May hey. right there was our Anila earlier, and that's the Dolphin. We don't know who the fuck you yeah, are. Exactly. Who was the sheep previously? Yes, and, and also, I mean, uh, she told me that her phone oh, case matches the Oh, it's Fukuhara-san. Fukuhara-san is here in the crowd. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yes. Govo played oh, okay, the Diva. Yeah, Unfortunately, they've Let's been eliminated go. now. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming here and showing your love for all your characters that you love in whichever game it may be. Yeah, I absolutely love, always love to see. Oh, oh, you know, boom! The, the yeah! They, they had to fight two of the same here. top tier so character, effort, basically. So much work in here. And the greatest cosplayer as the hardest working man in the anime FGC. Yep, Gobo's out of there. Uh, we got FGC bodied here, you know, <laughs> on deck. Woo! This is, this is Gobo now. They ran out of lives. Sorry, no more bracket. There's winner's bracket, you know, and then there's there's loser's bracket, and then after you lose in loser's bracket, there's only this. There's no coming back from that. <laughs> we got a lot of signs in the crowd, don't we? We got a lot of signs back there. I see them. I yeah, see them. I see all the, the people way in the back over there and jumping there up and down. There it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> he was oh, like, yeah, he, I mean, he wrote it on the sign. Yeah, exactly. I would never write that. that if you told me to write something oh, silly, and the furthest oh, thing I would write is I'm here for near mirrors. Someone here, definitely. Just is that a statue? You see that? It's just like, he's like, let's get to the next match. Uh, that, that, that person specifically wants to see That guy in five seconds is going to do exactly what's <laughs> happening on all right, uh, let's get his back shirt is going to be chaotic with the whole crowd. Go. As you can see here, it is going to be Zerom going up against Sonic. A little Sam. bit. Yes, and this is a matchup. I was kind of wondering who that was, so but random person. All right, here we go. Loser's top eight. We have Come on, Zerom. On this, this is the maybe one of the only matches yeah, you're going to exactly. see with no near. And so, uh, can you believe it? So I'm even. No near, baby. Let's go. One of the Americans or one of the uh, Europeans. Honestly, it, like if, if Sonic Sam could actually continue, then we would have two Japanese, two US, and two EU left Ooh. in there. So that would actually be cool to see. But of course, that doesn't mean you know we're not. Of course, the home crowd here going to be cheering for Zerom, <laughs> cheering for the little potato. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is, Zerom, Sonic Sam. One of these two is going to be eliminated from this matchup. The other is going on. Here it is, the final, the first start. Oh, whoa. Yeah, just <laughs> Charlotta, small character right there. Yeah, yeah well, that, that's why she has the crown. You got to She's small, yeah, she all right. Yeah. yeah, she's a small Still potato, but she's a powerful small potato. Yeah, yeah nice evade right there, but unfortunately because it's EX, it recovers very, right. very fast. Yeah, so like unless you invaded it as early as possible, it's going to be really difficult to press buttons there. All right, gets the hit now. Going to be able to take it to the corner at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it even got the, the dashing H, wow, too. Nice. Was unable to you know how in, in lore... Uh, it doesn't matter what what medieval lore you think of, any lore. You know, they're always like, yeah, don't fuck with those dwarf guys. They're really short and tough, and they like resist magic and shit. Yeah, the, she's the epitome of that. She's short, she's tough, she does way too much damage, she has nonsense frame data, she got wake-ups. I mean, there's no BP for Zerom, so you're not going to be seeing brave counters, but the problem is now Sonic is on the back foot there in terms of how... See what I mean? She's annoying and tough to kill. Wow, Zerom is on one. Wow, I don't know if that was the intention, but if it, I mean, it was genius. It was, yeah, she's still good. This is still one of the same players that used to do that, Zerom. Remember, he was Zerom. Then he was Laser Moon Zerom. Now he's Kanme, whatever that his new team is. Yeah, hi, you're, you're kind of right. You got to cook the potato for a while first and soften them up, and then you can go in for the kill. Sure <laughs> You're kind of right. Yeah, Maglio is in relink, and she's annoying in that game. There's a fight now that I'm at that is is pretty fun, but pretty tough. It's it's Maglio together with this other guy. I forget his name. Oh boy. 
And so one of them is just acting up, slamming his axe and, and acting stupid. And the other one is just like summoning weapons. You just see like Majorner just flying around at you. Like, what the fuck is that Majorner? Excalibur just flies past your head. Whoa, what was that? A second time here, right back into the corner. Really unfortunate for Sam Sam, but Zeram is gonna love every part of this as the Skybound Art comes out. One more hit will do it for Zeram here. It's not even a hit, it is a throw. Yeah. And Zeram that fight's fun. Nicely done timing that dive right there, just a whiff. And it's more fun the, the, the stupid fights with the two dragons together. Those are just annoying. There was one that has like the freeze dragon together with I forget what the other one does. Now one's dumb. You got one dragon freezing you, and the other one is doing some other status effect on you, and they're just beating you up the whole time. This one, nah, don't forget about that. Oh, that status stuff. They just kill you. Oh, yeah, and finally, Sonic Sam thought there was a time to move forward, and Zeram used that. The two grips later on, it is not so bad because you just kill them instantly. They just die. And not ready for it because again, that's abusing the dash recovery, right? Definitely that good round right there. Probably more nods from Zeram after that. Ooh, oh, yeah, wow! Barely. That's a whip punish on the 2U, so I mean, that's we'll awesome. take it. Yeah. Now, here we go. Pressure here in the corner. 6 6 L. Tried to press a button afterwards, did get hit. There it is, the delay on the chop before it would, you know, the whip and the throw sets that up. I almost want to play Relink for a while. I haven't tried the new patch. I don't even know what there is for me to do yet. Delayed throw, but it was a back throw, so it took him out of the corner, but... Oh! No, oh, the classic happened, yeah, so you can actually brave counter back too early. Right. It didn't end up mattering for Zeram, though. Luckily, for Zeram, it was okay. And wow, that was a quick second game, James. Yeah, quick second game, and like I said, uh, after the first game, we saw the nods, right? So mm -hmm. he's probably like... I got this. I think I got this red. And here he goes. There I'm now in a great position. What does Sonic Sand do here? Yeah, you can see it right now. Just taking a drink of the water. Just yeah. to trying to figure out what to do here. I think it's smart, honestly, you know, because, like, Zeram is clearly on a tear, right? There's so much momentum, so much fire under that belt. Yeah, I haven't even shit. gotten to any of that, like the Lucilis or whatever the, the new quests are that. I haven't played in like a week a and a half. Have trouble with Charlotta too, just in general, because she's a character that can make you really annoyed. She, she, she's the Since whenever I started making a bunch of YouTube videos and I put out like a video per day or whatever last week, I haven't played any games. She was one of the stronger characters. Right. Maybe I played Tekken for you guys for fun and I, I tamp up a sleep that type of thing. Um, there was like a patch or two where like a little weak okay, side, but still, okay. yeah, basically like she's she, she's been pretty good regardless. Okay. Not really to preach. They have like their own little mini stories and stuff too that kind of gets you acquainted with the characters if you know nothing about them. But it's not a very lore heavy game. It has its own world and lore, which is pretty fun. Or not its own world, but it has its own kind of version of the lore. But yeah, it's not, it's not very lore heavy. Oh, actually goes for the follow up, which means this could be. In fact, they kind of just didn't give a fuck. They just started and they give you a bunch of characters. They, they don't even explain who the cowboy half the characters are. They're just like, go, go fight. And other high level players will You just figure out you go, as you go after a while. So now it becomes the I'm actually going to yeah, do the stance follow up. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know? Yeah. Because, like, that's considered, quote, the bad idea. Exactly. But every bad idea becomes the good idea once everybody knows it's the bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, every option Ooh. is an option, even if it's bad. Yeah. It yeah, but Relink is, is kind of starting from, like, the beginning. More or less. Like, where you start at Relink with the crew you have is only, like, one hour into the mobile game or something. And, did it again. Yeah. and then they don't even bother to explain like the whole they don't even bother to explain the whole uh Gron and Lyria thing. They don't even they feel they treat that like part of the story too. They don't even explain that at the start. And that's for the first five minutes it's a regular Gron move. They went until later to explain it. Okay, there it is. Don't wait. Oh, it was actually a little too late. So yeah, I think you'll be fine. I think this is just straight death. Like I don't I don't think that you survive in this one. This is gonna kill me. Goodbye. I don't think yeah. you survived this one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love right, that super. Now his lore is that he used to be, I mean, he, he's basically a berserker, right? And he used to be, like, unhinged. Like, he was just a wild, 
I don't, I don't know too much about it. I just know that's, that was his first floor. He was just a wild unhinged, and I'm not sure if, if it was one of the Dragonites in particular or all of them together. They kind of helped him calm down. So that's why in the Super, you see him, he starts like freak out, and then he sees him together with the rest of the Dragonites, and he like stops himself. So like to them, even though he's not really that much older than them, they're all around the same age. He like tries to be like a mentor to them. And be like their teacher. So it, it could very well be possible that Song Sin picks it up. Unfortunately, right now, the only thing that's getting picked up is mad damage here on the side of Zero. Uh, Tries to go for it. Yet? Yep, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you. Good explanation. So the chat says that's the part of it I didn't understand. He went crazy because he drank dragon blood. Oh, was looking for that exact. That's what made him preserve. Early on in, yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense from Sonic's hand, but now Zerum... That's why he has a dragon in store, right? huh? He that makes, that makes, that that makes more so sense. A lot of like to just go for their DP yep. and chip and finish it off. That's what Sonic Sam was trying to bait out, but Zerum just happened to do it a little bit later. Okay. Oh, he didn't do anything after the break counter. He didn't even... It didn't take advantage of his plus frames there. Yeah, I, li I like their Dark Knight stories. They're pretty good. The Vasaraga story is good, too. He started as a part of a crew. Yeah. And uh, his whole crew died uh, together while they were on a mission, but he was the, he was like the, the lone survivor at the end. Oh my goodness! So good, so good. Remember, he closed out a previous game with that whip into the throw, and so this time he whipped it immediately. Jump, got the throw tech to whip. And there it is. There I'm gonna take it over Sonic Sand. I think it has to. It has to do with. Uh, yeah, I don't know. In the crowd. Let's hear it for Sonic got me. Sand. Let's go. That was like. Thank you so much for joining us, Sonic Sand. You're Absolutely. one of our stronger players for sure. That's why you qualified here. Unfortunately, we have all of the best of the best. Somebody's got to go down. Somebody has and to go. A, That's how it is. So Zero got that here. three to one. And I just wanted to check and make sure it wasn't I mean, a sweep. Some of the strongest players here have just had such a hard time even, right? Winners they gave up on the replays, huh? Still. Fukunaga, Koji Koko. Now we are moving through our elimination matches. We are moving through the losers. We have Fitizen versus Zerom now, which means the training partners, the other halves, right. Fitizen <laughs> and Sonic Zen both have to fight Zerom. So now it's up to Zerom to maybe try to take out both of you. Who oh, knows? Boy. Zerom. But Takodon and Zippy will also be the other side of that. Dude, I love this right now. So now we have yeah, probably they just uh, did Zeron playing, so they're probably gonna do this Taco Dot this versus clearly, Zippy. Clearly, yes, it was but, right. I mean, look at this. Taco Dot and Fukunaga are so far. Fukunaga, I'm sorry, are the only players from the same region that have had to fight each other yep. in this tournament. Yeah, I don't think you, in the game, in the from how I remember it, I don't think even the way that you play through the story is concrete outside of it having a main story. Like everything else is just so, side yeah, stories a, and the seasonal like stories that, that come along have, that um, have not really region. a lot to do with sometimes yeah, anything yeah, else that happened and it's just like going more deep into like the lore of one particular character or something like that. Sometimes they use that to introduce a new character. There are cats in Grand Blue, so okay, you know, this okay. hey, yeah, you know, I, I approve of that clearly. Right? So it has one main story, and then it has like a lot of smaller, like interconnected stories and sub stories and right, subplots. I'm gonna try to, 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 to <laughs> add young cat to Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. There for you go. Sure, so. For sure, there's Vakala and Fukuhara himself, as we know, that is the real Fukuhara there. <laughs> oh, oh, there's another Vicky, that's a Vicky sign. Yeah. yeah. That's was like, oh, Jubei, Jubei. 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 That was one of my uh, <laughs> cross-tag characters. Oh, yeah, I yeah. used to use Jubei, you know, use Jubei. Uh, okay, and, cool. And Jubei, cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I got that Guilty Gear Stride hat. I see you, I see you, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, so much great, amazing uh, merch out here. Ooh, so Mampus. Sorry, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm geeking out oh, yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. I'm geeking, I'm geeking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have Tenno here, we have 86 out here, we have M Rage out here, so, and of course, Arx is. All right, let's get ready, guys. Taco versus Zippy, well, losers so top eight, losers, losers quarters now, right? We also got a lot of great players ready to go up against each other. Taco Dot and Zippy coming up next. Okay, all right, yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna talk about. I get to talk about this. Uh -huh. Okay, so Taco Dot's original main was. Oh, so. This was the character that we saw. So he doesn't mirror match, is that what it is? All that stuff. Taco Dot had run through a ton of competition. He's going to lose two games and have to mirror match. How much I want to bet? I should have put that as a side bet. 
So basically, he wants to he's going to lose two, 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 lose two games. I, I'm like, betting it right now. This is my side bet for the Bill card. Lose two games and then switch to near. That's my side bet right now. Tucker Dot saw that side and was like, nah, nah, we will not do this. All I'm saying is it's time to give daddy some sugar because we got the boy on screen right now. He's a regular love guru. I need to hear it, y'all. Tucker Dot, Zippy, He's not a love guru. He's a predator. You shouldn't be talking to this guy like he's a love guru. This guy's story is that he's a predator. He's a bad guy. Kill him. No. Kill Nier. There's just no winning here. You can't win. trying to show I am the new blood here. I am the one you got to watch out for. Oh, the shimmy again. We've seen that a ton of times from Zippy so far. And yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, those kind of situations, not doesn't really matter as much which character you're using. Oh, gosh, he checked the rape counter, but didn't get anything off of it. But it's going to get the kill over here. So with a perfect, so maybe the Belial is... Uh, was that a per near perfect? perfect Jesus. <laughs> Yo, did, did, was it actual perfect? That's gotta yeah, Belial is creepy. You're not supposed here. to admire his love style or whatever. This dude is a bad guy. Starting, yeah, yeah, starting to get near uh, depth on this. There's the Goetia. All right, here we go. Now the pressure here in that corner, that 2M. Of oh course, God. one of the most oppressive 2Ms in this game. Yeah, and again, attacking death as soon as possible. But Zippy doesn't care. Zippy is busy using death as a means to force Taco Dot to want to press a button, and then with punishing said button. Ooh. Yeah, I had, had the ultimate spin ready to go there, too. Oh, no. What a neutral jump. Incredible. Caring level zero. Death was all there, ready to go. Here we go. Why would I care? I have death on my side. Here. Just Look at uh, me. Look at me go. Yeah, I mean, seems She's gonna finally run out of hearts. Right Hold on. Wait a minute. This is how it gets started. This is how the party gets started here. Okay. Nope. Oh, but there it what is. party, James? What party? Right there. You old. Go back to sleep, game. man. And honestly, it's looking real no party. I don't know about this one, mate. Yeah, Only but, Zippy. Again, I mean, uh, you know, after that break counter, like I said, that is plus. And so Zippy kind of like staggering the poke afterwards was what caught uh, Taco Dot hitting a button. Yeah, definitely agree. But there it is. Okay, as Modi is connecting for the full knockdown. Wow, he ran all the way to the corner. It was just like, you're not going to press a button. I dare you. <laughs> It's like one of only two. Because seen the combo, he can't even do a correct setup right now. Look at him. He's just getting beat up by uppercuts. Yeah, I used to call it, well, I'll say the PG-13 name. That's mess around and find out. That's what I used to call it. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, ominous turn was held on that one to make sure it's totally needed with the two out connection. Taco Dot again on the back foot. Zippy has full control of this. He has just known everything that is a Oh, not that. Basically, so dead. Break out, break out, break oh, out. you spent all I'll your brave. Why'd you spend so much brave just because he braved? That was a bad idea. Right. You could die now. Oh, oh you could die now. What have you done? What have you done? As Modi is guard questions. So you actually get a setup there. But Zippy tried to press a button, and there is more than just plus frames when you get guard crushed, my friend. <laughs> Guard crush in all of these arcs escapes is not a They did that to themselves. They just wanted they just wanted to knock him down and try to finish him off. I don't know what that was. They wanted to lose. They won't do that again. That was a brain fart. That's gonna give him a little bit more confidence here, but getting hit by near and just watching yourself get set up into the corner like this is gonna take away a lot of that confidence. Good escape. Six XL getting counter hit, so that was a free far five H. That allows Taco Dot to get the full combo here. Where it would have just been a smaller one. You get three as You know saying dash L instead of six six L is less syllables. Just don't know. As Modi I as Modi as Modi I we'll 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 with that. Tie yourself out, wasting too many syllables. Dash L. Dash L. Full conversion here on this one. The side down Easier to understand what you're talking about, too. Yeah, because you want to put Zippy into one final chance. Now, Zippy yeah, she's only in this new game. She wasn't in the started. original Grand Wolf Fantasy Not versus. enough to kill just yet. This is one more hit. Ooh, I, I like that. Belial was. Yeah, no, yeah. He was that at was one point. He was he was the big bad at one point. He had plus frames on everything and good combos, command grab. And here's a fun here's a fun for you because was it the unique skill or the or the counter? He had a, he, what something he had that was a counter that was really good. It was way better than it is now. Like now it's almost. Yeah, that's what everybody says. But oh, okay. look it up. It's actually not. Okay. Weirdly enough. 
<laughs> Thank you, English major. There is your, there is your octopus back. That's just how it is with unique skills. Uh, well, some characters have ones that are useless. It's pretty old. So that's the one of the only things left in this game that's old school. Some characters have good unique skills, and some characters just have trash ones. Was attempting to break the guard. No dice on this. Right. Yep. It's the same with Put universal right overhead. Some oh, characters have amazing yeah, ones, and some characters yeah, just no range, that. slow. Gotta watch out for that. And here we go, corner pressure. Yeah, that's Doesn't go over anything. Oh, buddy. Wow, actually. Oh, yeah, this character, as a character to play, he's cool as hell. He has the them. kicks. Hold tension. That's what I think of when I was see that. He kicks the hell out of you, and then he calls laser beams. Okay. I mean, we were saying that first game, you know, we were like... Just don't admire his style with the ladies because he has none. Yeah, in the story, right there's 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 no woman that's like, man, I love Belial. Like, you know no, they all hate his ass. Thank you so much, Mr. Salty my, Pringles. Uh, legs again, and here we go. Yeah, it's definitely the download on this. So, Zippy is going to go for a Raging Stripe, but doesn't have yeah. the meter for chain, right? Exactly. It's 25% for that. Cool. Yeah, just effectively using these Goatias to stop both near and death. There's that 6XL connecting, so gonna be able to combo. Does use the Raging Strike and Chain this time. Yeah, goes to the overhead, but ultimate DP to get out of there. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Goetia, oh, again, yeah. That's, it's basically one of the best fireballs in the game for a reason. And, and I mean, that, that was the thing that was made him so strong previously, right? Is that fireball is so good. Okay, full damage here on the waltz. Yeah. Oh, the good timing on that brave counter. Actually, he catch it. almost had the whiff punish on the six six L, and that used to be the call. Give Daddy some sugar. No, no. no. Unfortunately, and no sugar provided to Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're in that crucial situation. He's just mashing the unique skill and hoping it works go now. Two, one. It didn't even they work the first time. Round here. Oh, God, he just did it and it was blocked. Yeah, it's such a rubber band situation because you know that you have to win two straight if you lose mm -hmm. here. It's such an important start. round and beautifully back into the corner here. Gets yeah. the set up again. It's still looking for those brave counters. Brave counters right back. Yep. Yeah, keep you in the corner here. Don't want to swing a link. Plus frames at all. And ultimate waltz. There's give daddy some sugar once more. Okay. Oh, yeah, again. So Zippy's got to be there. careful. Zippy's got to be careful. He's down to only one brave point, so everything going to do a little bit of extra damage. Oh, oh, oh no. Come on, game. Should you can't you can't oh, no, make him mind. lose, too. He has oh, enough problems okay, without you just making him lose. You are definitely dead. Oh, it's engine. A super sky Damn. Even you didn't even see the whole the second part of the super. That, that was supposed super. to go into a yes, whole animation. You didn't even see it on that. The first part killed right there from Taco Crazy. Got away from all the octopus Two food in the world and said, nah, 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 <laughs> I was talking smack, but this belly out plan might work. So strong, but you see why there is at least that little bit of risk involved lowering your BP like that. Yeah, it's a very smart decision in my personal opinion. But uh, I still think Brave Counters might need a small adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be gonna be real with you. <laughs> All right, here we are. No side switch there. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like Taco Dot would use the guard button regardless. Why? Just beat him up. Well, I mean, Don't need a side switch. Just kill him. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Just putting the pressure on. There it is. Another He's got no counter. bar. We'll see another one soon. I'm sure of it. I feel like Miss Cleo. That's the only thing stopping him from rampage on. Yeah, now, now he does. Situation here for Zippy because Zippy's only got one stock left and actually Watch gonna be damage. at no brave points as well. So this is gonna do some chunky damage here, and you only have one stock at this point. Even a throw might kill. Strike throw right here. Yeah. Yep. yep. Definitely will not. Oh, oh tricked. Tricked. Wow, what a timing to stop. She said, psych. Ah. Incredible spacing. Super good from Zippy. Hit him with the psych. Get away right. from me. Again, this is a, I don't this know is a situation you. here. Talking about wins this game. He moves on. That's one of my favorite he animation moves in a fighting game. It's the get away from me move. Somehow it's always good. It doesn't matter what character has it. Think of any character that has that move. It's always a good move. Get away from me. We saw that earlier. Yeah, same option right there from Taco Dot. Oh, didn't recognize that uh, Misfortune was being parried right there. So went for the rest of the triple attack. Even Yang. Remember oh, Yang at third yeah. strike? Huh? He had the really far palm. <laughs> You're going to see him tune up the band quite a lot for this sweet chin music, my friends. Yeah, this is such a great oh, situation. Oh, he's at oh, one. oh, I, I thought the console exploded or something. I was like, oh, shit. He crashed the game. 
try to read out a, a brain counter or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, had not tried to use Visago this <gasps> entire time. I thought right, the combo right, was too fire for the console. We're done. We're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even have to ask the question. Will it, would be it kill? <laughs> I did it for you. I did it for you. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, you're right, Chun. Don't you got, uh, what is it, back HP? Oh, hey! Shh! We'll That's definitely a top tier move in that game. Yeah. I need to get my vernacular correct. Exactly. Come Sometimes on, she has it as a medium punch also, but in that game she had it. That yeah, was her I back HP. Oh, it is two to two. Locking in Belial for the rest of it. Oh, yeah. She yeah. she do yeah. that move so hard she would push you on your ass. There must be something about the near mirror. She was putting she was really putting like force behind that move. Like that. Or he's really just trying to hurt the guy with the sign and the crowd right now. He'd just rather be farer than nearer. Yeah, exactly. There you go. It's okay, you guys can shoot me after this, you know, I understand. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. I, I, like, if, if they did that, I would have... Yeah, basically, any character, if you just notice, any character that has that push move is always yeah, good. Yeah, locked in with Belial, okay. Again, this was the previous main, so it's not like this character's out of the question ever. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Ooh, nice yeah. check right there with the stand L. So and now we're going to get the corner. Because it's Zippy, do I say that was mashing? No, she's good. There was a 2B <laughs> during LCQ. <laughs> That got, I want to say they got top four, but they didn't make it into the main finals. She's a good character. I think people just are not ready. So that's why you see near players do that a lot. Okay. Set up here. Look at all that chip damage. She got a lot to her. But the throw, chip damage is a threat. Too bad Diphone wasn't here. If he was at the LCQ, I wonder what would happen. I think depending on where he was, he probably is shooting for top eight, right? After that, anything could happen. Wow. As you mentioned, Taco Dot might have been one of the favorites for taking this tournament. Might go out here in fifth place. What a call out with the combo. Full extension, two. Gonna get the whole thing. Three X. Sick combo. I never seen that one before. 6XL, yeah, is really trying to layer that offense to get away from Mom and, or, excuse me, Misfortune being a possibility. Ooh! That was like an old, that was like an old Catalina from the old version combo. Jab uppercut into another uppercut. Right, gonna be able to keep the combo going. Okay, right here in the skybound dart. Bam, bam. Ooh, The follow does more damage than it used to. It might actually kill. It did. Remember when they used to do no damage? They fixed that, finally. I used to even joke about it, man. That just does always does trash damage. What's the point? What's the point of making it have an animation and having it do no damage? Let's go! Oh, and a strong start here from Taco Dot with the 5 H oh, counter hit. That's gonna be corner carry mm -hmm. here. And now you've got the pressure going. Strike throw was throw this time. And yeah, you see, uh, trying to play around on this go. turn, but still getting clipped by it. Because yeah. as long as Zippy can't Oh time, man. Oh, you can't side. even tell if that was gonna cross up or not. How are we supposed okay, to block that? Okay, yes, Guard that button, that's the only way. The the turn. The counter. Here we go, into the corner, yep. He's got the plus frames. Good. He's got to watch out for so reversal. She got four hearts. Reversal, here it comes. Fuck. What did he even do? Yeah, the knockdown using the triple attack. Trying to go for 5H again. And no, that takes away the goal. ACX, oh. and that takes away the throw. And that's going to take away your life. And Zippy is going to eliminate Taco down here. In the He's like, yeah, final. I did it. I'm glad he got hype. Somebody knew the guy, but the cameraman was ready too. They caught the pop off. He busted out the Belial, tried to make it work with his old character. I say it was a good match. He earned the W. Round of applause for Taco Dot. Good job, Taco. That was the the, the closest match of the tournament, I think. They're like glowing or something. Yeah, like they glow with the lighting. Yeah. That's sick. Oh, they actually are lit up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no, they're lit. it wasn't glowing with the lighting. They're lit up. Oh yeah, uh -huh. they're actually just, they're lit, dude. I they're, I'm, I'm too old to say Yeah, that. true. I can't he was that. like, I'm not going to let y'all experience right that. For me, honestly, That's true. So. I love you anyway, James. Right, love he you saved too. us. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Even at though we were sinners, he saved us from the near mirror. So we have eliminated a few Like a fighting game. He has finally made it to the Messiah. And we have to find out whom their opponent may be. So Zippy moves on. Here's the payouts, everybody. All right, guys, we'll get ready. We got even more matches, all right? You might be sad about how that one went, but you know what? There's always more skulls. And if you need to earn more, just pull out the skull credit card by watching the stream, staying in here, chilling with us, lurking. You'll get more skulls. You can subscribe. You get double skulls. Just so you can bet and be a degenerate.
Yeah, and I mean, this is uh, this one is is kind of a turning Here's point. To pay right? off. This is Fitizen was feeling very strong coming into this. He he just wanted to do his best when I was talking to him, but he was also feeling confident. So right? the next match so should be Fitizen versus Zeram. It's also right, losers' quarters. Gonna I'm gonna try to do a five-minute bet uh, right now because I'm pretty sure it's coming up <laughs> next. They're probably gonna right, do what they've done before with the intros, and then they're gonna jump into it. So here you go, Fitizen versus Zeram. This should be the next match. Obviously, you know, during Vanilla Grand Blue, it was considered kind of Japan domination. I would say Japan was was definitely the best region, and I no, would you, not st you stole some skulls. Right. I, would, I would fight you for well, it. Well, you know, yeah, and, in, in, so in industry, robberies are encouraged. Kind of, uh, like I, said, it's, I it's love seeing all types I of upsets, like we're in this almost like blow ups. MTC, like, kind of like renaissance, you know, just like everybody is so strong. And you may or may not even get your skulls robbed accidentally by spooky picking the wrong person. How, how good it at happens. fighting games, you know, and, and they're cropping up here, and it's really awesome to see. I, I love seeing it. Yeah, no, I love to see it, and I mean, we're seeing so much That's of it the in mix-up. You never know, know when that will happen. The game got great net code right now. We are able to yeah. use that to play a lot of this stuff, but it's one of those people that we see in a lot That's of those the online tournaments up. using said great net code right here, Zerom. Zerom, you can catch him in a ton of online tournaments, so you know you can stop. You might get lucky and so get paid out on a loser. A You're on a total losing bet. You're just like, oh, there went all my skulls. Then all of a sudden, oh. Bank error in your favor. It's not a monopoly. Yeah, Bank error in your favor. Collect two hundred dollars. Collect two hundred skulls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, from Germany, uh, coming out here qualifying again from the Kayane Cup. And so there we go. Let's. I think the players are ready to go. I think it's time to go. It's going to be Fitzen versus Zerom. Let's hear it. If, if you guys want Fitzen to win, make some noise. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. But if you nah, are looking for zero nah. to take this, I want to hear hey, you. Hey, let's go. Ah. Let's go. Zero. All right. <clears throat> let's go, Charlotte. All right, here it is. So, loser of this is eliminated. Feet is in. Zero. First game, engage. There it is. So the neutral jump already. So a lot of people love to neutral go jump versus characters like Charmana and Sora. Yeah, they used to do stuff like this more. Right, right. So like in really SF4, good. as an example. You, you usually expect it. Right, and not only that. SF4, uh, Mago won a big uh, Japanese uh, tournament, and he got to make his own nameplate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So oh his plate goodness. was like, he had Mago 2D God, oh. right? And yeah, then that, the that plate was like, bow before me. It was like perfect. <laughs> Not exactly the greatest range, but got a raging strike, and there because there's no PP, you could not break counter out of this. This is all guaranteed, right? And here then the, the evil champs, or not the evil champs, the Cow Cow Cup champs got the design outfits too. Do they really still do that? Zeron with the absolute optimal routing. What combo limit? <laughs> What combo limit? It doesn't, wow. exi it doesn't exist until you uh, leave the ground. Of course. Yeah, yes, combo yes. limit does not start start counting until you leave the ground. But great. Yeah, the, is that the Samurai Nikali or whatever it is? Right? Is that the one he designed? I was there one day and revealed it. I was talking to him before it happened. I was like, oh shit, what's up? I was like, okay. He was like, hey, sweet he was like, what's going on? He's like, they're revealing my outfit. I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. I mean, the Kali into a samurai. That's basically how the conversation went. I was like, oh shit. Included ultimate dragon punches is because in the previous game you could always bait your opponent's dragon punches by just doing the safe jump. Right. Now, now ultimate DPS are faster than the H ones. And then he went on stage and he did it. I was doing the production, or one of the people doing the production. There it is. Full conversion right here blocks the Helmbreaker, which is really important. I believe that one is called four. That you suck. Production all the, all the wise, to noble strategy are like four great <laughs> justice for excellent Ooh, tactics. Caught him out of the air. Oh, I get the full conversion. Instant. That's gonna kill. Let's go, Zeron. Chop what his arms, legs, and all Probably types of limbs off. Got... That was insanity. Like a noble carving knight. <laughs> that pickup was ridiculous. Yeah, he oh caught the back jump yeah. with the ultimate, uh, with the ultimate skill right there, and then was still close enough to to the corner to be able to convert the whole thing. Ooh, tried to go for the unblockable right there, was unable to connect, however, just fast enough before hitting the ground. And so now, a lot of the EXs were expended at the very beginning, so they had to kind of honest, honest person, uh... Slice his ass, and them. dice. Got that two out back, but didn't convert it into anything. Oh, taking advantage there, because he's been poking with the two out. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh, big, big, big damage. Okay, decides to go for that before the combo limit happens, rather than going for the skybound art. I can totally understand. 
All right, tick throw now, and they're up. Throwing backwards, getting another one. The uh, strike throw game coming in space here. Oh, immediate counter out because you want to. Oh, wait, but no! Oh. The holy ladder to get the final connection. Zero. Yeah, again, he had no help left in that situation, so that's when a lot of people go for those, you know, interval moves. <laughs> Demon flip, yep. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that part. I mentioned oh, wow, how she's Blanca. I didn't mention. Imagine Blanca, Blanca with Akuma's really Demon Flip. Right? Mm. Wow, Holy Ladder actually connects it there. I wonder if he could have got a 2M. Oh, Chase was the back dash down. Of course, back so she got electricity or hands. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically yeah. whichever one, pick one. They're basically the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Electricity or hands. Of, uh, she got hits, the right? rising Blanca next, ball. Like, she got the regular Blanca roll. Then for no reason, she just has Demon Flip. And she has a command grab for the Demon Flip that gives her Omega damage. Like, you can die. Here we go. Oh. She got dive oh, kick from it. That's plus. So, so I don't think Fittison actually knows how uh, ultimate noble strategy works. It is always the same thing. If you oh, do ultimate noble strategy, yep. So it always goes into the low. It is always going right. to be doing uh, the third hit. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so but not going to matter here. Punish. All right, Fittison here, taking a round. That's mm -hmm. the first round I believe that he's gotten in this match mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And he's going to need that for momentum for the morale because you cannot yeah. let that kind of thing get to you right now. I mean, honestly. Yeah, zero. she has a special like parry. That she oh, can do. It's, it's kind of situationally good. You know how I mentioned some characters have good yeah, unique spell skills and some characters have bad ones. Hers is like average. Like you can do it sometimes in certain things and it's good, but you can't really do it all the time. It has a lot of recovery. get the combo off of that. Look at this damage. Chop him up. Ginsu. Come out and grab. Look at the damage. Watch this. He might die. Actually, oh, he is dead. He's more than dead. As we're gonna finish it off. Two Ooh. to zero for zero. Yeah, I was about to say, if Fikazin could take this round and tie it up 1-1, one, one, it would actually be great for Fikazin, because like I said, it felt like Zero was super... This is what he used to do for weeks Zeron and weeks, man. He loved Takes playing Charlotta. He really got into fighting games. Now has to win As you can see, he's so good. In order to win. It'd be pretty awesome if he can get top three or something. That would be great. What's he looking for? I don't know. Whatever it is, is working. He's looking for something with those powers. Zeron is just making themselves so unpredictable on defense. Oh, nice neutral jump, but still can't nice answer. There we go. The big counter hit. He predicted that one. Slow, but not close enough to be able to get any follow up That still was pretty yep. good damage for a okay, random attire. Did that, uh, well. I think. Yes, Fireball, Orkin. Oh, could use Dragon Punch as well if they no. want. Not going to kill quite yet. And that combo limit makes it kind of hard, you know? Right, exactly. Very dangerous situation for Vita Zen. Oh, the oh that could do it. Yeah, oh, he's got the super sky by the but doesn't even need it. Gets the kill anyway. He's looking at Here the wrong meter. Zeron didn't have SSBA. Match point. Yeah, Vita Zen had I SSBA. Like, yeah, yeah, I was going to say it, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 did not have super sky by the but right. it didn't matter because it said raging strike, raging chain, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a dragon punch on reaction, okay? Fittizen needs this. This is time to dig deep. This is time for the spirit bomb if you're rooting for Fittizen. Ooh, nice counter. Caught the jump the in. He's playing so good right now. is getting out of the corner with impunity at this point. We've seen so many jump outs. Dead. Like I think he's actually done. Right now, but we've got a skybound. Our on deck over here is this going? Oh, he lived on a pixel. He lived on a dead. Good. Watch. Count it up, baby. Is going to be able to jump the throw attempt and take Fittizen down. What a match. Good timing on the ultra. Ultra. He always said with ultra combo. The last two matches that he has played, he has looked so solid. And sure enough, you know he the has rules in here, guys. Woo! Oh, well, over here. Woo! <laughs> <But, laughs> uh, hey, oh, I'm too far away. I gotta get used to that. I gotta learn how to do it. And, 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 like, be like, bam. What a hell of a competition that Vita Zen has that been putting sick. on so far. Showed people that you can fight near. Unfortunately. Oh, thank you for the raid, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But now we actually do. Woo, have what was Josh doing over there? Let me see. The Man, Zero just got a huge win. Shout out, Lord here. Nerd Josh. Follow Josh. Right He's been playing a lot of Tekken lately. He's, he's going to become a Tekken fucking Bear Master soon. The same region fighting itself. This yeah. has you got to check out uh, well, on the winner side, we have the well, Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's yeah, yeah. probably so been watching him a little bit, Josh. You got to check out Sour Piggy. He'd be here in the channel sometimes. Sour Piggy's bear is so good. He got some real cheap 
just bullshit setups. And he has bullshit defense, too, to back it up. He don't just got bullshit setups, and that's what he does. He also has bullshit defense. Yeah, it's the head trauma. It's the head trauma game. Thank you. The head trauma. All right, Zeron gets the win. Here you go, guys. Don't worry. The skulls are coming. I'm not going to hold them hostage for too long. Fukunaga versus Koji Koko. And I got to say, every time we see, you know, these, I keep talking about the LCQ players. And we see this... We see this so many times from a lot of these events, the LCQ player. I mean, again, I've always said that I feel like the LCQ player. Keep on messing with me. I'll give you the, the Nikki Santoro. Agreed. Like, right. I totally agree. Like, completely. So I won, Spooky. No, there, you lost. Like, what do you mean? You I, th I thought I won. No, you lost. Like, oh, let's just see the, the, the world tour. The, the LCQ person in last <laughs> place. And that was like, no, like, nah, we're dog. not doing that anymore. The it's LCQ uh, player went through the gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they went through exactly. it all. And I mean, well, we're seeing that right Whoever now. Whoever could be Fukunaga. I just want Zeron to win because Zeron, he used to enter the tournaments. This is a repeat matchup. He got to be near. Fukunaga had to beat Taco. And then he got to be. Right. And yep. looked is this also near? Yes. Jesus Christ, Holmes fucking like, near. Yeah, but Koji Koko has been playing. Automata, on fire, no. Honestly, I mean, I feel like he's been really strong. Obviously, you don't even get the cool been, ending uh, uh, where, you, you know, you uh, get to lose your save file to, to save somebody three, else. But, uh, you don't even get that. You just strong, get like nothingness said, Fukunaga, because near. Taco Dot, one of the favorites, and wow, I mean, again, Taco Dot. You just get empty feelings instead of satisfied feelings. I mean, surprising stuff, I should say. Yeah, yeah. But again, Gobo, Sonic San, both tying for seventh place. Uh, Fita Zen and Taco Dot tying for fifth place. And so now we're just at our top four yes. players. And out of that top four, there is only one international representative. It is all America oh outside my. of that. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. You're right. We have flipped a 180 from what we used to know <laughs> in Grand Blue Fantasy versus we used to know that Japan was absolutely on top. No question about it. Right. And then, you know, EU and America, we had to we had to duke it out for second place, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, again, I, this is the kind of thing that I love to see. And, you know, one of the weaknesses for U.S. players for all time, for the history of fighting game community is how big the country is. Because it's really hard for strong players in all the different regions to practice against each other, right? And so, you know, once it started getting online and we had the delay-based netcode, that didn't really solve anything. But Ooh. now, now, I mean, we see it with Strive. I mean, we saw it immediately because Strive was one of the first games that, you know, major games that had some of the best netcode out there. Agreed. And we started seeing the grow of all the, the U.S. players like mm -hmm. Umisho and Razo and Jonathan Tene and everybody. And like, you just, you just saw this new crew of players and I feel like that's you can see how it's paying off here as well in Grand Blue now 100% agreed and we also see how it pays off in Undernight in Birth too, yeah because uh -huh. that also has gotten rollback all the yeah. Arc System Works games are trying to bring you Fine, I was like hopefully she gets nuked you wanted you wanted her to get hit with, honestly, a, with a, a bomb huh just I'm not just saying this because we're at Arc World so I've been saying this for years hopefully but she honestly, gets nuked shout out to Arc System for whoa I got back into all of, the, all of them. <laughs> I got yeah, hit in the crossfire retrofitted like retrofitted. even getting it back into Exer as well, I mean, you know, I got hit in the crossfire of the, the near nerves. You know, I mean, you, you that's usually like what happens. Sikri like gets hit in the crossfire, and like five of his moves really just get nerfed. Put it out there it's like, why did Sikri get nerfed so hard? Because you know, near you like he just was standing too close Exert, when the nerf bomb hit. You know, uh, well, just, just bleep BBCF and BBTAG. Okay, he was standing too close on the tier list when the nerf bomb hit. That's the way that happens. They nerf the top tier guy, and then just for shits and giggles, the next guy over gets nerfed a lot too. Retrofitting it to all the games. Mm -hmm. Fighting games do not. Age. Oh shit! I, I Normalize. That's what they used to say in NRS. I missed that. Normalize. <laughs> It's a fi great fighting game forever. Yeah. And so putting the we normalize the shit. All, play all of our favorite fighting games. Really. That is always what happens. One character yeah, gets there. The, the next guy on the tier list, bam, on hit right along with him. Degon, he's got some stuff to talk about for us. Dracula used a spear and speared all two right, people at it's once. It's time for the winner bracket finals of Grand Blue. Please welcome to the stage from Japan. Fukunaga! Woo! Let's go. So this is winners finals. Fukunaga is a W player one. No, I'm not Sage Jam either.
You're saving safe down for guilty gear. I'm, I'm actually Juno, yes. Fukunaga made it through the upper bracket. He's like, can I walk? Is it okay? Am I safe? He looks confused. Taco Dot on the way to the upper bracket finals. One more time from Japan. <laughs> he's, he looks, he's looking over. Huh? Is it okay? Should I get on stage? But yeah, go ahead, man. Now he's like, where do I, which side do I go on? This side or that side? And his opponent, oh, they're gonna talk shit to each other? Run through the last chance qualifiers, it's Koji Koko! Are they gonna have to talk shit to each other? That would be incredible. All right, here's the best, guys. He, sh he tried not to crack a smile. I saw that. Is that supposed to be his war face? What was that? Oh, that's him coming to the stage. Oh, okay. Why are everybody making these fugly faces while they're coming to the Don't stage? What's going on? Face fool you. Koji Koko's near has taken down every opponent <laughs> on the route. The more difficult. The announcer even called him out for the stink One face. More time from the United States, Koji Koko! Talk shit. First, I'm gonna mix you, and then I'm gonna diss you. All right, gentlemen. Upper bracket finals, two different routes. You have the opportunity to say something to each other here. Let's start with you, Koji Koko. Uh, what do you think of your opponent here, who's made it on the top side of the bracket? Even before I qualified, uh, I think the player I was most scared of was Fukunaga. I too. I don't think I'm very good at fighting lands, so this is definitely like my demon <laughs> but I'll do my best and of course I'll do what I can to win humble words here from Koji Koko he was pretty so soft Koji Koko I'm not strong I don't want to do this but I'm going to do it 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 you're a very strong player as well, and I've been really scared of you too. But <laughs> let's both do our best. A fight between hey, two players all right, let's go. against each other outside the game. Let's see what it's like inside. Go ahead, take your stations. The upper bracket final starts. Hopefully this is right my, this is hype, man. All right, well the the cheapest lance that I ever seen. This lance is cheap as hell versus. Uh, maybe the cheapest near question mark the cheapest near that we know about well, right now this weekend you know, to sandbag a little bit. <laughs> I'm worried about you you know <laughs> kind of thing and then they're just gonna be like so and then they're gonna yeah they're gonna ah exactly exactly like you said they're gonna, they're gonna rampage on each other the stage is gonna get torn apart it's gonna turn into a table slides and cheers match outside of the game the more messed up you are as soon as you get into the game as soon as you sit down at the same mankind's gonna oh shit mankind through the cage oh if tells me anything, and then the tax. They're scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> they're scumbags, all right? Yeah, we're going to see some grimy play over here because you know neither of the players are going to be holding back at all. And again, this is uh, both players here on the winner's side. This is the winner's finals. Whoever wins this one gets into the grand finals, is in prime position to take the tournament. And again, the person coming and challenging them from the loser. He's been playing for a year, and he beat everybody's ass. So this is where you want to be. Yes, no, this is going to give you a That has to be a lie. Yeah, that's a lie, or we all suck, chat. Chat, raise your hand if, 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 if you've been playing fighting games for 10 plus years or something. Hell, raise your hand if you've been playing fighting games longer for this guy. Or longer than this guy. This is how I fight near. So, will you be able to fight this near, though? Something's wrong. It's a different near. Oh, like stage a, decision. Uh, Fukunaga getting up and uh, try to get a handshake in there. But uh, again, I mean, Koji Kuko saying that he doesn't feel like he's uh, as 
as well versed in the Lancelot matchup. That, that, that's that's uh -huh. the truth. If you check out a lot of the North American Bro, online one year, guys, that's all they've been playing fighting games, so and they're good, they're good enough to be guaranteed right. so, top three in a tournament for basically a hundred thousand well, dollars for know, the top eight. Because the game just recently came out, and it's still a little iffy on tournament season at the moment, right? Yeah. right? Because you know we are here at the World Tour Finals. Most of the tournament season hasn't kicked back up again. Um, Rising is a lot of online, and we don't see a lot of the right. lot there. And it was, it's so fascinating. Too, Boss, and I'm so old at Paige. She fought a one on a punch pass. I'm old enough to remember. I'm old enough to remember. Last year in Guilty Gear, where a lot of the people uh, were like, oh, Soul is not Tupac uh, Soul playing Street Fighter 1 on those in Juice, the movie had, or whatever. Uh, Soul that shit was fun, and he was getting mad. So, you know, uh, region, I, I, love I forgot that, what happened then. He beat up the machine because he lost the CPU or something like that. That shit was yeah, too well, fun. We can, uh, we've all agreed. I think every region so far has agreed that Nier is, uh, <laughs> yeah, is, 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 is the current best of this <laughs> yeah, game. So. That punch patch Street Fighter 1 version is trash, just so y'all know. I think they have it at Galloping Ghost. That shit's trash. You have to, like, it has only a punch and a kick, right? We and then if you could. want like light punch, oh, yeah. you mean, have to like you know, tap it. And then if you want like you want, heavy want punch, power. you gotta press it really hard. Yeah. And, and, and then imagine that, and then also still trying to do like shoryukens and hadoukens and, again, and shit like that on that terrible command interpreter. Someone said it to me one time, and it's never left my head. But it's just like when oh, you pick a character on the character select screen, yeah, they no wonder they like Lancelot. They like doing infinite combos. I understand. The only thing that stops them is the limits of the game. None of that stuff. Exactly. If the game didn't tell him stop, he would just do an so infinite combo. That that That's this guy. You I get it. With that clearly. The odds are pretty good. It's about 61% to 39%. So like 6 to 4 odds. What's that trying to do? 3 to 2 odds? Something like that. That's pretty good. Right, immediately you see Fukunaga trying to do his best to run in there and going for a lot of strike throw mix-ups. And great stuff to Koji Koko for the de defense so far. But finally got opened up with the throw and the push all the way back into the corner. Uh, finally find this opportunity here. This is mirroring the taco dot match so so important. She gets the right? easiest because side switch too whenever she wants. Fukunaga like I feel like side switch and I'll just stand here and let them fly out over. Of as well. Cool. It was side incredible. Switch. I did it. And here it is, the full conversion. So, so Caps about to do some complicated dash, reverse input buffer thing, just a dual side switch. Oh, the double with yeah. the air shimmy right there. And because Koji she Koko just stands there, up, side switch thing. That means the throw had more recovery. Right. So it was okay. easier yeah, to punish. Yeah. If that was a regular throw whip, Lancelot would not have been able to connect with a uh, with Interesting. That makes a lot of sense there, okay. The debuff coming into play. Man, he, he's getting go. his hand sliced. You better stop reaching out. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, Fukunaga now getting this uh, corner pressure here. Get in the corner combo. Gonna set up that meaty. Yeah, you gotta deal with that and then deal with all the pressure afterwards. Ooh, Koji Koko does find the room to brave counter. And that was a really good time to brave counter. Ooh, oh, this guy is getting fucked up. Holy shit. And I mean, you've got brave points. You've got Bro, when does the combo end? Wait, no, hold on. Oh, okay, wow. okay, okay, okay. It was enough to kill. And so Fukunaga, just like that, first game going to him. And yeah, Koji and Koko saying he was worried about the Lancelot. And you can see exactly why. Definitely God damn. All the delta jumping around, you know, the, the, the unique action is, is, is very tricky if you don't play against Lancelot. So that's one of the things that I, I, I'm actually noticing is a lot of the newer blood doesn't know how to fight Lancelot, whereas, like, the people who play Cranberry Blue Fantasy Versus, they're They know because they used to this fucking dumbass character. He, he was rampaging since really day yeah, minus yeah, one. one of the best characters people were in the beta so picking yeah. Lancelot and I mean, beating people. Basically six before six, right? Correct, I mean, yeah. yeah. So, oh wow, just barely got out of that great counter situation. Got the hit as well on the mix-up. Koji Koko defensively is looking lost. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna kill quite, but gonna be right there. This guy's probably like, this yeah, shit is easy. Mix up here, any throw, any oh. oh wait, okay, okay. You caught him low, trying to walk backwards. Call that shimmy. God, gonna look go at the, the damage. Plus 20%. Actually, wait, is it another plus because it hits SSBA? Oh, no. But it's even, and that's a big deal right now because there's still, there's still, yes, yeah, see, that's really important. Yeah. Easing on him. 
Oh, good throw. Good throw. That is one of the rock, paper, scissors effects. Yeah, the throws will beat the evade and will it beat the, the crossovers as well. Uh huh. The only difference being, you know, crossovers, they're, they're he's starting. He's starting to. Right, yeah. I don't know. I can't even say he's catching on when he did a 70% combo. Now, I'll say he's catching on when he starts winning neutral more consistently. Yeah, he got this dude down back. He lost half his life already. What even happened? If I'm being honest, it's been hard for everybody to open up. Yeah, I mean, look, you gotta understand. This might be one of this might be the best How do you open up somebody that can defend in that game? You need to keep your hands to yourself, my guy. You fucked up. You could have done more damage. Now what? One touch and you're dead. Yeah, cooked. There it is, the mix up on that Fukunaga. dice. Already up and doing exceptionally Double well. Double daggers. This is definitely looking like a Fukunaga winner's finals. But, but, I am not counting it out yet because we have seen many a comeback here on the Arc World yeah. Tour stage this, just this weekend alone. Yeah, we have, especially like the Strive group stages, we see some ridiculous comebacks. Koji Koko still not out of it. If you're not done, you're, you're still in it. So, here you go. Oh, with the oh, nice. Oh, catching. Jump scare right there, just catching. Oh. Okay, wall bounce on this one, too. And yeah, Fukunaga has just been using that movement to such great effectiveness because Koji Koko will try to go for a throw, but they're already out of range by that time or something. And there we go, set up for the throw. He hadn't really gone for that throw option. Stealing the turn oh. with that fireball as well. Bro, this guy's uh, playing single player. Uh, did not get got by the mix-up. So Fukunaga did the debuff, right? And then did a negative on block move. But because This is the type of guy uh, that makes yeah. fun of his little uh, sister. But Koji Koko didn't press anything. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, but here he goes. You can just here. tell. She comes home after a long day of school, studying all that stuff, and he's already just picking on Oh my goodness, there you go. Okay, the tourniquet is on the bleeding. We have slowed down, we have slowed down the bleeding. Fukunaga's like, oh, you're slowed down the bleeding, huh? Well, she doesn't fear death. That's her friend, but she is going to run out of lives soon. Oh, well, you see that slowdown right there. Yeah. So, actually, that fireball worked to uh, Fukunaga's detriment because it allowed the active frames to continue for right. longer for Koji Koko. Yep, and he yeah, just basically got to just do whatever you wanted while the, upper, while the upper coach just came out. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah or, uh, ultimate ominous turn, very good. But right there, misfortune, right into death reverse. Full conversion okay. here. It's going to be the low, but yeah, there's the brave counter. We, you know, a lot of the Japanese players haven't been brave countering once immediately. Yes. So I think Koji Koko was looking for that to be the same case there. Right. But it he wasn't. delayed it last time, yeah. Ooh, He's running out of hearts. He's running out of life, Abare. too. There we go. Winter Stand is coming. Heart. Winter is coming. Oh, I love English scrambler. <laughs> oh! Oh, catch the spot dodge, yeah. That recovers in time. I mean, obviously that dive. First so off, the fact recovery. that he was brave enough to go to the corner and then mix. This guy's like, yeah, I'm a genius. I'm about to win $15,000. This is the moment where he's starting to realize. He's like, I'm about to win $15,000. These guys are all free. He's realizing it right about now. Oh, the throw. And here we go, the pressure there. Now the delay throw here. What's the mix again? Is he gonna go for another throw? Oh, oh okay. the a 2M right there catching the evade. So this is Koji Koko's chance. Remember, Koji Koko was able to stop the bleeding. Does not mean they are out. No. Oh, she don't got an answer. It's turbulent, huh? Uh, well, I saw an evade, but it's hard to see. That's funny because she has an answer for everything, but she doesn't have an answer for turbulent. Now, obviously, a lot of throw in fireball. Mm -hmm. Oh, another brave counter. Mm -hmm. See, he's just waiting, waiting for it. Brave waiting to see if he'll do it. Yeah. There it is again. Okay. Oh, wow. Actually, that, that is knowing Lancelot. Wow, that's really okay. surprising. Okay. okay, he has 100. He has 100. Right, super sky bound up. That's 100% going to kill. That's 100% going to kill. Yeah. Gonna kill. Yeah. Uh, if it was just the regular sky bound art, maybe not. But there it is. The super. Oh, she has sure. one stock. Zero BP. No, right. that, that's I like how it plays the most peaceful right. music yeah, as you get yeah, shredded right, to death. Right. Your blood just splatters all over the camera. Okay, so Koji Koko on the board? Yes, again. that is right. Yeah, has, I, guess. I missed one. There used to be a glitch where the song would play even when the super didn't actually kill them. I missed that. Remember that glitch? 
that was just the old song too. It was extra funny. You just have that song playing over the rest of the match. Look at this. This round is looking all Koji Coco so far. Guard crush. And then no, no brave counter way. because yeah. they didn't have the brave points left. That yeah, sorry, the Netscape. There's nothing Smart that we can do. There's two Nears in top four. They're powerful. Wow. But the true like hero is this Lancelot a player. A He's almost like Lancelot of the Lake. He's rescuing oh, all those princesses job, with his beautiful <laughs> gameplay. I thought you did. I thought you did it on purpose. Who, who, who was the one that fell, that fell in love with him? Guinevere? Oh, it's originally Arthur's wife or whatever. Fell out of the waltz. That's kind of rare, actually. Uh, right? <laughs> she was so captivated by his sexy combos and his dumb ice BS. The debuff right there, allowing him to link those uh, six six L's. Yep, debuff is putting in mad work. That oh. ultimate skill change was really good for Lancelot, honestly. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, a great uh, timing for that uh, break counter because it caught the ultimate skill, meaning that he had to use meter on it. Okay. Oh, oh the my Just goodness. Okay. Okay, Fukunaga coming back here yeah. and kind of almost stopping his own bleeding right now. Almost a little bit of his own tourniquet here. Yeah, because Coach Gogo had two rounds straight on that last mm -hmm. one. So Fukunaga now again back on set point, trying to make it to Grand Finals on the winner's side once more. But what? Makes it right over the there. Invasion! This guy's a god. Oh, man. I mean, how's this right guy doing now, this? definitely cheating death. And here we go into the corner here, going to set up with the fireball, of course. She can't move. I have to put a muzzle on you, James. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, there it is, the hit for Coach Coco. And now the corner position here. Oh, did you, did you go for that? Okay, there we go. You need yeah, to use all those hearts. You just trying to bing, bing, yeah, and, and just wait for him to do something. Corner. You better go full ham. You better, you better chip every bit of this guy's life bar away. He's gonna block. That's Give up. Just, uh, you know, uh, oh, work his ass till he has nothing. Otherwise, this is what's going to happen to you. Big damage over here. He's also got Sick all ass combos. Yeah. He gets to do a whole loop. Then he gets to do the, the whatever that move is. The stab move. The grand finals, and they might have changed the input now. Side, no less. Oh, man. He, yeah. Because now there's 6-6 so six, six moves. Now. I think that used to just be 6-6. Six, six. And just... Chill until he finds that was out who his opponent is going to Fukunaga be. with the win. That could be anybody. We still we still have like a couple of people. There's there's three whole competitors looking to take down mm -hmm. this person. Right so there's now. two nears still alive, it's mind you. The <laughs> one near only got sent to losers. <laughs> but Zeram could run the near going there right now. Just, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm even gonna come on Zeram. I know this is not. Come on, bro. You could do it, sir. You gotta run the, the near gauntlet with Charlotta. Can I draw? Can I draw a little? Hold on. I'm gonna draw versus the crown, right? And I'm gonna try to draw a little. You just don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's really kind of like shades of Goichi, you know, mm -hmm. from Dragon Ball, right? I mean, like. I'm sorry, I'm not so good at drawing, but see, it's, it's Charlotta, right? <laughs> it looks well, more like Duck so, King. Yeah, Where's the sword? She needs the sword. Shimmies and mix-ups and everything, and he's just like, nope, I'm not pressing a button. It's not happening. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Except for when he presses a button, and it's the exact right time. Come on, Charlotta, let's go. It's, it's insane. <laughs> it's just such solid defense on the <laughs> there. So she needs the long hair, right, like this. Uh, I think we're actually gonna go for an interview. Here, <laughs> so uh, let's see what uh, what we've got here on deck. Come on, Charlotta. Thank you very much, guys. I'm joined by the victorious Fukunaga. Okay, again, one more time on it. Oh, he gets Fukunaga. a pop off for winning. Nice. Okay. How was that last series for you against Koji Koko? Oh, the box, yeah. <laughs> He had the guy's number. He still lost the game. So That's how you know you're skilled. Koko is a very young uh, fighter, contestant. I, I know he's uh, still in his teens. And maybe uh, that uh, gives uh, him a very fast reaction time. Um, and it was really difficult to fight him. Uh, even uh, his anti airs were really on point. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I did manage to, you know, beat him, and so I'm really... Yay! Pleased. Humble in the face-off, humble in victory, but a crowd favorite here. One more time for Fukunaga!
Good job, Fukunaga. He's like, let me get the hell out of here. Can I leave? <laughs> He's got that look like, can I leave now? All the makings of someone I want to call champion of Kramer Fantasy versus <laughs> You can tell when something's overproduced when the person that they're interviewing just looks awkward. They're just like, can I go now? Coming up and just because he looked unstoppable so far does not mean that it's truly the case. Eventually, people have played you and they have started to learn from you or they've been watching you and have started to learn from you. Oh, yeah. So this is Hold on. That loser's bracket run starts to come into fruition. All right. Well, I could just put the box like right here. Run. Right. Yeah. But one of the scary things right now is you had there mentioned you that She's we don't have as many Lancelot players in the States, right? Mm hmm. All the last All the players States. are from the United States. <laughs> I just look terrible, but have there you go. A little bit of an advantage here, but we're going to find out Goodbye, who's going to advance more to go and fight against Anyway, Coach good luck Coco to Zero. I hope that he can take it. So Zero versus Zippy is coming up right now. Zero Let's go. or Zippy. Everyone in the crowd, give it up for your competitors here. GB versus loser, loser semis. It's match. still three out of five, though, even though it's loser this semis. Keep that in mind. Zero, player one. One Zippy, player two, you're only going to get two minutes this time. Finals. Mm. Just saying, these are the two qualifiers from there. Tell me who and you Zippy think will win. Zippy came out, came out not only came out, but came out through loser's bracket. Oh. Had to beat Zerom twice. Right, and now this time he only needs to beat him once. So well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. We, we, You and I have been talking about it all day. You learned from past experiences, oh, yeah. James. Mm -hmm. And Zerom... How good has he been looking throughout this bracket? Right, exactly. He's been looking so strong. I mean, honestly, Zerom has been playing at just a really, really high level with the Charlotta. Mm -hmm. There it is. You see catching death over there. But here we go. So far, Zippy is the one, one thing starting off strong. On to use as many stocks as humanly possible as quickly as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Always going into low. Zerom spending brave. Well, there is, yeah. Another Getting answer, counter for the jump. The noble strategy. Just ready for that. Backs up a little bit. There and we go. Zippy's another young man, right? So there's another another young man reaction that we that we were talking about <laughs> in the interview. <laughs> Can't believe Coach Coco's in his teens. Oh, you didn't know? I didn't know. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> oh man. These young kids. A lot of these. That's why they love the Guambu so much. But that's another story. Here we go. <laughs> Ultimate skill into the corner here. Yeah, trying to fight back. Zippy does get the pushback right now, but we've got to remember that jump is so weird to deal with. But yeah, okay, we have tested this before. Zippy has reacted to every mm -hmm. single raging strike that tur this tournament. I'm not talking about this game. This tournament. Yes, yeah. As soon as you see that slow down every single time. Oh, he always has the Fabuloso color. I forgot yeah. about that. It's funny, I'm just oh, thinking about that. I've been watching Zerom the whole time. He's got the purple the color out still. And it's so the stream quality is so the, trash. The you can barely see the colors right. on that character. Right you see this, this purple yeah, pops. For Zippy, accidentally pressing throw mid combo, so they got Zerom now. But still, finding a way back with the ultimate uh, on the start. Okay, and then we go back throw from Zerom now. Yeah, Strive will be later. Saber Ultra, is that what you're asking about? So you can see Zerom right now trying to lean in a little bit. It'll be 6 p.m. Pacific, unless they move it up. Open up the shimmies potentially for him. You're always going to see a lot more throws in somebody's oh! game plan. Whoa. Specifically, because throws are going to get you around those parries, and Zero right, doing right. that right now. Yeah, you don't want to deal with misfortune. Throw can be pretty good. But oh, who's that? Zippy to losers? Is going to catch on. Zippy lost to... Catch, catching right here. Zero, I'm sorry, Zippy starting off uh, with fit a nice in. over here. Into the standard at near mix and up Fitizen here. was that was the, the sick free. Right now, but the ultimate misfortune getting jumped over. And again, one of the nice things about that narrow jump. Right, I was a sick free. Both the sick freeze are out now. No more sick free. For a lot of characters, would end up jumping. Zerom over. like destroyed that guy. That guy was really good too. Zerom wrecked well, him. I don't I mean, know what it was. Gotta keep trying to deal with it. Too many the right? Yeah, absolutely. But okay. Wow, that was punch. Oh my goodness. Caught the ultimate skill. Okay, and should be able to kill off of this one here. Wow, that is so unfortunate but for Zippy, but Zero. Sometimes without even knowing who their training day, partner the is, you can tell who what character the, the training partner of I mean, somebody plays a or, or a regular training like partner if they have more than one. The way that he played that he definitely has a a secret training partner. And then you lose, it's like that's a bitter one. Well, I mean, you got a really good one too because whoa, he stomped that guy. Oh, Frosties, okay, right? so, okay. So it, I could be wrong about that. I could be misremembering, but I do believe that was the case. So technically, so, if Zero wins this, they'd be two and two. Two and two. <laughs> oh. It's just the order matters. <laughs> the order always matters. <laughs> yep. But yeah, the hit right here, that's going to matter a lot as it puts you into the corner. You're going to have to deal with the ultimate waltz, and now you're going to deal with just about everything. But while catching okay. the underside, and that was Damn, a punish. Damn, and then right back to the... You can't even be like, well, I made it to mid-screen at least because watch oh, this. 
We right back oh, yeah. to the corner. Right there. You saw the break counter right there to hit that. Ooh. And there's the OS Dead. again, being able to press the button, immediate raging strike, and getting ready for it. That's the thing is the Zippy showing strong avenues of fighting without. You know what it made me happy would be to see a low aim player. I want to see bros Zippy flying around everywhere, exactly. raging strike, I mean, dumb like wall combos like into Catalina bots. Very similar kind we of situation. We don't get that today. Yeah, that sadly. is the mark of a true puppet character master, right? Mm -hmm. Is you need to. I mean, like here is not as much of a puppet character. Way, well, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Still, that's uh -huh. it, still. <laughs> well, here we go again. Standard corner setup here, and yeah, you see them backing off, trying to stay outside of the the the, the brave counter ranges here. Oh. I like that break counter into immediate charge forward. And there's the air throw right there. Yes, utilizing Universal Mechanics as a defensive option for sure. You see Zeron jump a ton, and you're going to see uh, Charlotte players jump a ton. It's just normal for them, right? And they, so the, throw she has a good option. jump, so she should oh, jump. Oh, again. Somehow he just sees it every single time. So I think that time, uh, Zeron did not mean that as a mix-up. I think Zeron attempted that as, like, button into Raging Strike, oh, but kind of did it a little okay, late. Okay, right, right, right. That's what it looks like to me. But, you know, again, I could, of course... Either way, he just he just reacted. All right. Getting back-to-back -back throws here. A dodge. That's how oh, Afro... He do so when he sees the Raging Strike, he just dodges. Strike, right? Unless you mean, how does he react every time like that? I don't know either. Ever so slightly. Juiced, the, the maybe. right there. Now, yesterday we were talking about how sometimes so we wonder about people that are juiced. Maybe they're juiced. That's how they can dodge that every time. I have no idea. Remember, That's really hard to react to like that. When they're fighting here just because they want to be able to get around misfortune. Just because they don't want you to be able to use brave counters. Because they want to be right next to you. Wow! Going through the fireball. That is one of the properties. So... Yeah, again, Zippy right now trying to play some solid defense. Nicely done over there. And yeah, you can see Death just being a threat, just chilling there. Got again. Again. Okay, all right, okay. So it is it is trying to press button into Raging Strike because Death is messing things up. Yeah, he, yeah. I think that was the OS attempt, exactly. right? Exactly. Death does take the hit. So you do cancel into the next thing, right. so the OS does not work correctly. Exactly. Well, it works correctly. It works as intended. It works how it works, but you, you, just, right. you, just, you just hit <laughs> the wrong person. Like said, the light, but still, the lit, fact that he sees that and then he, the he dodges, the that's uh, so nuts. The, the raging strike. But it's not whipping, it's hitting death. Exactly. Okay. Big damage here. And that Jesus Christ. So 81 seconds left on the clock. We were talking about the OS and then it was over. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 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 okay, the right, smile well, and the frown. Yeah, I mean, these two were very evenly matched previously in Frosty Faustic, so I mean, we're just we're just showing that as, as, as a longevity thing as well. Woo, let's go, baby. Fabulous soul. Oh, I thought that was a throw for a second. Very smart. Got her. Ooh, so it was the regular one. Ow! So yeah, Mad damage. And then getting the H, big damage on this as well. Raging Strike. And into the sky Skybound Art. God damn. Oh, I like the attempt to just try to. Nah, they were cooked. There, they were yeah, cooked. They just won. They won it out. The, I mean, he might have been going for the whip. Come on, Zeron. Just, you know, automatically turned around and grabbed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and definitely grabbed the punish. You saw the no escape show up over yep, there. Yep. There was no way to tech that throw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I totally agree with you on, the, on Zippy attempting a crossover, right? Because has not attempted the crossover out of the corner very many times. So you're not always looking for that. But not going to matter now. Zeron just looks to be the predator in this situation, which is very rare when you're fighting a near player. Ooh, oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. Stay ducking. Very yeah. good from Zippy. Recognizing that you can react to both options. You just have to try Oh, right. oh they got out. Oh, good block on the cross under. And then had the, the, the brave guard right there. It's not even a cross under move. She just always crosses up. It's dumb. Most likely using the guard button if Zippy was, uh, you know, knowing what they're doing. Okay, right. Soon the super sky bound out. Look at no. the damage. Watch this. <laughs> Goodbye, light bar. Good lord, brother. <laughs> I mean, again, whenever you land a super sky bound art, the most brave point you'll ever have is one in that situation. Yeah, because it always so, takes away two. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you are getting that damage boost directly afterwards, so right. it's just super good for Zippy to go there, recognize how much damage was going to be done, it's, it's and plus cool only only a two stocks, right? So. Right, and it's a cool system too because that way, you know, when you use one breakaway, you obviously don't take extra damage, so you feel safe. But then you get hit by a super skybound art, and you just melt. Yeah. yeah. Super skybound art. Yeah. That's why they're so good. A little bit more stoic on the defense, right? Not immediately doing something. 
holding out for Zerom and holding out for that throw for Zerom as well. Going to be able to get the shimmy. Big damage here and one more situation. Can Come on, Zerom. Is he going to get this to a final game potentially here or Zerom? Pray on their defense. Come back this round. I mean, it's totally possible still. I know there's not a lot They have no hearts. Now, they have no hearts. No strategy. Just do something. Yes! Yes! This guy's a fucking genius. This is a little Harvin genius over here. Come on. Hit his ass with the demon sword. One more. She's still going to be able to cross you up in those situations. And now Zerom is at set point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zerom definitely looking to do it. Big definitely looking to avenge the Frosty. Nice. That was a pretty good neutral jump. That was a good raging strike. Zerom. This guy's doing the right stuff. You got to win, dog. Oh! Which way do I block? That was sick. And here we go. Zerom! Is going to defeat Zippy and get to lose. You got mix up, so do I. Zippy These are little dwarf mix ups. You can't tell where I'm going. Because I got a, I got a hop. That wasn't even a jump. That was like a hop. That was a cheater jump. I'm coming back here for vengeance, and he will be moving in the top three. Hey, I need the crowd to absolutely give that it was up sick. for Zippy because they put on a hell of a show this week. Hey, they were. They're, I mean, they're near with cheap. Not a slouch in any capacity. Absolutely. Shout out to so fourth well place played, is Zippy well Near. Good again, game, Zeron. They are great it. experiences coming out here, playing in a world world tour like this is an experience you'll never forget. Well, I wonder Shout if it was the power of the Zippy Charlotta drawing. Do y'all think that helped? Out of this tournament, but we are down to three players left. Isaiah, what, I'm, this is a uh, this is a tough situation here. This is scary now. Charlotta versus Near once again the running back. Kicking in at this point. Well, they're all team kills, and uh, I want well, sorry. The, the next one is, a, is the final team kill, I should say, because after that there's no more team yes. kills. Right? America has finally come. Come on, this time it's gotta be. Let me try to Japan think what it's gonna be. Ready in the winners bracket side. But we do want to talk to one of these winners. She's doing the, uh, the. Thank you very much. Joining oh, me fuck. is the victorious Zerum. Give it up for Zerum, everybody! <laughs> hey, brother, so there's been a lot of near players. You yourself play a lot, sure a lot. What do you think of some near players? About these near players, um, you know, <laughs> develop some fundamentals. Maybe. Oh! The game can't save you forever. <laughs> that hurts somebody to back or also here, say, oh! Tucker, what do you think of his performance so far and his choice to play? Yeah, it's not over yet. We got two more matches. Tucker's Losers, finals, then grabs. But uh, I personally think his Zoe's a lot better than his knee. Well, we'll see oh. if he pulls that one out. Go ahead and go set up for your lower bracket finals match. Damn. Thank you very much for joining us. And congrats on the win. Zerm, everybody! Hey, all right, sir. That was he, he threw a little mini pop off out there. You better, you better win after throwing mini pop offs out there like back. that. Don't hold back. Tell, tell, tell the people what you think of near players out no there. No more humble <laughs> interviews. No, no, no. We talking that mess over here. Oh, that boy, man. he's coast. That's how you know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, well, Maryland. You know, telling the near players out there to to get some fundamentals out here. But you know what? I mean. Koji Koko, you know, is going to basically try to show him uh, what's up in that situation. See, I'm, I'm not bad. I'm not good at drawing, like, the faces. That's the problem. It's like, you can't tell it's Charlotta. You can tell this is the sword at her doing the move, right? I got to put her hands up or whatever. See? Like, that's the problem. I'm not good at drawing faces. I can't be like, oh, it's her doing the move. <laughs> I still hope he wins. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't done this in a long time, these silly little drawings and things like that. That crown looked so terrible. <laughs> Technically the grand champion of All right, let's go. Two, right? Losers final coming up. We are gonna see that grand champion it's going to be Zeron versus Koji Koko. Koji Koko might be player one, actually. the pleasure of being the American representative in grand finals. It's so nice for me to be able to say that in grand <laughs> fantasy races. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're on an international Yeah, it's crazy level. that really, we have two, really two yeah, American players still yeah. alive. Uh, I know I've talked about all five minutes, the, uh, guys, to the side. between all the different regions here, and I love seeing that in all the fighting games. And I'm going to keep saying it because I love it. Now, now we are going to give it on over to Degon because he is going to take <laughs> us into said match. Charlotte's talking about fundamentals. Ooh. Thank you very much, guys. It's time for the battle of the Americas. Ooh. 
the lower bracket finals. Both these competitors have fallen, but are not out. But now we have the opportunity to fight one more time. The final boss in the grand finals. Up first, the final near player remaining, the LCQ champion. It's Koji Coco! <laughs> He's got the karate shirt on that's throwing me off. International karate! First he's gonna beat you in the game, then he's gonna beat you out of the game. Gotta watch out. Hit you with the Cobra Kai. <laughs> Frosty Fostings, and now with the opportunity to represent America's in the Grand Finals, the Charlotta, it's Zara! Let's go, Zara. The Fabuloso, baby. He ain't just the Charlotte, this is the Fabuloso, Zara. Look into the light. Ah, is that what he was doing now? He's walking out, looking to the light. The light of noble Charlotte. In Granbu, we don't say cheap, we say noble. So just know that anytime that someone says noble, they act that that's a code word. It means cheap. It's even in her move list, noble execution. It actually means cheap execution because it takes all of your life. Noble strategy. You can translate that one yourself. Noble strategy. <laughs> while someone does a combo, you're just like, that was noble. Both these players making their way through the lower bracket different ways. Zerum, obviously, a much longer trip. Welcome to the lower bracket, Koji Koko. <laughs> All right, so both of you now playing for the opportunity for the grand finals. You heard his words in his interview saying he respects you, young player. But again, can't be saved by the game by playing near. What do you think of that? No I mean, doubt, Ram. It's fair, dude. I think you're just like Sue. I don't want to play against that bitch, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! But, yeah. um, in all seriousness, like, I'm really glad with how far all of it came with you, dude. Anime players Anime ruining professionalism. Like Let's go. Since 1990. <laughs> Zerum, uh, Koji Since Koko takes you with humility. Final words for your opponent before you take it on to the game. I'm very proud of you, Coco. You've come a long way in such a short time. <clears throat> but unfortunately, in order to save Grand Blue, Charlotta has to win. <laughs> Here are both your opponents. Please give it up one more time for your lower bracket final. Come on, save Granbu. See, the only problem is now he's talking too big. He should have just kept the helm button, but like, I hope yes, I win. You heard it from our two competitors here. You heard it all. They, oh, he was, is, he was talking smack earlier, too. He was like, he's these, these, these news don't got no foot it it's gotta be Charlotta. <laughs> he better not lose. I can't call him Noble anymore if he keeps talking like that. So, you know, definitely a talk here, a lot of... I mean, Those are Dark Knight ways. Yeah, exactly. Too. Mortal Kombat! Those are Dark Knight ways. So, yeah, definitely one of the major storylines of this. And, you know, it's been interesting to see this, how it plays out here. But, again... Who was Morgan Le Fay's brother right now, that started the whole war with the, 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 the Knights of the Round Table? I forgot his name. 
this Koji Coco there. Oh, the skulls? Yeah, I'll hand them out. Oh, wait, did I start? Did, didn't I do a bet? Uh, Koji Coco versus Zero. No, you just did. Uh, savior, then, then oh, you're skulls. Yeah, slayer? send me your skulls. I see what you're saying. My bad. You're that getting way? excited. Yeah, I, mean, hey, look, I only saw the second uh, comic before you know, like the first Coco one. Said, you know, I mean, it's just like reading is hard. You're just you're playing the character. You want to win. You're gonna do your best you can do. So you know, why not start up? The was that his name Mordred? There was Morgan Le Fay, right? And then there's Mordred. Is that his name? I forget why he even started that whole <laughs> war. He was originally also going to be a knight of the round table, and then for whatever reason, back. he just had a beef with Arthur. So Tim and Morgan started the whole thing. Whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> they're doing a button check right now, so I wonder if maybe like Zeram did something really funny. <laughs> right, yeah. And he's just like, well, I'm going to war, but mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like the, the players are getting the thumbs Let's up see. over here, ready to go, ready to start their match again. This is Losers Finals. This is going to be the match to determine who gets into the grand finals to battle Fukunaga. Let me hear it from you guys. Are you excited for this match? Come on, are you guys excited for this match? Come on, I need to hear it. There we go. Koji Koko, Zeram, let's go. That's right, and you got to remember, we just got to keep talking about this storyline, in my personal opinion. Koji Koko had to win LCQ to get here. Mm -hmm. And now is on me, maybe, maybe James could win the tournament straight from LCQ. Right. And again, this is a matchup here. Zeram, I mean, we've seen how, what he has been able to do to all the near Oh, he, he's it's always something like this. He fell in love with someone, uh, and then through a misunderstanding, here, to, uh, uh, that person died, and Mordred blamed it on Arthur. That's basically what started the whole thing. As far away as possible <laughs> from the That's the short version. And, well, here it is. Losers finals, Koji Koko, Zeram, who will make it to Grands? Oh, yep, letting the intros rock again. Believe in victory and Koji Coco versus Zeram. You guys gave it two to one odds, actually, right. to, to Zeram. Pretty good. Right there, but, uh, Zeram's talking smack his footsies are terrible right now. He's just sweeping the leg. Uh, the, the link afterwards. You call that footsies? So they picked the Divine General stage, by the way. Real happy. Nice I'm going to assume that uh, Zeram picked this. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> Oh, he got he got whip block string. You see that? Zing. You see a button missed. You try to press on it. Zoom, the sword comes right after. That's pretty cheap. Come on, grab combo. They're almost dead, or maybe actually dead. Oh, the raging strike missed. Yeah, the raging strike missed. He was trying to kill. He could die now. Oh my fucking god, he could definitely die. Zeram has none now. Block. Okay, got the six six out. Oh my god, I had a heart attack for a second. Zeram, I mean, that was a fair fight. They both worked the same life. Of the near population here <laughs> in you can't be too biased. Versus rising in this top eight. Whoa, get pushed. Right under there. Right back to Gross the combo. Why did it still push the right way, even though it hit cross up? Right there, but it looks like Koji Koko blocked it. Oh, I'm not going to matter on this one. Two M on his turn. Always going to be a friend. Yeah, so just gonna go into the skybound art here. Not gonna kill him. Wow, that was almost half oh, damage good throw. right there. Wait a minute. The oh, early. Okay. oh. oh skill, but oh, unfortunately, he's not in the corner, so you don't get the whole thing. Yeah, there's a brave counter. Brave counter right back. And I mean, Koji Koko has two more, dude. Chop. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is no execution. No execution. Oh, he can oh, do boy. it. Does not have the meter, however. No. Woo, noble oh, execution. He's fucking dead. That's a headless near. Zerob from the brink of death. Zerob is going to take the first game. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> Again, that's what we see from Zerob so many times. The little nod in between rounds here, in between matches. He's thinking in his head, he's like, my friends, <laughs> I'm taking all your power. I'm going to save Grand Blue. Let's do it. Ooh, nice nice, yeah. Koji Koko. yeah, I mean, you know, we were, they were talking about that in the winner's interview after winner's finals, right? Koji Koko's answer is on point. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, far uh -oh. enough to reach over there. And here we go. So, coming in, coming in. Okay, Ooh. there it is. Yeah, I mean, that okay, one wasn't okay. even OS. That was just a hit confirm yeah, on that. that so was a hit confirm. But I like that. You saw the mic for one. What's she even doing during her raging strike? She's like, ah! Oh. Get off me. 
That's one of the powers of that Raging Strike. You were able to combo off of a, a lot of different setups. Yeah, I, I know Nier is new, but Raging Strike has actually opened up a lot of combo opportunity for characters that were really bad mids. She's trying to swat a mosquito. So, oh, great mosquitoes coming at me. In, in general. Okay, here we go. Gets, got the hit here. Should be able to get the side swap, get the corner position here. Oh, was trying to brave counter on that one, but unfortunately Koji Koko did absolutely nothing. Really smart call on that. And Koji Koko looked way, way better there. One apiece now. No, don't cheer for near. Don't cheer for near. You're doing it wrong, guys. Save the Thundersticks. Well, I mean, the way they were talking you can have about, Charlotta oh, versus Lancelot <laughs> if you just save the Thundersticks for the right moment. Well, he's got the corner position here, which is so strong. Tried to use Misfortune as an anti-air versus the, uh, the, the Noble Strategy, but unfortunately he's so high up. Okay. Ultimate Waltz. Oh, he's oh, looking for the dodge. Yeah, yeah, you saw the dodge right there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of near players are looking for you to break counter during Waltz because, I mean, it's just usually the best spot to do so. Right, exactly. <gasps> That what? sounds more like who's the character that's in love with Catalina? I forgot her name. Oh goodness, that sounds more like that character. Koji Koko She's now legit crazy. Taking the lead here. One game, one round. And they, this is what you're talking about, the rubber band match, right? Because you, you, you do not want to have to win two straight. You know? Okay. Again, finding the opening, and this is what makes Nier so difficult to fight against. Oh, Vera, yeah, you're close. Every Vira, V-I-R-A, Vira, that's that. her name. Mm -hmm. So every every hit tends to lead into that setup. That is always what Nier players are going to be able to get you in as soon as they get the hit. So that's why you see so many brave counters. That's why you see people trying to play so conservatively. But unfortunately, she is going Don't to worry, it's a three out of five. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a long haul set. Ultimate ball, it, it recovers very very fast. This ain't no joke. So Koji knew that and was like, I'm not pressing a button. It's not. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, they're playing like a t just like a ten thousand dollar money match. I think. Go, I think the difference between oh, third place and second place is a uh, ten thousand dollar difference. Hold on. Uh, yep, it's done. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. No more yeah, PP yeah. left at that point in time. And no so more PP. Charlotta never had a PP. To one over here, trying his best to slay Grand Blue, <laughs> but well, more importantly, slay Zerom. You, you got to remember, Koji Koko has not used Super Skybound Art as its a normal function, which is apparent, <laughs> right? In, 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 I, I don't, I don't know if he's done with this tournament. So, if, if that's the case, Zerom's not looking for it, right? You're looking for misfortune. So, All right there we go. Got the brave counter. Did not bait out the wake up from Zerom. Now Zeron with this corner position again. This is why I keep pointing out the corner. It's so strong in this But game. it's a side switch. It's where you're going to get all of your extended combo. Oh, they went for combo. This, this is a fucking side switch. This is where we normally switch. see Super Skybound Art do as, as, as a hit attack, right? Right. right. Not going to kill this time. So much damage. Yeah. Okay, but look at the chip. Yeah. That's what he got to run. Six no, out. No, oh, my God. Oh, Zero found gap. the gap. Zero found the gap. Mind the gap. Mind <laughs> the gap. <laughs> this dude. Is, is is come on, Zeron. Do it. Here. Save Grand Blue. See, he was too busy talking smack. That's why he's struggling right now. He made it harder on himself. He should have said nothing and been humble and then beat his ass. Now you're struggling. You dodging at bad times. You better watch out, Zeron. You're gonna die. She's chipping away half your life. She's anti-airing. Uh oh. Has the anti -airs on Here point. comes Scumbaggery. I'll chip you for the rest of your life. Got a nice oh, combo. Got okay, we'll take it. That's a hard knockdown. That's a good throw. She still don't have her shadow back. She got no wake ups while she doesn't have a shot. She just got to eat everything. And yeah, waited for the ultimate skill to do it. Yeah. Fuck, you didn't block. So you gotta block, bro. Of course you're gonna need Never brave Rush countered not. until it was obvious that there was no possibility of Zeron being ready for a brave counter. Right. And then just kind of delaying that last snipe right there. <laughs> Come on, Zero. Just stay alive. One round away. Struggle desperately. Yes. Yes. Zerom beating the throw. Yes, again. You're right. He has no footsies. He only knows how to grab when he's scared. Fuck. the ultimate turn. Yeah, I mean, Zeron was thinking, okay, I can do something here, but not actually the case. Overhead! Oh, is this You're dead as hell. You should have oh, never, you should have never opened your mouth. Zeron, why did you ever say anything? 
Oh, the guy's like, yeah, I'm redeemed now. Unfortunately, I guess there will be no saving today. Yeah, All right, Koji Koko takes it, everybody. Zerom gets third place. Still gets $10,000. That's pretty good. But yeah, Rip Grand Blue. We got to have uh, near grand finals. But I think I think if he plays how he played in winners, I think last lot's going to Everybody, give it up for Zerom! Dude, why did they throw it like he won? It's not over. So much work. <laughs> I'm so confused about this production. Why Why are we throwing machines right, folk machines right now? Did the tournament end? Are we cheering for Lancelot already before it's over? <laughs> yeah, shit talking to get body. That's a classic. It always, it, it, it's a popular movie. And like Koji Koko yeah, yeah. said, I mean, shout outs to the NA scene here. Three uh, of the uh, NA players in top four. Well done. I mean, we could take a look at that again. So, again, currently right now, first place could either go to Japan in uh, Fukuoka or USA. And we had two USA in US top and Koji three. Koko, but That's as you pretty can good. See there, uh, Zerom, Zippy. Wait, right three USA in top four? Is that for how it was? Wow. But of course, also shout outs to USA. What do you think? Pick a top tier to the next level. Two of the news were us. Yeah, just so many strong players to make it through this bracket, but we must crown a champion. There can only be one. Exactly. I expected there to be some crazy Japanese near or something, but no, it was just us being the scumbag near players. And we saw that on the winner's side over there, Fukunaga looking so dominant. We talked about it. How do you open up a person who is, whose defense is just so solid? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things a lot of people will end up, like, running into in this game. But, you know, maybe we can uh, maybe we can talk to Koji Koko about it yeah. right now. What a great toss. Thank you very much, Des. Joining me over here is Koji Koko. Koji, I saw you guys shook hands for a long time, so we're going to shake hands throughout this whole interview, okay? All right, so James is teaching me. I'm a little new to the FGC, so James is teaching me a question I should ask. How did you punch him more than you punch you? You punch, um... Why are you still shaking his hand? That's so creepy. Let him go! All right, here's a real question. All right, let's Let go of his hand! You're getting the uh, matchup again, the rematch against Fukunaga. How's it going to be different this time? What the fuck? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you got problem solving on the fly? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> All right, last is this guy? Is this landing? is this guy the guy on Addies? What's he doing? <laughs> I'm like, dog. Can you let go of my hand? Words of a future champion. Give it up one more time for Coachy Coco. <laughs> exactly. Unhand him. I agree. What was that? You know, the fact that he, he is so young, obviously. This dude is losing his goddamn mind. Kind of situation is a really, really kind of a, a, a high-pressure situation. But, you know, at the same time, when you're young, you're not scared. You don't know the, 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 the you know, you, you, you don't fear death. Was that what it's supposed to be? He's a, a, a near, like, getting carried by a near joke or something? I didn't get that. I don't just look weird to me. He just was holding the guy's hand the whole time. Let the poor guy go. Yeah, I guess so. Next time I'm tech, I'm tech one hand shit. I'm like, excuse me, sir. You gotta remember, I'm using your excuses. I'm stealing your excuses. I only shake hands for five seconds unless I know you. Oh, man. Anything past five seconds is not allowed anymore. Really, it is. It is uh, a little bit of <laughs> encouragement for him, so hopefully, you know, he's ready to, to go for this. But let's uh, go to the, oh, uh, but yeah, hopefully he's uh, ready for this. And, uh, hey, there's also Lancelot, Saber Ultra. Don't you want to cheer for Lancelot? What happened last time? Make the adjustments over here. And, uh, you know, Koji Koko. You could be missing out on Lancelot again, rampaging all over near. You can't be eliminated from a tournament until you get to the loser's bracket. Yes. So you got to miss out. Actually has to win two Don't you want the revenge? Revenge! And, uh, like Montezuma's revenge. One Only instead of it yeah, being so the bad burritos, it's got to be Lancelot to two destroying me. Right Don't play the same intros. Oh, thank God. All right, he's been waiting in the wings with the right of championship. On the line, one more series and grand be finals. Set one is what you're gonna bet on first, Naga! all right? And it's gonna be Fuku Naga, and that'll be for win on the spot. And then Koji will be for reset if you pick Koji, all right? You're gonna get five minutes starting right now. Grand final set one, go. Get your bets in. There.
I can't help it. I've heard the same song a thousand times. It's stuck in my head now. Hey, Fukunaga. Come on, Lance. Freezer and then leave her. That's my fantasy. <laughs> That's... <laughs> None of what I'm saying makes any sense. <laughs> Come on, Fukunaga. Let's go. That's my ground blue fantasy. Freeze them and mix them. He's like, where do I go? <laughs> what, do I just stand here awkwardly and wait? No, I guess I do. No one's directing me. I guess I'd stand here. <laughs> But in game, he does not play. Should I sit? The winner Should of the I stand? America, Should I set my water down? The lower, or the He's still seeing in the background. What should I do? <laughs> Give it up for the final American remaining. It's Koji Koko. Oh, it's so funny to watch another nerd going through something. <laughs> and, you know, not, no harm's going to come to them. It's just funny they're going through it because they don't know what's going on. So instead of engaging with somebody, be like, hey, what should I do? They just kind of, oh, well, <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> oh. uh, Afro Catastrophe said they got a free 100 roll. Nice, dude. Congratulations. Have fun. I hope you pull something godlike. Whatever your heart desires, I don't know. Deja vu is quite a coincidence. And fate now has it that both of you meet yet again, this time in the grand finals. We'll start with you, Koji Koko. You'll have to beat him twice. You said. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat him. What are you going to do for yourself then? What would this win mean for you? Thank you. What would this win mean for you? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 What would this win mean to you, and are you worried about any of the changes that? Thank you so much, Afro Catastrophe. It's greatly appreciated. They're doing interviews before the grants right now. So, if Koji Koko is going to win, how do you feel about it? Koji Koko is a very good player. I was going to win in the first time. I was going to Wow! Holy crap! Thank you very much! <laughs> Woo! I can't everywhere now! Let's go! Oh. It's an honor to play against such a strong uh, US player, and uh, it's just been great to be here and to, uh, to be able to play uh, you know, Koji Koko in this stage. Um, and as far as strategy goes, I'm pretty sure he's going to change things up. But um, I will do the same and try to respond um, uh, in that way. Any final fighting words? He's about to win $50,000. That's what he's really thinking. I'm about to beat this guy's ass and win 50 grand. You want to know how much 50 grand is? This much. <laughs> Let's do it. Koji Koko, any final words? <laughs> Uh, he's there all signed both by competitors in the grand finals. What will be your 2023 champion? Let's engage!
and I could not hope for a better finals all right. here at Arc World Tour. It's about two to one odds in favor of Fukunaga to win again, in set number one right now. Grand finals, two out of five. Grand Blue Fantasy so versus this is the end of the Arxis Tour. This is the for real finals. No joke. The winner gets fifty thousand dollars. The loser gets twenty thousand dollars. That means this is basically like a thirty grand winning match. No joke. Again, one of the things I love about the fight. Beat the other guy and you get 30 grand. You know, Koji Coco, obviously so young, getting to experience this kind of thing. Soak it all in. Obviously, he's, you know, uh, this is a little new to him to be on this kind of stage over here like this. But again, he was going to be back over and over and over again. I, I, I love seeing the future players coming up here and asserting. Characters is going to be Lancelot so versus you know, Nier. Zap Rock, if you just arrived. Time, and you know what would cap it off is to win this grand final. Third match. place Charlotta, fourth place also Nier. Back on the the, uh, the topic of discussion, right? <laughs> you know, because before it was like, well, I guess Japan's probably going to win Evo, right? Maybe not the case anymore, but let's go ahead and take a look at our players. We have two of the best of the best right there now. There you go. Fukunaga they got the breakdowns for you coming right now. Here's Fukunaga. Japan He's the last. qualified by getting second place and then defeated the person whom put him in that second place qualification. No, you won that tournament. I don't care. I'm winning the biggest tournament. I mean, that's almost kind of a theme, right? Because Zeron was able to defeat Zippy earlier oh. as well, you know? So that was the strategy, you know, saying back the grand finals. Yeah, he's done mind game. Oh, I'm so scared of, <laughs> yeah, of no, you, Fukunaga but actually, he's not scared of anybody. With the Lancelot, and, you know, I don't know if Zero Not when he's the only one that even knows how to, how to play Lance here. But, you know, there is a chance over here uh, to not have Nier take this tournament. Like I said, uh, we talk about it so much just because it is one of the main storylines yes. through this season. Well, season. I mean, it's only been a few months at this point in mm -hmm. time. Yeah. But uh, again, the, the ARC Coco tour this year was a partial Nier. tour. Clearly it started with Strive, so and Strive was a full tour. That was the only, only game on the tour. Place. They added so, yeah, Granbu in the middle of it, kind of out of nowhere. Ready to try to get some and the other night two just got the random day one has, tournament. Uh, some new tricks up his they should have saved the under night tournament for today. Yeah, that would have been hype. It was good. Wants to have come up with the gameplay, but the only problem with that is he also had to play zero, right? So your mind ends up going from that, that Seth was about, about as cheap about, as okay, Seth gets. What's my anti zero tech? Oh crap! Right. I forgot I had to play Fukunaga next. Like you know, you just have exactly. to be ready for literally everything. But yes, this is going to be it, everyone. We are in grand last chance qualifier of the Arc World Tour 2023 for Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. I need to hear your voices here for it. One more time, cheer on these players here. Let's get this. It's going to be a no great last show. chance qualifier means that you're playing for, for a, a last chance to get into Koji the main Koko. final. Let's. Go! So yeah, it's, it's an open qualifier in-house, but people come from everywhere to try to get it. I love it. Thank you for putting the Toki This is one, the LCQ Gobo from Japan got in, and, and the other guy, Koji Koko. I think this I, guy I, player too, he was the other LCQ. The so from the LCQ, he made it all the way here. <laughs> all right, here he was go. winners in the LCQ. So he, he was never defeated. Gobo lost, I think, to him. No, Gobo lost to, to another like year, I think, something like that. Koji Koko did make adjustments and win that third game, lost the fourth game, but I feel like that third game at least puts that C in his head like you know what I can do this I can do this I beat him one game let's let's string together uh, six wins here. he's got Lance with the Percival with the armor on on that immediately dash, on that immediate dash in from Fukunaga. And you gotta remember that Koji Koko is on that hot streak like you're talking about. Yes, an immediate six wins. Well, I mean, you know, already on a couple Entire. of wins before, but there's the anti-air from Fukunaga. Right, and yeah, I love that break counter. Puts Fukunaga He's another corner, so ignore Fukunaga neutral, just like Six, the character Six that we talked about a lot about during LCQ. He's another ignore neutral yeah, kind of character. Koji Koko too afraid to try anything because of the debuff, right? Your frame rate is so much slower. Triple attack overhead being represented. Yeah. Here we go now into this quarter position again. It's going to be up to Coach Coco for the defense over here. A little bit of a drop right there, but then manages to snipe the ankles right over there. Is he going to? Nope, not going to be able to combo Ooh, into the super. The OS. He got it. He's going to finish it off right there. 5H and Fukunaga was on the back foot for about two seconds. But they got a lot of information there. The number one thing that they learned is they have to be more they have to be more passive with their hearts because they could actually run out of hearts against this guy. Get you crumples and such like that. So 
There you go. Oh, oh baits out the throw. Yeah, Blade Impulse to finish through this. So, yeah, we are looking to He's trying to bait the Wico so that he'll you know waste hard. I can tell how he's thinking. It's Point, pretty smart. Right just back. do a big combo and then he's going to want to wake up. It doesn't really matter if he baits it or if he blocks yeah, it. Yeah, All that matters is that could buy a bunch of hearts. From Lancelot Damn. Here. Aren't the he's not even going to get to do it. You better reverse so my guy dead. Don't you understand? It's a force reversal. You got to do something. You can't just stay there. The very first game is only going to need two more at this point to become your ARC World Tour Finals champion. Game two. And ready to do that. They didn't show us the start, but that was definitely the X-Fire the way. Throw there. Oh, nice block on the little wall jump over there. But then the mix-up continuing. He's destroying here. him. This My God. That's a lot wants to do to you. Again, this is what Lance wants to do to you. Don't do it to me. This is ridiculous. Is that two perfects oh, in a row? Perfect. Is this guy here? Is his stick plugged in? Can somebody check on him? Can somebody check on this guy? Is he all right? Okay, he's still there. His buttons still work. This is where it all becomes mental at this point. Can Koji Koko recover from getting perfect in two rounds? What's up, Chloe? They were hello. Like said, They're checking to make sure he's there too. Go, K Man. You there? Been, cannot open. Look at this. Even again, button tech right there. All right, someone, someone's throw, at home. He always seems to be able to have the right decision. Yeah, no, I mean, the defensive pro, like, it's, it's everywhere. Fukunaga just has the complete package. He doesn't want to jump defense, anymore because he got anti-air twice already. Oh, but you got to do, you gotta do something. Why not just uppercut? I don't understand. When someone's standing there at the perfect neutral range, why would you not immediately up just uppercut? Just uppercut and get your pet out so you can get out of the corner. What are you doing? Row has been super he just wants to lose. Once the debuff is on, and finally a brave counter. I think Fukunaga just forgot about it as an option. Honestly, mm. this dude got the best uppercut in the whole game, and he he's, he doesn't want to press it. I don't understand. And there it is. That is the fear two, of God. Two to zero. Fukunaga is in Koji Koko's head. I mean, I'm afraid, you know, he was talking about how he was scared and such. I'm hoping that he didn't defeat himself just before he even sat down to start playing. You got to come in here. You got to believe you can take this. But Fukunaga right now, he, he is like a shark in the water right now. Coach is like sitting there thinking, I wish he had he a coach. Go because like if I coach him right now, I'll whisper in his out, hey, idiot, you have an uppercut. And I smack him on the back, on his back as hard as possible just to wake him up and then I'll walk away. I mean, he has to win three games. That's what I want this is Koji secondary. This is real. This is not a, this is not some, Koji can play Zoe. This is not some Ooh. out of nowhere thing. People do know about this. Okay. All right, here it is. Zoe has entered the fray. Zoe get a couple He waited here, way too late to pull this out. Friend, uh, with her. Yeah, the, my prediction. Two friends. Two friends. Yes. Fried with her. You're gonna probably taste like fried chicken. Not the other dragon, though, for whatever reason. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why they, they animated her like that, but sure. <laughs> All right, so let's see if the Zoe pick can actually make a difference over here. There we can see the brave counter. Yeah, this was known as one of the set play characters when she came out. She has a she, she has a move called Thunder. It's actually lightning, but it's called Thunder. And she <laughs> she uh she, she tries to set play you off of that, right? But she also has okay. Spinning that was slash, a good spinning slash. Punch, right? and you see so the, 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 the crossover to switch sides right away. Okay, throw. that was a good throw mix. Looking all right. Got Dragon Meter. Right okay? Torch him. Remember, dragon calls are very scary, but there is the knockup. This is good damage on this. Torch his ass. Oh, oh no. Oh, the POS again. 2L. Raging Strike. Blade Impulse to get the full corner carry. And here we go. Corner pressure over here. Yeah, as soon as you start blocking. I want to see a good, clean fight. Oh, Not a slaughter. Oh, what a time this is looking like a slaughter. Is now on Come on, do something! Points. You about to just hand him another thirty thousand dollars? You gotta, you gotta bring out everything. Now, just go ham. Help out the screen if you need to. Anything. The the there you go. There we go. The dragon coming in and doing a little bit of help here, but immediately Fukunaga with the throw and the pressure. Yeah, very good time for that brave counter. Caught it before the uh, the, the, the cross up, so that means you keep the corner right, and it's now got the pressure to the My dragon. God. And there it is, crossover. That is one of the ways you get out. Right, and unfortunately, you can see the dragon counter. The dragon but they're out, and now they're the one rushing down, here. and that wyvern is in near empty. It's a wyvern. It's not a dragon. I like calling it a dragon. It's a wyvern. Trying to look for that throw tag. Oh. Yeah, got the 6 6 after the throw tag. There's good damage on this one. Should, should be, be able to build the skybound. Yeah, I was about to say. Here we go. Skybound art. 
going to do a ton of damage here. And now, just one more mix up away from taking. I love how the Whiffin is just staring at Zoe getting beat up and not doing anything. It's just not contributing. Just watching his master die. World Tour Finals 2023. Good job, Fukunaga. You were the cheapest player by a long shot. You were so cheap, the other guy forgot he had uppercuts. Who defeated him at side games come all the way through here? He is the champion, but one more noble. Time, You're I right, that was noble. A very noble Koji, strategy by Koko. Fukunaga. Hell of a competition, but Fukunaga stands tall above the rest, tall on that mountaintop. And just can anyone stop the Lancelot? Well, you know the rules, Everybody was talking about Nier. Everybody was talking about Siegfried, but it was truly a different character. Count it up. Plus one. At the end of the day. Woo. And that breed was Fukunaga. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And again, you know. Yeah, that was that was kind of a blow up. Players, of course, three a little bit of a blow up, I think. Kind of exploded. You know, holding it down for Japan over there. And again, one of the strongest scenes out there. And so, it's just really, really well played. All right, Fukunaga with the win. He just goes, everyone. Get Hey, Grand Blue Fantasy that was fun. That kind of reminded me why I love Grand Blue. Establishing what to expect for this coming year, and again, trailer from Side Games. They rather release that during so their own much more event. Stuff happen. We've got Evo Japan coming up. We got Evo. So much Grand Blue action coming up, but. But before we get close out here, we got to award all of our players here on the stage. Let's throw it over to D. Award turn one. Let's go. Okay. Thank you very much, James. One more time Woo! for your champion, Fukunaga! Yeah, the one we have is we're going to wake up tomorrow and Nier's going to be nerfed into the ground. She's going to be the worst character in the whole game. That's how hard. They're going to they're gonna over nerf her just now, to, to Fukunaga, prove a point. You started this journey way back in the tournaments of Japan. Did you ever dream of becoming champion today? They're just going to remove Lance's slow completely and be like, yeah, you can't have this anymore. Uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, I never imagined it. And then you went undefeated. You know, what is your secret to success when you share this with other players? You know how it is, Nier's going to get hit by the bomb. Lancelot will be standing too close because he's also top tier and he'll get hit by extension or something, or six. Six would definitely be too close. あと自分もあの。無意識でもう動けるぐらいまでやり込んできたので、あの大会的緊張の中でもう勝手に手が動くぐらいやり込んできたので、そこがあの良かったかなと思います。Yeah, so first of all, I think there's not a whole lot of Lancelot players, so a lot of people probably don't have a whole lot of uh, matchup experience when it comes to Lancelot. So I think that did help me a lot. And the other thing is, you know, I've played Lancelot so much, and I've, you know, it's really become part of my, uh, an extension of my body. Oh, and even uh, in this going sort on. of tournament setting, uh, I wasn't really thinking a whole lot. I was just unconsciously, my bracket. fingers were moving. Um, and so I think that had a lot to do with it. And then 233 players. Oh, shit. All the Lancelot players out in the world, despite the fact is it a one-day event so or two-day event? Players, what would you like to say to all of the Lancelot players? So, ma, eh, ima, こう、ニアプレイヤーがニア使いが結構、<笑> Yeah, so, you know, there are a, a, a lot more you know, strong Lancelot players out there. And, uh, apparently it comes back tomorrow, the, the Paxton, because, but know, it's over right now. If we have more Lancelot players after this, then the matchup experience and the knowledge will spread, and, you know, that's not 11 a.m. Eastern? Fuck, that's uh, right. But... 
I just want to say to all the Lancelot players out there, I want. I might just check it out whenever I get a box. You did one more nice. time. Nice. Good job. Your champion, it's Fukunaga. Good job, Fukunaga. Let's send it back on over to the boys at the desk. And oh man, well done, James. Well done, Ebonic. I, I see you already grabbing your chest. You <laughs> made it through. Fam. So I'm gonna make no, a note I'm right so now. So Pax, so Arena, like, top. Like yeah. oh, oh, I know what you mean. But like, it's one of those things, right? We got to see a uh, champion crown for the Arc World Tour of Grand Blue Fantasy versus a long time coming. Obviously, you guys have been dedicated to this game. It's beautiful to see it get its moment in the shine that it deserves. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, you know, I know this is another one of those common through lines that we talk about, you know, we, we talked about it with Undernight and Grand Blue, but the pandemic really kind of put a little bit of a halt. I'll to try to get up early. If I, how about this? If I get up early and I see it live, I'll legit, having. I'll just but, go I mean, check shout it out. Shout out to, once again to the great rollback net code. I feel like 2024, I said this for Undernight, I say the same thing for Grand Blue. I feel like 2024 is like the year for these games. Let's grow the scenes. Again, if you're interested in this game, there's a free version there's on Steam version. that you can try out. They rotate the characters, all like for each of those characters, you got all the training, all the, all the trials and everything like you that. You don't have so. to buy anything. Exactly, exactly. So give this game a chance. Like, go out there, pick it up, try the free version, and uh, and fall in love with it like you so play many for other people have. You can see Fuku Naga with a 3 0 in grand finals. And I thought it was really telling in his interview where he was like, at a certain point, I just was the character, yes. right? Yeah, like, yeah, when yeah. you're able to reach that type of mindset and be in the zone like that, not many people in the world are going to be able to beat you on that day. So great stuff from Fukunaga. Putting in the work to get to that point, though, right? Stuff like that doesn't come to you unless you have worked your ass off to get there. <laughs> so big ups to Fukunaga for sure. Yes, and I got to say big ups to literally everybody in this bracket. God damn, you put on a show, and I'm really happy for all of you, especially Koji Koko trying to make it, especially all of NA. And I do have to give a very special shout out for me personally to EU, to Finison, and to Sonic San. Y'all showed up, you represented, and I'm very happy to see how strong you are. Yeah, man. Yo, crowd, can we actually get some love for all the Grand Blue players today? That's what I'm talking about, man. They put on a hell of a show. I got to see it through to the Thank end. Thank you so much. Also, everybody that is in oh, the that's building. that's sick. Is that Toki? Showing the support. Feeling the electricity. Oh, right? Uto. Uto. Agan, Ken. The atmosphere. All of that wouldn't be enhanced without the crowd. So, beautiful days so far already. Offline, man. Let's, I mean, let's talk about that here again. If you haven't had a chance for everybody at home, obviously. Never said trailer, trailer, please. You ain't getting no side games trailer at an Arxis event, man. Side games going to save that shit for their own shows, bro. You already know. No way. If we got a trailer, I'll be highly surprised. Loving the same things that you love, enjoying the same things that you enjoy. It is such a wonderful environment. I mean, look at all these people over here having such a great time. Shout out to all you guys who made the time to travel here for Arc World Tour Live to watch this uh, in person. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But, Ebonic Plague, I have to ask you a question now. Okay, all right. I hope I'm ready. Now that Nier has escaped victory, will she escape a future nerf? Nah, she's up. getting nerfed. Yeah, nah, 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 she's getting nerfed. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I hear pops from the crowd. No Damn, I want to see more in the air. I'm okay. just playing. I'm just playing. I think, I think she's actually getting tuned. I, we, like, we, I think we've already talked about Normalized, it, so. perhaps, you know, one of those. But yeah, the, definitely, you can see, though, right? It's all about character dedication and your expression with the character at the end of the day. Obviously, Nier was a story coming into this, but Fukunaga on the Lancelot, a very dangerous character, a lethal character in his own right. And when you're able to harness that character on a different level, like he said, not a lot of people are going to be prepared for him. It's nope. like what we talk about with Slash and May and Strive, right? When you're a player that is on a different level with the character, it's really hard to be prepared when going up against that person. Right? And, and keep in mind, too, I mean, in 2B only just dropped. And, yeah. you know, I feel like she's getting stronger and stronger. I think that girl's so. a problem. I, I think <laughs> so, that girl's a problem, I mean, bro. we didn't see too many 2Bs here in this top eight, but, the, uh, again, the character's brand new. Oh, and, Steve, you know, is that this Pax thing? That's why I haven't heard from Steve in a few meta, days. Perhaps, you know, perhaps. we'll see what happens. Or we'll maybe some happens. of the other characters that we know for sure are on the way. Sidings yeah. has already announced the next two yeah, characters. Exactly. We know that they're coming. So, I mean, I guess just be prepared for that, right? Yeah, I mean, the, one of the, again, one of the beautiful things about games is their evolution. They change all the Time, yes. right? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, shout out to all you guys, Someone's chat, KKV, Ken Ron, Toka, Tenor Clubs, 
Afro you know, catastrophe. That's a great thing, right? I mean, at fighting games have had that. Zafar Nama. People find new tech yeah, right away. Preserve the, the preach. The game. That's just something that Zero we really Soul love about Reaver. Genre. Jellyfish so made. It's almost endless when it comes to trying to lab a fighting game. Amazing chess. All I gotta say, one last thing. Nerd Josh, yeah, Soul Flare. I can't wait to look at that, what that thumbnail is after <laughs> Nier did not win ARC World Tour Finals. That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, Glowy. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take advantage of the fact that they're going to have downtime to just chill to myself for a few hours and just relax. I'm probably going to come back for the top eight of Strive whenever that is. It's supposed to start in about three and a half hours from now. So if you guys want to chill with me, uh, let's reconvene then. I'm just going to confirm that. Strive coming up, but even before Strive, we've got some cool. Yeah, uh, there's all kinds of activities planned today, right? Yeah. So we're gonna have the Grand Blue Fantasy versus award ceremony a little bit, maybe a video or two, something like that. You know what I mean? But then okay. after that, we're gonna have, I believe, Degon roaming the hall, showing off the venue, uh, all the cool stuff. Oh, so they're gonna have show here because, the venue. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get them a raid. That's perfect. You guys can check that out for a while if you want to see it. And I'll chillax to myself and enjoy part of my Saturday. I'll come back and chill with you guys for the good team. That's good for me too. I could use a break. Yesterday I streamed for like nine hours or something. The main event. We got live music. We got a concert. We have a concert right before strike. Well, guys, all right. Well, y'all know the drill. I think y'all know what's up. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. Uh, I'll be letting you know when I order that factor stuff and it comes in so you can check it out. But if you also want to check out one of the factor meals along with me, uh, although I haven't been giving the whole blur factor is streaming again tonight, you get a huge discount if you're interested in giving them a try. Uh, the idea behind this is this is kind of like HelloFresh or some other services that you might know. Uh, but they deliver you pre-made meals that don't, don't require any side preparation or anything. You just kind of heat and eat and they're chef delivered or chef created. Uh, they're also nutritious. They're not like, you know, terrible for you. So it's really interesting. Anyway, I'm going to be trying it out. I hope it's going to be really good. And uh, if you want to try it out with me, try my link, especially if you've been curious about it. If you've seen some other streamer talk about it and you want to jump into it, jump in and give it a try. It also helps me out greatly. All right, I guess that's it. Thanks for subbing. I'll be back in a few hours anyway, so it's not like y'all not going to see me, all right? So if you want to see more Team Spooky, just come back in a bit. We'll watch the good to get together, all right? That'll be adding another fucking three or four hours onto this one. See you later, guys. We're going to go. I'm going to send you guys over there to check out the medal ceremony. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. No, go back. Go back. Go back to me. Hold on. I got to uh, I gotta kill the YouTube stream first. Otherwise, it's going to be a blow up. Come back. Ah. Bye, YouTube. See you in a bit, all right? Dang it. Where's this thing at? I can't. That, that took four hours? By the way, that took a while. All right. Bye, YouTube. See you later. See you in like three hours or something. All right. Now, bye, Twitch. See you on like three.